Chapter 151 underscore Nima Losha is a genius plus one for the innocent little fat man. Chapter 151 underscore Nima Losha is a genius plus one for the innocent little fat man. The rising sun is rising in the east, the golden morning light gradually dyes the eastern sky red, and a new day has come. Chaos yawned and walked out of the bedroom, looking a little stunned at the situation in the living room. Akino sat weakly on the sofa, with a bruised nose and a swollen face, as if he had been wheeled a thousand times, and his expression was empty and uninteresting. On the opposite side, Crocodile was talking endlessly, using his abilities to form a rustling panel, and some drawings appeared on it along with the eloquent explanation. Compared with the situation where Akino would die at any time, Crocodile was in high spirits and his eyes were bright and fiery like never before. Akino really wants to die now. After he was caught last night, Crocodile slapped him with fists and kicks, and the key was just a flesh wound, and then he was brought back to continue to clean up those pirate thugs in the dark. One night, there were waves of attacks. Every time I'm done, I feel a little exhausted. But the key is that this man didn't let him go and kept giving him lessons. From the very beginning, we started talking about the team's purpose and culture, and when we talked, we called ourselves a thinker. Akino even had the heart to die. He really couldn't stand it. Both the body and the mind have suffered double ravages, so that now the mind is beginning to be in a trance, and there are double images in front of him. Boss, morning. Crocodile just said hello, and then prepared to continue teaching Akino. He liked the feeling of teaching people. Especially instilling one's own truth into others is very fulfilling. You didn't rest last night? Chaos looked at Akino, this guy was completely on the verge of sudden death. There are too many guys who are overconfident, but they are all solved. Crocodile nodded. Last night. There were waves of attacks, killing at least hundreds of people. Now there are mummified corpses, broken limbs, broken arms, and burnt corpses outside the hotel. Boss, I don't think the team's purpose culture is perfect. I've added some of my own ideas. Come and give me some advice. Crocodile was a little stunned, and planned to teach Chaos a lesson as well. Chaos was stunned for a moment then looked at Crocodile with the wrong eyes. Overnight, this guy seemed to go further and further. Is this to correct his thinking? Good. Chaos was sitting on the sofa, and he wanted to see if Crocodile was really making a pass and getting too fast. He couldn't keep up with the rhythm. I am Nima. Wake up. Crocodile slapped Akino on the head, forcibly woke the sleepy Akino and immediately began to explain the team's purpose culture. It sounded fine at first. It is nothing more than the pretense, arrogance, high profile, arrogant, etc. that Chaos said. Be free and do whatever you want. But then, the more and more Chaos listened, the more wrong it became. Crocodile actually began to analyze the truth, like a magician, extending from the basis of wealth, power fame, women and so on. Also sight reasoning. The key is to be right. People can't stop their blood boiling, as if the world is revolving around them. There's nothing you can't do yourself. I wipe. Chaos's A's are getting more and more wrong, Nima Losha is a genius. It turned out to be really self-taught and embarked on the path of transmission. Although the forms are different. The core concept is to revolve around wealth, power, fame, women, desires, etc. This is not a transmission. For a whole hour, Crocodile was talking about the hype. Chaos was silent, not knowing whether to be happy or worried. The dignified 5 of 5 5 player turned into a pass cut leader. Boss, I think the title of thinker suits me, and do you have anything to add? Do I need to explain it a few more times? Crocodile picked up the glass of water on the desk and drank it, moistening his throat and looking at Chaos, who looked a little weird. Clap clap clap. 
Chaos clapped his hands and gave Crocodile a thumbs up. Old Shah, I admit to underestimating you, you're a genius. Thinkers and brainwashing experts are for you. Chaos did not attack Crocodile's enthusiasm. Originally, his concept was simple and rude, but after such modification by Crocodile, he suddenly became tall and literate. Who would have thought that Crocodile had this talent? The force has risen to a level. Indeed, I feel that my soul has sublimated. Many things that I didn't understand in the past are now understood, and I'm no longer confused and unusually sober. Crocodile was not humble at all. Boss, I think what I just said is still a little flawed, let us do it again. Now Crocodile is extremely excited, and it feels like ten days and ten nights will do. Forget it, you can continue teaching him. Chaos left the sofa to wash up. Now Crocodile is a little crazy. Fortunately, he has experienced the information explosion and the internet dive at in his previous life, and he has enjoyed nine years of compulsory education. Otherwise, he will become the younger brother of this team, and Crocodile will become the boss. This guy was fine before, why did he suddenly change? Faster than flipping a book. Unprepared. Okay. Crocodile was a little unfulfilled, and planned to continue to discuss with Chaos when he had time. Next came Akino's nightmare. Because Crocodile started gramming brainwashing again, as if to engrave everything in Akino's soul. At this moment, two pirate ships docked at the coast. As soon as it appeared, the pirates around were exclaimed, and even feared. Just because that pirate flag belongs to the Flying Sky Pirates. That is. That's right, it is the 19th Fleet Captain Sharpshooter Halbertson and the 17th Fleet Captain Mumiago of the Sky Pirates. It is estimated that it is for the Golden Emperor. I didn't expect it to come so soon. The whole port was shaken. Whether it is a sharpshooter or a mummy, the bounty is above 300 million bailey and he is also the captain of the fleet of the Flying Sky Pirates. It is no secret that the Flying Sky Pirates also want to capture the Golden Emperor. We were lucky this time. We actually met the Golden Emperor. The Jelly Queen and the Lone Wolf were not caught last time. It really embarrassed us. The sharpshooter Halbertson was a thin man in fine suits, carrying a sniper rifle and several pistols around his waist. The mummy next to him, Algao, was more individual. He was wrapped in white bandages, with only one pair of eyes falling outside. He was truly a mummy. The two were just not far from the volcanic island, but they were still driven by the clippers all night. The screen shifted, Chaos was going to go out to eat after washing up in the hotel, Crocodile did not intend to follow and now he was more interested in giving Akino a thought class. The latter is already starting to crumble. Chaos ignored the two and walked out of the hotel alone, and he could smell a pungent smell as soon as he went out. Apparently a legacy of last night's battle. Boom boom boom. There was a sonic boom in the sky, four golden warriors fell to the ground, a golden throne sedan chair appeared. Chaos sat on the ground, and then the four golden warriors carried them to the foot of the mountain. All the attention along the way. All kinds of pirate thugs who are envious, jealous, greedy and jealous are all ready to move. This flamboyant appearance of the golden emperor is like a beautiful woman who has taken off her clothes leading them in a ditch, and many people have high blood pressure. X. Chapter 152 Underscore Nanwu Gatling Plus 2 For the Innocent Little Fat Man Chapter 152 Underscore Nanwu Gatling Plus 2 For the Innocent Little Fat Man Dumb. Too annoyed. Before the Golden Emperor came to the volcanic island, everything was so harmonious. But since the appearance of the Golden Emperor, the atmosphere of the entire island has changed but it is undeniable that the economy of the island has risen over time. This may be the only role of the Golden Emperor, stimulating economic growth. Now on the streets, whether it is pirates or thugs, 
or even civilian beggars, they are all staring at the ostentatious guy. Under the sunlight, whether it is a golden warrior or a throne sedan chair, they are all shining with golden light, wherever they go. Breathing aggravated the boiling blood. This is naked temptation. Many thugs and hooligans are eager to move, their eyes can't wait to stick to it, it's light if they are hungry. Chaos sat on the golden throne, enjoying that muck anticipated gaze of envy, jealousy and hatred as always, which was very impressive. Especially the kind of eyes that want to kill him but don't dare to shoot, it's beautiful. Call out. The sound of breaking, the air suddenly sounded, and a bullet shuttled through the alleys and the crowd, and accurately shot at Chaos's forehead, fast and tricky. If ordinary people die, they don't know. But just as Chaos tilted his head between the lightning and flint, the golden throne was shot through, leaving a finger hole, and there was a plume of white smoke. With the hardness of the golden throne, even if it does not cover the armed color, the hardness is far higher than that of ordinary steel, but now it has been penetrated by a small bullet. Very thrilling. Chaos looked indifferent, his eyes crossed the streets, and he accurately saw the attacker on a high-rise building. It's a bit of a skill to find my position so quickly. In a high-rise building 10,000 meters away, the sharpshooter Halbertson, the captain of the 19th fleet of the Flying Pirates looked at chaos facing him through the sniper telescope, and pulled the trigger with disdain on his face. It was only one shot, but it fired three bullets. One after another, it flew like a streamer, and finally accurately passed through various obstacles and shot to chaos's forehead, throat and heart. Just based on this gun and the accuracy of the bullet trajectory, it is enough to show that Halbertson is indeed a player proficient in firearms. It is worth mentioning that the bullets are still made of seafloor stone and covered with armed colors. This is deadly to devil fruit power users. Ding ding. The dazzling sparks continued to splash, and chaos didn't even move, but three branches spread out from the golden throne, blocking all three bullets in one fell swoop. Seeing, hearing, and coloring is not for dry rice. Someone shot the golden emperor. It's a sniper. Two shots in a row made the pirate thugs in the open and secret excited, and it was a sniper who shot, and he looked around and didn't find it. Obviously a master. Many people's perception of the Golden Emperor is through the news. Even the corpses lying in the hotel were killed by the King of the Desert. The specific combat power of the Golden Emperor is not clear. Since someone is tempted now, it is exactly what they want. If the Golden Emperor is just a silver-like wagon head that is not very useful, then they will inevitably fall into the trap. The panting grew louder for a while. Brother, do we want to take action? There are two people not far away, brothers pirate hunters. Once in the Chambord Islands. The eldest brother, the Glass King, Rosiftis, and the younger brother, the Agate King, Harkovts. Wait a minute. The ick of the elder brother, King Glass, is obviously higher than that of the younger brother, King Onyx, so he plans to wait and see first. There are also familiar people such as Reaper Cease and Maker Kakart who have this idea. It was just one night, and all the pirates or pirate hunters near the volcano island came. This was just a small group of people, and there were more and more powerful people behind. Chaos is still a piece of fragrant old bacon, the kind made of gold. Snapped. Chaos snapped his fingers, and the originally clear sky turned dark. He saw a 100 meter long fangshin halberd, which fell from the sky like an extraterrestrial artifact, tore his eardrum and shot it at the sharpshooter Halbertson. Simply neat and not out of the water? It's terrifying. It's time for you to take action. I'll go. Halbertson on the high rise building was not panicked. Looking at the menacing Fang Tianhu Halbert, he didn't even look at chaos. With a casual flick of the sniper rifle, he fired ten bullets, forming a head in the air. The tiger roared towards chaos. 
marksmanship has reached a very high attainment. Following Halbertson's words, a figure appeared out of thin air in midair, facing the flying Fang Tianhe Halbert. His right hand grabbed the long knife around his waist, his head was lowered, and his body was covered with white bandages. Groaning. Broken blade. The name of the move with a flat tone, the cold light shines, and a dazzling slash is twice as large as Fang Tianhu Arjai, tearing the atmosphere and slashing towards Fang Tianhu Arjai in one fell swoop. In an instant, a burst of air pressure turned into an invisible halo radiation. Fang Tianhuaji was knocked out and flew out and stood in midair, while Mummy Argonaut smashed on the tall building and kept moving backwards. On Chaos side, a golden warrior turned into a sharp sword and defeated the bullet tiger head on. Then that seems to be the captain of the 17th fleet of the Flying Sky Pirates, Mummy Argo, with a reward of 480 million, a swordsman. And the 19th fleet captain, sharpshooter Albertson, with a reward of 367 million. I didn't expect it to be these two big men. Just when many pirates were amazed, Chaos set off a cigar and suddenly disappeared from the seat, appearing in the air in one fell swoop. Various parts collided in front of Chaos. Just now, sharpshooter Albertson gave him an inspiration. In addition to the most basic lethality, Chaos pursued bells and whistles when he developed the golden fruit. But the appearance must have a row surface. Ding ding ding. Clang clang. What is the Golden Emperor doing? Not sure. Countless eyes looked at Chaos, who was stepping on the moon. The gold in front of him continued to form various parts, which began to be assembled in a collision. Slowly, everyone opened their mouths slightly, dumbfounded. Because when all the sounds disappeared, a 100 meter long golden gatling appeared, and was pointed in the direction of the sharpshooter and the mummy by Chaos in one fell swoop. Compared with Gatlin, Chaos's body has the feeling of an ant resisting a big stick, but the impact is very shocking. At this time, Chaos was holding a cigar in his mouth, his long hair and golden earrings fluttered in the wind, and behind him the golden goose feather coat and golden halo was full of domineering and sacred just like the fairy Buddha was carrying Gatlin. The contrast is so great. Try Lao Tzu's newly developed moves, Nan Wu Gatling. The corners of his mouth rose slightly, and the gun barrel of the Gatling gun was dyed black and gold. After turning slowly, a large shower of gold was shot in vain. Wipe. The sharpshooter Halbertson and the mummy Algao changed their faces for the first time, and were almost distracted by the appearance of the Golden Emperor. Da da da. The two quickly disappeared in place, followed by a flash of golden light, and the entire building was shot into a sieve, and the billowing dust suddenly thickened. In fact, this trick of chaos is completely superfluous. After all, Gatlin can directly become a golden needle, instead of deliberately letting Gatlin spit it out. But beauty is justice. Ghoul. X. Chapter 153 Underscore Even the small skills of carving insects dare to get an axe, for the innocent little fat man plus three. Chapter 153 Underscore Even the small skills of carving insects dare to get an axe, for the innocent little fat man plus three. Da da da. The lush firepower was overwhelming, and chaos showed the temperament of a big man with a cigar in his mouth. The golden gatling in his hand was spinning at an ultra high speed, and the golden needles ejected were more lethal than bullets. The thick dust continued to expand, and the mummy and the sharpshooter fled in opposite directions, for which chaos could only shoot one person. He chose the swordsman mummy Algu. Call out. The sharpshooter began to counter attack, and the sniper rifle in his hand did not need to be aimed. Every bullet was as cunning and vicious as a poisonous snake, but it was of no use to chaos. Gatling raised a golden shield that could block any sharpshooter attacking from anywhere. Damn. The pressure on the mummy was great, and it ran quickly on the roof. 
the pear blossom needles in the rainstorm were chasing after him, and he could only send out slashes from time to time to passively defend. As a for attacking chaos, it was not realistic at all. Bang bang bang. The sharpshooter was flying and attacking here, but chaos didn't even drag him. He just caught the mummy and smashed the wall. Carrying Gatling and chasing behind the mummy, the 100 meter long Gatling swept away. The Gatling became smaller and smaller as the shooting, but as those golden needles returned to the cage, they came and went like infinite bullets, and there was a smog wherever they went. The mummy is also called a dog. The hairs all over his body exploded as if he saw the Nridge. A crescent shaped slash shot up from the ground, but it was consumed by the golden needle before it reached chaos. Halbertson. The mummy roared, and he had been shot with several golden needles, all of which passed through his body. Blood stains have begun to appear on the body, and those golden needles are actually wrapped in armed colors. Asshole. The sharpshooter was even more angry than the mummy, because chaos completely ignored him. No matter how he shot the bullet, he would be blocked by the golden shield. The contempt of the golden emperor just now was a mental attack. He has been shot in a thousand holes. Some viewers watching from a distance are all silent now. It can be seen that the golden emperor is chasing mummy Argonaut with the 100 meter gatling. The latter can only passively defend, and a swordsman is crushed to death. The sharpshooter Halbertson chased behind the Golden Emperor, jumping up and down to shoot continuously, but the Golden Emperor was like a turtle, unable to break through the defense. The strength of the Golden Emperor is somewhat beyond their imagination. A fatal blow. The sharpshooter Halbertson suddenly appeared in midair looking at Chaos who was chasing the mummy in the distance. His eyes closed for a moment and then suddenly opened. The whole world seemed to be quiet. The air moves and the wind blows. The sight, hearing and color are like invisible water lines slowly rippling out. The sniper rifle aimed at Chaos in one fell swoop, and the entire gun body was covered with armed colors. In an instant, the feeling of being stared at by a poisonous snake made Chaos turn his head. Halbertson got serious and used the most powerful marks possible. There was no sound, and no bullets were even seen, but Chaos was golden all over his body, and at the same time, he was dyed with armed colors and iron blocks and turned into a black old statuette. The golden shield was penetrated, and a bullet hit Chaos' forehead causing chaos to tilt his head back. Did it work? A simple blow seemed to have consumed all the sharpshooter's energy. Looking at chaos, whose head was tilted back, his eyes were full of coldness. It s now, Yan Hu I. Mummy Aragao, who had been suppressed to death, was swept up in the sword energy of death, and the whole person turned into a streamer and slammed back and forth with a carbine, as if a black thread rushed towards chaos. It may be because the sharpshooter's bullets are all made of halo stone, so the golden fruit is temporarily invalid when it hits chaos. For this reason, Nan Wu Gatling began to fall off from chaos, and the goldenization also became invalid. Disappeared leaving only the pure armament color and iron blocks to defend. The golden house at a height of several thousand meters also began to fall like a meteor, but it looked big, but it was actually very thin. Because it contained some daily necessities, as the golden fruit temporarily disappeared, it started to fall out of control. The opportunity for the mummy to find is just right. The current golden emperor is the hatch door opened. He had even seen the scene where the Golden Emperor's head flew away. As for being caught alive, I can't think of that much anymore. Whoosh. Time slowed down at this moment. The long knife in the mummy's hand released a cold light, and as it kept approaching Chaos's back neck, a large amount of white steam rose from Chaos without warning. In the mummy's grinning eyes, her head was straightened up and her eyes looked at him with a smile that was not a smile. In an instant, the hairs exploded, 
and a chill went straight to the mummy Tianling cover. The big black hand grabbed the long knife like lightning, and before the mummy could react, an unprecedented force bombarded the abdomen, and at that moment the entire internal organs seemed to be stirred together. One after another blue veins protruded on the mummy's face, and the eyeballs were even tearing the eye socket wall and the flesh was full of blood shots. He couldn't help bending his body and spraying blood from his nose and mouth, and he almost couldn't breathe. How is that possible? On Chaos's forehead, the seafloor stone bullet was attached to it, and even the skin was not broken. Although he lost the golden layer of defense, Chaos still had armed colors and iron blocks, not to mention that the bullet had passed through the golden shield first, so the damage caused was only to make Chaos temporarily unable to use the golden fruit. Too weak. Just one punch temporarily made the mummy's body in shock, and Chaos held the mummy in the air with one hand around his neck. Click. With a slight force, the mummy's entire neck was twisted, and the blood-filled pupils were full of fear. Spike. As long as you are caught, there is no backhand. Bang bang bang. The five bullets formed a line, tore the eardrum and rushed towards Chaos' throat and the sharpshooter shot. But still a step too late. Just now, the Golden Emperor was still fighting slowly, but in the next moment, he was simply agile. He strangled the mummy without even giving people time to react. This contrast was a little unacceptable. Sha! Chaos disappeared in place out of thin air, appeared ten meters away holding the Sea Tower stone bullet on his forehead and then looked at the ugly sharpshooter in the distance, full of contempt. You even dare to make an axe with a small skill of carving insects. He flicked off the halo stone bullet, and the golden house that fell from the sky stagnated. When Chaos stretched out his hand, Nan Wu Gatling, who had fallen to the ground, merged with his right hand, and instantly turned into a golden dragon with claws and claws. At the same time, Kao Feng SBGM resounded in the sky. Choking all over the place. The various blind operations of the Golden Emperor are really too pretentious. I am Nima. The average person who can bear it will have high blood pressure. The Great Power Dragon. The Golden Dragon's tail is connected to Chaos' right hand, and the ferocious dragon head is biting towards the sharpshooter in one fell swoop. Boom. As soon as the surrounding ground exploded, the sharpshooter jumped out of the dense dust and raised his sniper rifle to shoot. Chaos raised his hand gently, and the golden dragon suddenly burst out with golden spikes, with no dead ends and no warning. Even if the sharpshooter avoided the first time, he was penetrated by a spike. Just such a pause means the battle is over. All the golden thorns turned into tributaries and rolled up the sharpshooter in one fell swoop, leaving only one head outside, and finally returned to the posture of the dragon spitting out beads. As a for the halo stone bullet that had just been fired, Chaos left hand covered the armed color and slammed it into the air. BGM also came to an abrupt end. No stress at the end of the battle. Simply neat and not out of the water. It is very smooth in one go and there is a pleasing sense of sight. X. Chapter 154 underscore I really want to stab the golden emperor with a knife, for the innocent little fat man plus four. Chapter 154 underscore I really want to stab the golden emperor with a knife, for the innocent little fat man plus four. One has a reward of 480 million, the other has a reward of 367 million and the swordsman and the sharpshooter can cooperate seamlessly, whether it is close combat or distance combat, and the combat effectiveness of the two is directly doubled. But so lost. The needle drop can be heard in the audience at this moment. Many pirate thugs looked at the scene in midair and swallowed their saliva. Whether he admits it or not, the Golden Emperor does have a few brushes. The key to defeating the two in such a short period of time is that the fighting style is very gorgeous. Especially annoying. The more you look, the less pleasing to the eye. 
I really wanted to stab him to death. However, I had to admire the Golden Emperor for actually daring to kill the mummy and the sharpshooter. You must know that these two were the captains of the fleet of the Flying Sky Pirates. There are very few people in the sea who dare to be so unscrupulous and not give face to the Flying Pirates. In the eyes of many, it was pure luck that the Golden Emperor was able to escape from the Chambord Islands. Brother, are we going to do it? Honor King Harkovts was in high spirits and asked his brother Glass King Rose of Tis again. He seemed to have some problems with his head and his ick was a little low. Can't beat it. Brother Glass King is self aware. Whether it is a sharpshooter or a mummy, the reward is above them. Although he is confident that he can kill both of them, he still feels a little guilty because the Golden Emperor is too easy to solve. That fancy battle, it looks like it is very powerful. I listen to my brother. The Onai King is stupid. He can do whatever his brother asks him to do, because they are brothers. Wait for an opportunity first. The Glass King nodded. Although this stupid younger brother's fighting power was stronger than him, he listened to his words very much, and he still loved him very much. There must be many people who want to catch the Golden Emperor, and he does not intend to be the first bird. Instead, he planned to wait and see if the Mantis could catch the Cicada Oriole and pick up a seriously injured Golden Emperor. The Abacus can be described as a jingle. There are many who have the same idea as these two brothers. Call out. After leaving a piece of gold, the rest merged into one and became the goddess of God standing in the air, sacred and inviolable, and then quickly disappeared. Looking at the gold left behind, Chaos snapped his fingers, and then the gold began to deform, finally forming a golden sports car Lamborghini, full of lines, three-dimensional and layered. As soon as it appeared, the pirate thugs in the dark opened their mouths slightly. The Golden Emperor has played all the tricks with gold. Where did so much inspiration come from? And it looks nice and gorgeous. Clang clang. There was a roar of golden leather, and the golden Lamborghini started to run. Chaos sat in the cab with his left hand on the steering wheel, and his right hand was leaning against the door of the cigar blowing smoke rings and driving towards another street. Wherever he went, he looked at those stunned pirate thugs with contempt on his face. A bunch of poor people. The rear of the car disappeared, leaving behind a group of pirate thugs whose faces gradually turned red and livid, one by one gnashing their teeth and protruding blue veins. Deceiving too much. So humiliating. Captain, don't pull me. I'm going to stab the Golden Emperor to death. Damn, you actually said that we are poor ghosts. I want to be at odds with him. If it's my brother, I'll cut him down with me. Wherever Lamborghini goes, there is a lot of swearing. At the same time, the death of the sharpshooter and the mummy also began to spread from the volcanic island, and gradually radiated to the outside world. Alas, I have become the person I hate after all. Sent. After strolling outside, showing off his wealth in a clique d way, Chaos drove a Lamborghini back to the Half Mountain Hotel. In such an hour, he ran through the streets of Volcano Island, and the hatred value was stopped. Even ordinary people can't wait to kill him. There were also people who didn't have long eyes in the middle. But these people were nailed to the ground by weapons from the sky, and some gold coins were thrown, and some people came out to wash the ground automatically, and the city appearance was not affected. Now Chaos is in a good mood. He turns around to attract a wave of envy, jealousy, and hatred. His vanity is comforted, and his whole body feels comfortable. Lao Sha, you are going too far. Opening the door and entering the room, Chaos found that Crocodile was still teaching Aquino. Aquino's appearance now seems to be foaming at the mouth at any time. Boss, I just happened to have something new to add, so you can listen along too. Crocodile's eyes brightened when he saw Chaos returning. Brainwashing Aquino, bah. When he was lecturing, 
he also improved himself, which was equivalent to a review, and found many small flaws. It was just that when chaos came back, he could explain it again. Please, let me sleep alone. Without waiting for chaos to answer, Akino threw himself at the feet of chaos with a look of despair, crying bitterly, as if he had grabbed a life-saving straw. He's almost schizophrenic. Both mentally and physically have suffered unprecedented ravages, and I really can't stand it anymore. He now wants to squat alone in the corner with his hands on his knees and cut off from the world. I don't want to talk to anyone, I don't want to be in contact with the outside world, I just want to be in my own world. Chaos twitched and looked at Akino, who was in pain, as if he was autistic. It seemed that the trauma he suffered in his heart was not light. Looking up at Crocodile who was still excited, Chaos was really impressed. Boss, let me tell you something. Stop. Reaching out and rubbing his forehead, he felt that Crocodile was possessed. He even wanted to brainwash him. Is this a plan to preach the word on the road of transmission? I wipe. Let him rest. It's not too late to teach him a lesson when he wakes up. If this goes on, he will really be tortured to death by you. Always give others some breathing space. Since meeting Akino, it seems that this guy has never rested. The physical trauma is okay, but now Crocodile has not even let go of the spirit, it is really crazy. Oh, he's whatever. Crocodile did not hold on to Akino, but set his eyes on chaos. Okay, you also go to rest, recharge your batteries and restore your spirits, there may be some troubles in the future. Chaos really felt a little bit in his heart, although he had confidence in himself, but if he was led astray by Crocodile, that's okay. It is he who is in charge. Quanji in this thing, I have to admit that it is really a bit suspenseful. Boss, I'll tell you. Crocodile didn't intend to give up and now his spirit is highly fanatical. Well? Chaos's complexion gradually became colder, and his nasal voice increased. Now Crocodile is a little lost, and he has repeatedly violated his intentions. He is the real talker of this organization, and Crocodile has gone beyond that. Originally, the team was developing well, but after Crocodile's actions, it turned out to be a passerby. Seeing that it was going further and further, he didn't say anything, and now it's even more inflated than him. It is necessary to wake this guy up. Got it. Facing the icy gaze of chaos, Crocodile suddenly became sober with a jolt. The heart palpitated all of a sudden. What happened just now, it seems that something is wrong with you. Take a good rest, I see you're a little obsessed. Chaos complexion returned to normal, he sat on the sofa with his feet on the desk, set down a cigar and exhaled a puff of smoke. As Crocodile and Akino went to rest, Chaos went to the hot springs after smoking a cigar. He planned to leave the island in the afternoon. Don't lose your business. X. Chapter 155 underscore the old lady is on the pirate ship plus 5 for the innocent little fat man of the cute master. Chapter 155 underscore the old lady is on the pirate ship plus 5 for the innocent little fat man of the cute master. Happy Island. A maddened man, a paradise for men and women. The most famous is the red light district on the island, as well as various casinos and other entertainment measures. It is one of the favorite islands of many nobles, pirates, government officials, and wealthy businessmen. As long as you have money, you will enjoy heavenly service. The so-called Red Light District, the first thing that comes to mind is a geisha or a love affair, and it is true. But here are not only geisha, but also male artists. Among them, there are some stars and so on. Men with all temperaments such as youth, maturity, sexy, pungent, strong women, etc. can spend their spring nights here. The Queen of Joy used to dominate the island, but there have been some issues recently. That is, there are unknown forces attacking the red light district. Assassination, betrayal, 
and threats have caused serious setbacks to the island's business. I don't know how many forces are competing for those rich industries. The Queen of Joy is a person of the Golden Emperor, and it is no longer a secret to many forces. However, it is only a few, because not many people know the Queen of Joy. Only those who have business with the red light district or can count on the table will know the true identity and true face of the Queen of Joy. Few people in the sea now associate the Queen of Joy who is in charge of the red light district with the Queen of Joy under the Golden Emperor. To put it bluntly, her reputation is not very loud. Boom! A huge explosion came out of a building campaign, billowing flames and black smoke rose into the sky. Corpses lay on the broken ground, and various weapons and stumps and arms could be seen everywhere. Stussy, you won't end well for betraying the world government. Among the tattered and ruined walls, there were more than a dozen men and women kneeling, and two CP9S were in front of them, but now they were pale and breathless, and their bodies were covered with wounds. Opposite him, Stutchy was in a state of embarrassment. The torn dress was full of spring light, the corners of her mouth were also overflowing with blood, and her hands were also blood red, all of which were the blood of her once subordinates. Behind Stuthi are Kazumi, Lili, and Kokos. The three girls' situation is more serious than Stuthi, but the pale faces are full of joy. Because they won. There are also some thugs with knives and guns around, but these are all loyal to Stuchy. After parting with Chaos, Stuthy took the three daughters of Kesem E to Happy Island at the fastest speed. She wanted to clear the door. She had dealt with all those who betrayed by her subordinates. The more than ten men and women in front of her are her former subordinates, and their positions are more important, but they have all betrayed and become CP9S minions. Now some people are begging for mercy and some people are yelling at Stutchy. But none of this could make Stutchy cause waves. If it weren't for these two CP9S, she could easily deal with these people, you must know that she is now a devil fruit ability. She was in a state of embarrassment now, and she was also injured by accidentally underestimating the enemy, and she was careless. Stussy, I was wrong. Leave us alone. We are all so forced. Someone begged for mercy, but didn't want to die. But Stuthy's face was cold, and he flicked his fingers to form a flying finger gun. He killed all of them without leaving one. In the end, there were only two CP9S left, which was very cold-blooded and cruel. Completely different from Stuthy who was beside Chaos, the current Stuthy can be described as ruthless. Among those killed. Some had followed her for more than ten years, but now they have become corpses. Kazumi, Lili, Kokos, you go to rectify it, let the following people know that I am back, and all those who betrayed during this time will be cleaned up, reward for meritorious deeds. Stuthy withdrew his gaze from the two CP9S, and had a queen-like vibe of his own. It is also domineering. To be able to control such a huge industry in the underground world, Stu's eye did not rely on looks, but on means and strength. Otherwise, she wouldn't use this rude method as soon as she came back, because she was very confident in herself. Just like her self-confidence, the red light district of Happy Island is not too bad now. It can take a little time to regain control. But the red light districts of other islands around the world will take longer to rectify. Yes. The three girls of Kasimi left with their own people. After the three girls left, the two CP9S also fell to the ground. Two blood holes appeared on his forehead. Stussy, the Golden Emperor can't protect you. The increasingly weak voice stopped abruptly, making Stussy, who turned and left, stop. Stuthy raised her slender fingers and brushed the hair from her forehead to her ears, looked up at the sky and whispered, I'm on the pirate ship, it's not that easy to get off the ship, but that kind of life is really interesting, at least it won't be so boring. Feel free to experience the mysteries of life as you wish. Boo! Really stupid to men. 
Stussy laughed suddenly. It's just that there are two traces of helplessness in the smile, three traces of sadness, and five traces of doubt about life. Since she met those two men, her whole person has been bad. The heartbeat and stimulation were stronger than before, but it was inexplicably excited, as if something potential was opened in the body, and I didn't know whether it was good or bad. After all, it's the face value. It's really impossible. Really melancholy. Stepping on high heeled shoes, the corners of Stuthy's mouth jubilantly disappeared into the rubble. On this day, the whole happy island was not very peaceful. But in that distant cloud layer, a black shadow is approaching quickly with a sound of breaking the air, and it will not be long before they reach Happy Island. Meanwhile, Volcano Island. It's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. Chaos was sitting on the sofa drinking coffee, Crocodile was smoking a cigar in high spirits, only Aquino couldn't straighten his head with sleepy eyes, and just a few hours of sleep could not get his spirits back. Ease. Even when he was sleeping, he dreamed of Crocodile teaching him again. Simply insane. Boss, are we leaving? Crocodile was blowing smoke rings, and his back was meticulously arranged. Well, our cause can't be given up. Although there is no news from Stuthy, we can't give up putting pressure on the world government. Chaos nodded. According to the method of hurting each other, he believed that the first one who could not bear it must be the world government. Wake up! Crocodile slapped Akino on the head to wake him up a little. But Akino's eyes were still broken, and the exhaustion could be felt from far away. The constitution is too weak. Chaos frowned. If Akino's devil fruit has a strong physique, I believe it can exert greater power. After resting for several hours, it still hasn't recovered. If only he needed a full meal to be alive and well. Looks like he'd need some good teaching. As for whether he can bear it or not, that's none of his business. It's dead anyway. Get ready to leave. Chaos stood up and stretched, but he stretched halfway and looked at the window in vain, and then his face was full of interest. It came really fast. Can't help pinching his chin, Chaos made a decision in his heart. It is time to let the third natural department join the team. At the same time, Crocodile also discovered. Many pirate thugs stalking outside also looked up at the sky. A golden light flew from the sky, and finally appeared in the air, revealing a figure. X. Chapter 156 underscore old dape, remember this stick. For the innocent little fat man plus six. Chapter 156 underscore old dape, remember this stick. For the innocent little fat man plus six. Old dape, long time no see. Chaos set down a cigar and walked out of the hotel first, looking up at Pelusalino in midair, with a half smile and a little ill will, and Crocodile behind him also drank a cigar, just looking at Pelusalino was a little hostile. As for Aquino, the spirit is still in a trance. Seems to be stuck in self-awareness. Polsalino fell from the air, dressed like a dog in a suit, wearing a black hat, and holding a cigarette in both hands with gloves. He was a little displeased with the name of Chaos. What the hell is the old ape? Are you familiar? Now he can't wait to put this guy in the push city, the relationship between the two is very bad. Golden Emperor. You are really scary recently. Pelusalino didn't have a hippie smile, instead he was serious. He still remembers the small loss he took carelessly at the beginning. Don't care about those details, how about you? Are you thinking about becoming the most arrogant man in the world with me? Chaos was smacking his cigar, his goose feather coat and golden light wheel fluttering and turning behind him and he had an air of domineering and arrogance of his own. I said, I'm not interested in being a pirate. Porusalino stared coldly, stretched out his indefinger finger and began to flash a crochet flash, I am an ape brother in society, and people don't talk much. As for the order given above to hold the golden emperor, 
Polsalina directly ignored it. He is confident that he can catch the Golden Emperor and his accomplices by himself. Old Ape, don't be so impatient, everyone is brothers, sit down and have a good chat. Call out. Rumbling rumbling. A golden light was fleeting, a huge explosion shot up into the sky, billowing flames and black smoke spread, chaos tilted his head and a strand of black hair fell to the ground, and the tavern behind him turned into ruins. Gold goose down coats, black fur coats are all flying in the wind. Both Chaos and Crocodile were very calm, smoking cigars to keep the big guy's temperament tight. On the contrary, Aquino shuddered and recovered from his self-doubt. He only felt a heat wave from behind him, and he was almost thrown out. In an emergency, Crocodile reached out and pressed his shoulder. The pirate thugs watching around, all held their breaths and watched. The three major rookies of the navy are now famous in the sea and Paul Salino is naturally recognized. Ha! Huh. Chaos blew out a smoke ring. His originally smiling face gradually became indifferent, and turned his head to look at Paul Salino. It seems that we need the brainwashing responsibility of our team to send warmth, I believe you will be very willing to join this team. Big family. Crocodile didn't speak, and shook his hair. He knew that the brainwashing responsibility that Chaos said was him. Don't ask why, ask his intuition. Anyway, they have been together for so long, and the two sides still have a little tacit understanding. Bang bang bang. The sound of daring eardrums came from the sky, and the locks of the sky with the thickness of the arms, as if a javelin was nailed to the ground quickly closed in rows and turned into bird cages. Lao Sha, Lao Dun, let's go together. A large amount of white smoke rose from Chaos's body, and disappeared as the ground beneath his feet exploded. He wanted to forcibly capture Pelusalino and hand it over to Crocodile for brainwashing. As for Wuda, don't make trouble. Now the warring states may be coming here and Paul Salino is estimated to be used to hold him back. This is not because there are Tian Long people in the Chambord archipelago as a shield. Chaos would not be foolish. He would fight against the warring states without hostages. If he dared to do so, he would definitely go to the city to drink tea, and even become a slave of the Tian Long people. One wrong step, waiting for him is the endless abyss. Therefore, if there is no retreat, chaos will not be so impulsive. Arrogance is arrogance, but life must come first. This is a matter of principle and is not negotiable. Crocodile still didn't speak, but he disappeared in place after turning into flying sand. Ah! Akino was a little confused, Lao Dun should have called him. Do you want to run away now? But when he saw the rows of locks of the sky nailed to the ground, Akino gave up. The whole body was hot like a luminous body, and the body temperature continued to rise and rushed out. Crocodile's enhanced version of the team purpose culture is, after all, beginning to have an impact. Swish. As early as when the chain of heaven fell from the sky, Paul Salino elementalized and disappeared in place. He suffered a loss once, how could he have suffered twice? As long as the space is large enough, he can be invincible. The golden light condensed in the air, completely avoiding the shackles of the bird cage. Paul Salino stretched out his in-death finger, and a laser shot out, and the explosion swept through the sky. Except for Aquino, who was slightly affected, Chaos and Crocodile appeared in midair almost one after the other to attack. Only Paul Salino dodged again. The speed of the old ape is not covered, it is real. Clap. The clear sky began to dim, black clouds shrouded in black and red lightning, and the overlord color radiated from chaos as the center, overwhelming the mountains and seas. With the appearance of the special effects in the dark and dark, an invincible BGM of magnificent momentum, Buddha blocking Buddha, God blocking and killing God began to resound throughout the world making most of the volcanic islands quiet in one fell swoop. 
Battle Cry BGM, Flight of the Silver Bird? I don't know if it was an illusion, but under this BGM, Crocodile and Aquino shivered all over. Their aura jumped higher, and the blood in their entire bodies was boiling. No one can beat them in this BGM. Honey Juice Self Confidence, Unlimited Expansion. Chaos dodged, collided with Paul Salino in the front, and the two flew out at the same time, just at this moment Crocodile and Aquino appeared. Temperature Punch. Salon. Tiankin Cloud Sword. Facing the attack of the two, Paul Salino swiped a lightsaber with one hand, blocking the attack of the two and turning it into a golden light and slanting to the ground, and the landslide and the ground were turbulent for a while. The billowing smoke was broken through, Paul Salino appeared in front of Aquino, and kicked out the middle of Aquino's waist. In an instant, the sound of bone cracking came, and Aquino's facial features were twisted into a streamer, piercing through five horse in one fell swoop. Streets lie in ruins. Just one kick made Aquino lose his power to move. Puff. However, at this moment Paul Salino's body froze, a golden longsword pierced his chest, and Chaos appeared without warning, holding the hilt with one hand and his face full of playfulness. Poru Salino bleeds from the corner of his mouth and kicks it out. Chaos fluttered and raised his hand to intercept, and by the way opened the distance. And Paul Salino photonized and disappeared, but a desert sword suddenly swung down, forcing Paul Salino to reveal his body, and Crocodile kicked sideways in the middle of the abdomen, which made Paul Salino disappear into golden light again. At the end of the ruins. S -h, 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 H. Without giving Paul Salino a chance to breathe, the locks of the sky fell all around, which made Paul Salino too late to breathe, and escaped by photonization at the first time. Old Ape, remember this stick. Thundering gossip. A horrific voice came, and a black and gold mace with spiky fangs came in front of him. Just looking at it made my heart tremble. Chaos smiled cunningly, clenching his mace in both hands and waiting for Paul Salino on his way. Paul Salino's scalp exploded, and he only had time to put his hands on his head. Immediately after, he felt the force of a landslide and ground cracking. He slapped his hands on his face in the opposite direction, dented and twisted, and finally slanted to the ground to form a mushroom cloud. The surrounding crust is lifted up to form barren mountains, and the center is even more depressed to form a basin. Pelusalino's trend continued unabated, and he pushed the Kang Chang Avenue all the way, and was eventually buried under the rubble. X. Chapter 157 Underscore Losha, The Wind is Screaming, For the Innocent Little Fat Man Plus 7. Chapter 157 Underscore Losha, The Wind is Screaming for the innocent little fat man plus seven. Boom. The ground continued to burst, all kinds of gravel and soil splashed, and the lock of the sky kept blocking the range, not even giving Paul Salino a chance to breathe. But Paul Salino is not a vegetarian either. Under the circumstance of resisting chaos with a mace, even if his head is a little dizzy, he will force the photon to fly, and he must not be blocked by the lock of heaven. It's just that Paul Salino is very embarrassed now, his head is bleeding and gasping for breath. Desert Great Sword. The crisis came from behind, and Crocodile's right arm turned into a sand blade, covering the armed color and going straight to the back of Poru Salino's neck, ruthless without showing any mercy. Paul Salino was very fast, holding the Tiankin Cloud Sword with one hand and collided with Crocodile's desert great sword in front, and at the same time, his left hand shot a laser close at hand. Crocodile did not resist hard, and the elemental disappeared in place, and gave Paul Salino a pitying expression. Now Paul Salino is not only facing him, although the weak scum of Aquino can't get up, there is still the biggest threat. In an instant, a cold air rushed to the Tianling guy, and Paul Salino only felt the wind pressure above his head, 
and only had time to hurriedly block that Yankin cloud soared over his head. Thundering gossip. The name of the abhorrent move was close at hand, and the huge power made Paul Salino sullen, turned into golden light and shot obliquely on the ground again. Followed by a large number of skylocks, one after another explosion was deafening. Paul Salino's photonization quickly evaded and appeared in midair, with his hands crossed, dazzling rays of light all over his body, and his embarrassed face was full of cruelty. Eight foot Kian Gajade. Countless dense golden light bombs swept out towards Chaos and Crocodile, and some of the pirate thugs who were watching the show all changed their faces, hating their parents for giving birth to a few legs and quickly fled. Humph. Facing such an intensive attack, Crocodile scorned his face and disappeared as flying sand. And Chaos, when his mind moved, flew a golden shield into the sky directly carrying the light bomb directly in front of him. A series of big explosions continued, but chaos was not passively defensive. The entire sky turned black, huge shadows whizzed down, and a slender palm protruded from the thundering clouds, so clear that even the palm lines could be seen, which was very similar to the palm technique of one move in the sky. Damn! Poru Salino cursed in his heart looked at the center of the explosion where the smoke was billowing, put away the attack and disappeared into Photon. I've been waiting for you for a long time, Ark Moon Dune. In the nick of time, Crocodile found an opportunity, and the entire arm became huge in the shape of a crescent moon, and he swung towards Pelusalino so lightly that it seemed to have no lethality. It is indeed not lethal, because this trick does not affect surface damage but moisture. As long as it is touched by this trick, the water in the organism will be sucked dry at the first time, and eventually it will become a mummified corpse and die of dehydration. The two just brushed past each other, but Paul Salino's reaction was very quick. After reuniting his body, his left arm was obviously a lot thinner. If it wasn't for the armed color, his arm might be abolished. Thundering Gossip the danger is not over, but even more terrifying. The sound of bone cracking came from Paul Salino, the hot blood splashed like a fountain, and Paul Salino turned into golden light and fell to the ground, like a nuclear bomb exploded and formed a mushroom cloud. Chaos stood in midair with the mace in hand, smoking a cigar in his mouth. It is really difficult for a person to deal with Paul Salino. After all, time is fair and when one is stronger, others are also getting stronger. It's a pity that Paul Salino is now facing chaos and crocodile, and this mode has risen directly to the hard mode. Crack. Chaos snapped his fingers, and a large number of the locks of the sky began to fly, but the next second chaos's face changed, and all the locks of the sky disappeared in place, leaving only one sentence for crocodile. Old Shah the wind is screaming. Withdraw. Crocodile was completely stunned, but he obeyed chaos for the first time. At this time, on the distant sea level, the rough sea was separated into a ravine, and the sea water on both sides was forcibly pushed out. That explosive tyrannical breath is as unfathomable as abyss. It was because Chaos noticed this terrifying aura that he gave up Paul Salino and appeared beside Aquino for the first time. He grabbed it and fled. Confirm the breath, absolutely cannot beat. Therefore, Chaos's retreat was neat and tidy, without any sluggishness. Want to go? Paul Salino rushed out of the dense dust, looked at the three Chaos who had escaped, and chased them out in one fell swoop. He also felt the breath of the volcanic island approaching at an extreme speed. But the smell is a little unpleasant. Old ape, be kind. The sparks of the golden horse and iron horse appeared in the air, forming a large piece of golden fine needles, and they were covered with armed colors and shot. Paul Salino shot out a series of lasers and collided with it, and the whole high altitude explosion continued for a while. Golden Emperor, you can't escape. Poru Salino's face was covered in blood, 
and he was chasing after him in an attempt to hold chaos back. With support, it's not him who is flustered. The underdog. Two groups of mini sandstorms appeared in Crocodile's hands, looking at Paul Salino who was chasing him with contempt. Taste his greatness. Humph. Paul Salino was very unhappy with Crocodile's contemptuous eyes, and those who didn't know it thought he couldn't beat him. Please, take a look at the current situation. It's you who escaped, it's me who chased. Paul Salino is angry, and the consequences are serious. The fingertip plays as followed one after another, but unfortunately, under the counterattacks of Chaos and Crocodile, it did not have the effect of holding back. If it was Chaos alone, it was really possible to be dragged, but with Crocodile as a cover, Chaos could spend most of his energy on running, so he did not drag. What's more, Chaos withdrew as soon as he discovered that terrifying aura. No time wasted. Boom. At this moment, a figure smashed into the ground at the port of Volcanic Island, forming a pothole in a radius of 100 meters. At the center, Zephyr was full of high temperature steam, looking up at the empty sky and frowning slightly. Are you a step too late? However, the crust of the earth was lifted up, and Zephyr flew into the sky and turned into a cannonball, and continued to chase out with a defining sonic boom. Although I am not very cold to Paul Salino, I still have the ability. It shouldn't be a big problem to hold the Golden Emperor down. Zephyr thought so. But chasing and chasing is not right. Ten minutes later, on the vast and uncultivated sea, Zephyr stood in the air on the moon step, panting heavily and looking a little embarrassed. He was able to fly entirely by means of moon steps and shaving, and he could have explosive power in a short period of time, but how could he survive long distances, and he was not a natural ability person? The key is that in the perception of seeing and hearing, Paul Salino did not hold back the Golden Emperor. This is fucked up. There's even reason to suspect that Paul Salino did it on purpose. Even if he held off for a minute, he could get there, but it was this minute that was always on the same level. X. Chapter 158 underscore he doesn't even have time to go out and pretend to be B, for the innocent little fat man plus 8. Chapter 158 underscore he doesn't even have time to go out and pretend to be B, for the innocent little fat man plus 8. Another 10 minutes later. A piece of golden light condensed and formed, Paul Salino was covered in dirt, and he met Zephyr on the sea in a very embarrassed way. It appears to have failed. Zephyr's face was expressionless, the steam on his body had disappeared and he had already retired from life and returned but he just stepped on the moon step and hung in the undulating sea. Paul Salino's face was ugly and a little pale. He was badly injured. He just gave up because he couldn't stand it anymore. If he continued to pursue the chase with his scarred body, in case the Golden Emperor killed him with a carbine, he might just kneel. With the despicableness and shamelessness of the Golden Emperor, such a thing must be done. Abominable. This time I suffered a big loss again, but I was careless. Seeing that Poru Salino's face was gloomy and uncertain, he didn't reply, and Zephyr didn't bother to speak again. The explosion under his feet caused the sea to sink deep, and it turned into a cannonball and turned into a black spot in the blink of an eye. Poru Salino glanced back at the sky, and his gloomy face disappeared into a golden beam. It took a while for the two of them to return to the volcanic island. Since the Golden Emperor didn't catch them, they would catch some other pirates. The entire volcanic island was panicked for a while. Over the sea on the other side. Chaos and Crocodile stood in the palm of the Goddess of God, and both breathed a sigh of relief. Akino also recovered a lot at his feet. Boss, that should be the Black Rust. Crocodile was blowing smoke rings. His black fur coat was flying behind his back, and his face was full of displeasure. If it wasn't for Zephyr Blackrest, Paul Salino would have been caught by them. Ninth things are inseparable, these old guys are wilder than the other, 
We have other things to do at the moment, so let's avoid their edge from now. Chaos also looked out at the endless sea, fluttering soot and fluttering in the sea breeze. Where are we going next? The windless belt, you train him first, and I will attack some important bases of the world government alone. Chaos frowned and looked at Aquino. The more he looked at him, the more useless he became. Even Paul Salino couldn't stand it. Crocodile's face was full of reluctance, and he also wanted to go out. However, there is still no objection, it is a default agreement. Lao Dun, your strength needs to be improved, otherwise you won't be able to join my team. Facing Chaos sharp gaze, Akino lowered his head and dared not look at each other, but he kept yelling in his heart. Now that I know that I am weak, I should let him go. Abominable. Train him to death, just like when I trained you, if you die, you will die. Seeing that Akino was silent, Chaos turned to look at Crocodile. Got it. Crocodile was smoking a cigar and looked at Akino coldly. Because of this guy, he doesn't even have time to go out and play B. What a hassle. Or secretly kill it? No, you must train yourself. Never die until this guy really understands the team's purpose culture. Crocodile's uncertain face returned to normal. After a while, Chaos sent the two to the windless belt and left. This time, the world government not only sent the warring states, but also sent Zephyr, I really look up to him. It would be rude not to return the gift. His golden emperor is known for his qualities. Blue Blue. Marin Fando, office of the Marshal of the Headquarters Building. Sora, who was dealing with government affairs, answered the phone bug. Marshal. The 59th branch was destroyed by the golden emperor. There was a terrified roar from the phone bug, and the words stopped abruptly. Two hours ago, Sora received the news about the volcano island, and he knew that Paul Salino and Zephyr had failed to capture the Golden Emperor. Now Zephyr is in pursuit on a warship, while Paul Salino is returning to the nearest naval branch to recuperate. It had only been two hours before the Golden Emperor made another move. Is it revenge? There was no anger in his imagination, Sora's face was calm. Just as Sora was thinking, the phone bug rang again. It's empty here. I'm number 10. Hearing the voice inside the phone bug, Sora's calm face gradually sneered. Time back to an hour ago, Happy Island. Under the cleaning of the three of Kezumi, calm has gradually recovered. Stuthy also took a shower and changed into a new set of clothes. He was checking some documents in a castle. The Red Light District not only includes Happy Island, but also the base camp. Other islands around the world also have Red Light Districts, which are branches. Now many of them have been out of Stuchy's control, and some are either self-reliant or annexed by other forces such as other forces in the underground world, which can be described as riddled with holes. There is so much to do next. Putting down the document and rubbing his forehead, Stuart took a sip of coffee, a look of sadness on his delicate face. Boom! The castle wall suddenly exploded, and several bruised corpses flew in and smashed into the other wall with rubble rolling. Stuthy's eyes turned cold, and he looked at the wall with smoke and dust, and two looming figures walked in. When he saw his face clearly, Stuthy's expression went out of control. Stuthy, it looks like you've been doing well this time. The voice is soft and a little weak. Like a moaning woman. Tennis' delicate face showed a smile that was not a smile. If no one was walking towards the sofa not far away. The three metal pterodactyl had a burly body and green hair that stood out. The two are like a beast and a sissy. Looking at the two of them, Stutchy kept his body tensed. There was even a hint of fear in his eyes. What she fears is not the muscular pterodactyl, but the no. Ten girl. You're still as beautiful as ever. Ten sat on the sofa, the slender eyebrows that turned into eyeliner curled up, 
and the white and tender face was full of smiles bathing in the spring breeze, but the next moment turned sharply as follows. You really killed saber-toothed tigers, squirrels, macaques, pangolins? Dangerous, extremely dangerous. Stuthy met those pupils that were even more delicate than a woman, and all the hair on his body exploded. This man looks like a motherfucker, but the cruelty of his methods can be said to be inhumane. He once slaughtered nearly half of the people of a small kingdom, at least 400,000 to 500,000 people. Looks like you really betrayed. Seeing that Stuthy was silent, he just looked at him with a vigilant expression, and the slender eyes of no. Ten narrowed slightly, like a seam that was extremely cold. Hey! Without a second thought, Stussy used shave to disappear in place and escaped. Puff. In the broken wall outside, Stutchy suddenly vomited blood, and the whole person turned into a cannonball and flew out, smashing into the ruins, his face full of pain. No. Ten, who was sitting on the sofa, appeared in vain on a broken wall, and leaned slightly to look at Stuthy who stood up, without the slightest fluctuation in his eyes. You still want to resist? Or do you think you can escape from me? Very indifferent tone, but full of honey confidence. Stuthy did not speak, and a large number of white clouds appeared all over his body in vain covering a radius of 100 meters in the blink of an eye. With the appearance of one after another lightning, it quickly transformed into a thundercloud and spread to a range of thousands of meters. No. Ten did not move, letting the thundercloud surround him. Those lightning bolts that are enough to stun an elephant don't even count as a tickling. Nature Department, is this what you rely on? Through the layers of black clouds, no. 10 seemed to see Stuthy. X. Chapter 159 underscore the golden fruit can also destroy the world plus 9 for the innocent little fat man. Chapter 159 underscore the golden fruit can also destroy the world plus 9 for the innocent little fat man. Blue blue. The phone rang in a hurry. In an island tavern on the great airline, Chaos was eating steak slowly and both inside and outside the tavern were staring at him. As always greedy, fiery, jealous. Even if I am used to this kind of eye-catching sight, I have a great sense of satisfaction every time. The feeling can last a lifetime. After destroying Naval Branch No. 59, chaos came to this island. I don't know if it was because of the return of his life. He was very hungry now and his appetite was rising. Just after eating the food for thirty people, the sound of a phone bug rang in the golden goose feather coat. Take it out in a hurry and put it on the table. After connecting, there is no sound inside. Almost five seconds later, a mother-in-law laughter came out. Golden Emperor. Chaos cut the steak, and slowly narrowed his eyes at the phone bug. Introduce myself. I'm Stussy's former captain. Oh. Chaos snorted and continued to eat his steak. On the tenth of Happy Island, he was sitting on the sofa looking at the phone bug on the desk, and glanced at the scarred Stuthy on the ground next to him, his face was pale and he was dying. Oh, the Golden Emperor, it directly blocked the sky. Some play cards out of common sense. Know that this phone bug is now Stussy's. Stussy is in my hands. Ten is still smiling, but there are needles hidden in the cotton. Oh. There was another oh, and there was also the sound of chewing, obviously the golden emperor was eating. It seems your new master doesn't care about you. Twice oh, a lot has been said. The golden emperor didn't take Stussy to heart, and was completely a subordinate who could be thrown away. Facing no. Tennis sneer, Stuthy fell to the ground in silence. This outcome was expected long before she left the team to deal with the red light district. That's right, whether it is Stussy or Chaos, they all expected it. Even negotiated. Now that it has been anticipated, why should Stutchy leave to deal with it alone? After all, 
chaos and crocodile could also follow. The reasons are those. It is impossible for chaos to give up in the red light district. The reason why Stutchy came alone is that he did not want to put his eggs in one basket. In addition, the two sides are careful. Stuthy wanted to tell Chaos that she really had no intention of betraying the world government. This is actually a bet that Chaos will save her. Some things are well known. In addition, Chaos also intends to solve the red light district once and for all, hurting each other is only one of the plans. He has another plan. At the same time, it is time for the world government to see the power of money. Since his debut, he has been fighting with gold, and the real value of gold has never been used. This is Chaos biggest trump card, but this trump card is too cleek. It's not that Chaos is blowing, he doesn't even need to save Stutchy himself, just two or three sentences can make the world government throw the rat's arms and let Stutchy go. Hurt each other now is just toying with the world government. Wait, were you threatening my appearance just now? As if he had realized it later, Chaos was chewing on the steak, as if he had just come to his senses. Even through the phone bug, no. Ten was stunned. The Golden Emperor is a mindless idiot. Just reacted. Ha ha tilde. Ten laughed loudly, but his voice was a little sharp, which made Chaos get goosebumps all over his body. It's really Nima, put away the sound of your sissy and you will receive an order soon, and then obediently let go of my appearance. Chaos had a chill, forcibly interrupted no. Tennis laughter, and continued to speak, Stussy, return your injuries later, beat me to the death, you are my golden emperor's person, no who can bully you, you are covered by Lao Tzu. The phone bug hung up and didn't even give the tenth a chance to speak. On the ground, Stutchy lowered his head and twitched his mouth, blood overflowing from his red lips, with a hint of helplessness in his eyes, and at the same time he was relieved. That vanity man did not give up on her. Hanging up the phone bug, Chaos took a sip of red wine and dialed a phone bug number again. Blue blue. It's empty here. As soon as the phone worm was connected, there was a majestic and strong voice. It was far away in the empty space of Malign Fando S office. Looking at the appearance of the phone worm, he could vaguely see the appearance of the Golden Emperor. The phone bug in the world of One Piece has a very magical ability, that is, both sides of the phone bug will show the appearance of the caller and some special characteristics. For example, the Chaos phone bug is now displaying Konami dried onions. Yo! Marshal Kong, would you like to have a cup of afternoon tea together? Chaos set down a cigar and blew the smoke ring with an expression of enjoyment on his face. Humph. Sora snorted coldly, not feeling much of chaos. Golden Emperor, you better hope you don't get caught by the Navy. Don't worry about this, now I want to threaten the world government, your level is not enough, let the five old stars call me. Remember, you only have three minutes, and if my phone doesn't ring for three minutes, I don't know what happens next. Money can control everything. Wait for your good news, dear. Chaos laughed sinisterly, and finally got a little naughty. After he finished speaking, he didn't give a chance to answer, and the phone worm hung up. In the office, Sora looked at the phone bug who had ended the call frowning and thinking about the meaning of the Golden Emperor. He is a Marshal of the Navy, and he actually said that his level is not enough? Sounds unpleasant. Threatening the world government? Who gave the courage? Not self-sufficient. Sora scoffed. From the beginning to the end, in his eyes, the Golden Empire is just a clown. And many more. Sora's expression changed slightly and he soon noticed the third sentence. Money can control everything. Damn it. Stupid? To be able to become a Marshal of the Navy, and to be the Commander-in-Chief of the entire army of the world government in the future, it is not enough to rely on combat power alone, but also to have a strong political talent and exquisiteness. 
the original contempt disappeared all at once. What remains is the lingering fear. If Whitebeard has the power to destroy the world and is uncontrollable on a large scale, then the Golden Emperor also has it, and it still refers to destruction. Money, indeed, can control everything. What is the scariest thing in this world? Human heart, greed, desire. And money can just be manipulated. Blue Blue. The urgent phone bug rang again, and Kong dialed Wu Loxing's phone bug. Empty, what's the matter? As soon as the phone was connected, there was a thick voice. Master Five Old Stars, the Golden Emperor just called. Sora quickly explained the situation just now, and at the same time, he also explained his guess. Immediately afterwards, both the Marshal's office and the Five Old Stars' office were quiet. Has the Golden Emperor finally noticed the greatest value of the Golden Golden Fruit? Mary Yully. The Five Old Stars have different expressions. Let's talk then. Geesh Wulok Singh is wearing a bathrobe, and his eyes under the white light glasses are extremely cold. X. Chapter 160 underscore having money is really troublesome plus 10 for the innocent little fat man. Chapter 160 underscore having money is really troublesome plus 10 for the innocent little fat man. Golden Emperor. The phone worm was connected, and Chaos shook the red wine glass in his hand. The bright red liquid inside exuded a sweet and mellow smell. In life, Chaos never wronged himself. The best wine ever. The steak is also the best. This hotel can give a good review. Five old stars, it's a pleasure to meet. Chaos looked at the bald phone bug with a birthmark on his forehead. Golden Emperor, what do you want to do? Birthmark Wuloxing didn't beat around the bush, but his tone was a little aggressive. I don't want to do anything, I just have a showdown with you guys. Chaos took a sip of his cigar, exhaling the smoke ring with elegance. Without rushing, he continued, I just received the news that my subordinate's appearance was caught by you guys, I'm very upset. I am poor and only have money left, so I plan to offer a reward for you to come and play, such as the five old stars heads of 10 billion each, the admirals 8 billion, the generals 6 billion the lieutenants 4 billion, and the major general. 10,000 berries for 3 billion soldiers. Government officials, all the world government agencies are offering a bounty of 8 or 9 billion. I believe that there will be many people in the world who want to get these riches. Look how kind I am, I have not let go of the sundry soldiers. Well, having money is really troublesome, and there is nowhere to spend it. It is estimated that I will still be recorded in the annals of history. The world government has always offered rewards to others, and now it should be a turn of Feng Shui. What do you think of this idea? Chaos sighed and said to himself that he was full of melancholy, showing the troubles of the rich. Ha! Huh. The breathing of the phone bug was a little heavy. At this moment, in Mary Yo's office, the five five old stars had gloomy faces and their eyes were full of murderous intent. This is what they are most afraid of. If the Golden Emperor really does this, then the world government will definitely mess up. Although the world government is strong enough, it will undoubtedly be a car in the face of the whole world, and the constant small troubles can make the world government paralyzed and difficult to operate. In the long run, the world government will definitely be dragged down. The reason why so many people in the world want to catch chaos is because of this. The destructive power of money is the most terrifying. Say your terms. This time, the five old stars in the flat hat spoke up. Both sides are not fools. Since the golden emperor has not done anything yet, but instead threatens them, it means that the other party is not ready to dare his face. If the golden emperor really dares to do this, the world government will kill him at all costs. At that time, the golden emperor who escaped to the ends of the earth would also be dead. Unless you leave this planet. It can be imagined that the Kpo of the world government, 
all the agencies of the Navy, and the strong pursued and killed Chaos desperately. No one knows what power is hidden behind the 800 odd years of the world government. Just those weird devil fruit abilities are a huge threat. What's more, the world government still has a big boss, and the five old stars are just puppets pushed to the bright side. This is also the reason why Chaos chose to talk on the phone instead of directly tearing his face. Chaos has repeatedly emphasized that arrogance and domineering are all based on the condition of fate, and everything is a cloud without this premise. Therefore, in the fight against the world government, the scope must be maintained within the controllable range, and the bottom line cannot be breached, otherwise once control is lost, it will definitely be chaos who will kneel. The world government, at best, has to pay a small price. Not worth it. Both sides are smart people. They have already counted more than 10 steps, and they all know how to choose the disadvantages and advantages. Doing business with smart people is smooth. As a for what I want, I believe you can also think of it. If you can't think of it, it can only mean that your ick may be a little defective. I want to know the result within 5 minutes. This conversation is very pleasant. Chaos hung up the phone after he finished speaking. Smart people don't need to say so clearly, he knows that the five old stars understand him. Bang! It's rampant. In Mary Joya's office, as the phone worm hung up, the five old stars with blonde hair had a gloomy face. How many years? I haven't felt this feeling in years. What do you think? Wu Lok Sing with long straight hair was sitting on the sofa, wearing a dark blue suit with Lang's legs crossed, his face was calm. This guy is a ticking time bomb, and the golden fruit should not be left behind. Geese Wu Lok Sing rubbed the supreme knife, and a cold light flashed across his eyes under the white light glasses. Do NT act rashly for the time being, seize the opportunity as soon as you have it and definitely don't give him any chance to resist, and things in the red light district will be put on hold for now. There are more and more troubles, and the Roger pirates are also a ticking time bomb. Notify me. The phone worm dialed again, and three minutes later the whole office was quiet. Happy Island, no. Ten hung up the phone and turned to look at Stuthy, her feminine face kept changing. How did the Golden Emperor do it? Just now, the five old stars personally called him, and they gave up the arrest of Stuchy and the takeover of the Red Light District. Looks like I'm fine. Stuthy staggered to his feet, the shattered dress on his body showed his slender figure to the fullest, and he reached out and brushed the messy hair on his forehead to his ears, revealing a graceful smile. She also heard the call just now. It is the order of the five old stars. Stussy, we'll meet again. Tennis face sank, and he stood up from the sofa and looked at Stuthy coldly. Stutchy still maintains a polite smile, she is responsible for her appearance, and she must show her best side at any time. As the man said, life can be lost, but demeanor must not be lost. This is a matter of principle. The two passed by, and no. Ten and Pterodactyl disappeared quickly. They also have to rush to the New World to investigate the news of, pure gold. Stuthy didn't stop, and didn't want revenge, but walked to the sofa with some difficulty and sat down, exhaling heavily. Blue blue. The phone worm on the desk rang again, and Stuthy connected. Boss. It seems that the five old stars are very sensible. The casual voice of chaos came out, which made Stu Oxy smile. Boss, it's going to take me a while to sort out the red light district. Don't panic, take your time. I'll be waiting for you in the new world. Chaos could hear from his voice that Stuthy was very relaxed now and seemed to be in a good mood. You should be reassured now, you can trust it. Let's do it first. The second appearance of our team has appeared which may threaten your status. At this time, in the hotel, Chaos suddenly looked out the window, an open-air coffee shop a few blocks away, 
his face full of surprise and surprise. He didn't expect to meet this woman here, interesting. Boss? Stuthy looked at the phone bug that hung up, her bright eyes enlarged a little. What's the meaning? Is her role in the team's appearance under threat? Could there be a second woman to join the team? Even the boss said that it might threaten her status, so this woman must be able to compete with her in terms of appearance. What a joke. She is the queen of joy. I don't know when it started, she seems to have started to care about the four words of appearance. It was awkward and awkward at first, but after listening to it too much, she seemed to get lost. It can be seen from Stutchy's reaction now. She will not compete for the appearance of the male side, but not the female side. It's about her honor and pride. No, I have to quickly finish the red light district and join the team. Stutchy has a strong sense of urgency. X. Chapter 161 underscore the second woman, sexy and responsible a little soft T plus one for T, this girl. Chapter 161 underscore the second woman, sexy and responsible a little soft T plus one for T, this girl. What a fucking world. An open air coffee shop, sun umbrellas, tea tables, the soft spring breeze, and the sexy woman sitting on the chair combine to form a beautiful landscape. This is a delicate woman wearing a red high top hat with a long tail on the back and short purple hair. Dressing can be said to be very bold. The upper body is an open chested and long sleeved waistcoat. You can see that the mountains are tall, straight and round. The lower body is a long tailed skirt with long slits and long white legs wearing red high heeled shoes. Next to the chair is a rolled up flagpole. The whole body is full of sexy and bold. It's just that the age doesn't look very big. Compared with the mature and sexy who debuted 20 years later, it is at most youthful and sexy, and there is less sense of story precipitation. In addition to being youthful and sexy, the first impression gives a sense of being a straight and carefree female man. Just like now, watching the news while drinking coffee, constantly bursting with foul language. I heard that the Golden Emperor is on the island. God help me too. Below Betty put down the newspaper, touched her pink lips, and thought about how to catch the Golden Emperor. As long as the Golden Emperor becomes his little brother, then he can eat as many almonds as he wants, and buy whatever he wants. The more he thinks about it, the more affordable it becomes. I heard you calling me, lady? Are you going to buy me a cup of coffee? A voice without warning rang in her ears and Betty subconsciously reached out and grabbed the flagpole beside the chair, and quickly left the coffee table to be alert. She was really frightened. There is no sign of the coldness at all. But at this moment, her eyes were slightly widened, and she even looked at the man who was sitting on the chair flutteringly, looking at her playfully. Golden Emperor. Betty's slender eyebrows trembled, do you want to be so accurate? I was just trying to get the other party's attention, but it appeared the next moment. The shape of the Golden Emperor is too dazzling, and it is difficult not to recognize it. Black vertical hair, gold earrings, gold goose feather coat, gold dragon tattoo, gold beach pants, gold flip flops, gold ring, gold light wheel, all the glittering gold all over the body is gorgeous and extravagant. Such an arrogant and high profile guy is currently big there is only the golden emperor at sea. This outfit is really annoying. Especially with the arrogance and contempt that spread in his bones, it was inexplicable that people couldn't help but want to stab them a few times. Naked to attract hatred. Too tugged. Bello Beatty. Chaos didn't admit his mistake, it was really Bello Betty the commander of the Eastern Army of the Future Revolutionary Army, a superhuman type with the ability to inspire fruit, and a sexy big sister who didn't like to wear underwear. It's just that Bella Betty is still very young now, but it still can't prevent her from wearing boldly. The Snow White Gully is full of deep, very predictable. Can see the hemisphere. You know me? 
Bello Betty is more vigilant, she is not a pirate. She didn't have any fame at sea either. She was quite sure that it was the first time she met the Golden Emperor, and the other party actually knew her. Looks like you've eaten the fruit of inspiration. Looking at Below Bet holding the flagpole tightly, Chaos set down a cigar and said after a sip, Don't be so nervous, drink a cup of coffee first, didn't you want to catch me just now? Coward. Betty's delicate face wrinkled, looking at the other party's half smile expression. She was very upset. Since you delivered it to your door, then I'm welcome. Betty's straight and violent temper couldn't bear the arrogance that chaos was exuding both inside and outside for a long time. Simply neat and not out of the water? The most important thing is that the other party seems to know her very well, even the devil fruit. This is a huge threat. Betty is very insecure. Facing the menacing thrust, Chaos just tilted his head, then stretched out his hand to cover the armed color and grabbed it, but Betty's reaction was very fast, the slender and round long legs swept across, and a touch of spring was reflected in the pupils of Chaos. Betty doesn't like to wear underwear on her upper body, but she still wears it on her lower body. But because of the high forked long tail skirt, that quick glance exposed everything. A storm rushed out in a fan shape, and all the surrounding tables, chairs and benches were thrown away, and the figure of chaos gradually faded. Is an after image. It's so pungent. You managed to get my attention. A playful voice sounded behind Betty, and he could even feel the heat. Chaos did not know when he appeared behind Betty with his hands in his pockets, like an outsider. Betty's body tightened and she gave a spin kick without even thinking about it, covering the armed color with mighty momentum. Chaos didn't rush, raised his foot and put his knee against Betty's little white leg, and threw a random punch. In an emergency, Betty held the flagpole to block it. The whole person took the opportunity to distance themselves and turned a few somersaults in the air and then stood in the air. On the ground. The face is serious. In just two short fights, Betty knew that she was not an opponent. So, Betty ran away directly. Seeing Betty's disappearing figure really made chaos stunned for a moment. In the future, the big sister of the Revolutionary Army, the commander of the Dodong Army, was so able to bend and stretch when she was young? So unexpected. Chaos determined that the other party was not serious. Boom. The explosion on the ground caused a lot of gravel, and a lock of heaven fell from the sky, blocking Betty's way. Boom boom boom. The explosions continued, and a large amount of dust began to expand to block the sight. A large amount of soil, sand and gravel broke into the air, and all the locks of the sky were stretched and vaguely formed a bird cage. Damn. Betty waved the flagpole. The breath on her body suddenly soared, and the speed also increased, and she escaped when the lock of the sky was completely blocked. Feeling the changes in Betty, Chaos became more and more satisfied. In Chaos's view, the fruit of encouragement is also a bug. In the original work, it stimulates the power of others' hearts. In short, it means adding buff to people, and it is still a group addition. Even an ordinary person, with the ability to inspire fruit, can display the combat effectiveness of challenging tens of millions of Bailey pirates with bounties. The reason why the future Revolutionary Army is so feared by the world government, this fruit can be said to occupy a lot of ingredients. Because under this fruit, even ordinary people can become warriors, and they can completely control the trend in war. It is a very powerful auxiliary ability. If he was inspired, his combat power might increase by several levels. Stuthy's special effects, Betty's buff, and the recorded BGM are simply powerful tools for pretending to commit crimes, and the more you look at Betty Coes, the more pleasing you feel. Buff is simply a plugin. Can make people exert 200% of their strength, this woman will be determined. Chaos waved his hand and all the locks of the sky exploded, turning into gold powder to form golden waves, 
spraying in all directions towards Betty and encircling him. Facing such an attack, Betty's face changed. The rest no way to escape. It's over. Zuo two and two two never escaped. Looking at the golden sand swept in, Betty stopped the flagpole in front of her, and her face covered with armed color was full of unwillingness. I didn't expect my mother to be planted here. X. Chapter 162 underscore the richest group was established, and the Queen of Buff complained, it is a little soft for T plus 2. Chapter 162 underscore the richest group was established, and the Queen of Buff complained, it is a little soft for T plus 2. Russell. Without the imagined damage, all the sands surrounded Betty, and soon disappeared into the sky. Betty opened her eyes and looked left and right, except that her body was dyed gold, there was no wound, and she was still alive and well. What have you done to me? Betty turned to look at Chaos, who had his hands on his shoulders and a cigar in his mouth, his face was very ugly. She is not stupid. I will buy you a cup of coffee. Chaos hooked her fingers, and Betty found that she couldn't control her body, and she couldn't even make an expression. What do you want to do? After sitting down, Betty found that she could speak, and immediately glared at Chaos, even though she was well hidden, there was still a hint of despair and panic in her eyes. She didn't know what this man was going to do. Become the most arrogant person in the world with me? Chaos blew smoke rings and invited Betty. Huh? Betty was stunned, thinking she had heard it wrong. Chaos shrugged, beckoned to the waiter who was dodging not far away, and motioned for two more cups of coffee. What a joke. Betty was very excited. How could she be someone else's subordinate? She is below Betty. I will never surrender. Betty is very tough, and her face is full of death. It's all about being a woman who doesn't allow men, and her sexy revealing that Ninja is unyielding. She still has a lot of time to spend, so how could she surrender to others and let her freedom disappear? Then go to hell. Chaos flexed his fingers and the golden halo on his back turned into a golden long sword, stabbing toward Betty's heart in one fell swoop. Wait. Betty's heart palpitated for a while, and her voice broke. This guy doesn't know how to pit his angksu. Under normal circumstances, it should be invited several times. It's not the norm. The golden long sword was only one centimeter away from Bai's chest and chaos was expressionless. Any last words? You. Betty's face gradually turned ashen and flushed. Looking at the golden long sword in front of her chest, she could feel the cold air even from a centimeter away, and her heart stopped beating. What to do, what to do? Delicate faces swept away, and Betty knew there was no choice. Five days later, on the magnificent sea, a golden Lamborghini flew by slowly, with Chaos sitting in the driver smoking a cigar, and the co-pilot was Betty. Since she bowed her head five days ago, this man has taken her for a spin on the sea. In the past five days, she initially recognized the nerves of this man. Being arrogant, high profile, trying to kill, and causing trouble, will not stop for a moment. Blind Chicken Cake is also playing bully color not in trouble or on the way to trouble. Those team purpose culture should not be too embarrassing and second, this guy can not only speak out, but also prove it with practical actions. So much so that she is now famous. Looking at the newspaper in his hand, there is a photo of her on it. The following information shows, the richest group of dance queens, buff queen Bello Betty, offered a reward of 230 million. Sexy in the richest group. Motto, society is my dance sister, says justice. Looking at this information, she also slammed a dog. Originally, she would not have been offered a reward, but the man beside her even swaggered to a naval branch, forcibly threatened other people's navy, and even made a phone call with Admiral Cyborg Air to specifically ask the other party to issue a reward. 
It is also said that it is just an attitude. This kind of stupid operation really shocked her. In order to tie her to the chariot, this man also tried his best. As everyone knows, she will resist as long as she has the chance, but the old lady is below Betty, how can she yield to a man? What a joke! Now he is just trying his luck. Betty sneered in her heart, even though it was only five days, she had already seen the face of the man beside her. Totally neurotic. There is no guarantee at all for causing trouble everywhere. If it continues like this, after a long time, she doesn't even know how she died, and now she has a feeling that she is the enemy of the world, and she will die at any time. The risk is too great. In addition, this man is also an aimless man, and he is still going his own way. Dance queen, buff queen, what the hell is this? Don't you feel ashamed? Embarrassed? Do you want to face? What are the richest group? Is it her power? Is it so vulgar? But there is one thing she is still very satisfied with, that is, being sexy. It seems that this man's eyes are not blind, which is her positioning and charm. But I want to complain about the motto, the society is my dance sister, it sounds like a big gangster sister. Sexy is justice, which is in line with her. In addition, this man is very hypocritical and double standard. The previous sentence also said freedom of speech, which is not a single word in the entire group but the next second these messy information will be set. She was only stunned for three seconds, and the guy thought he agreed. So there is now this bounty information. It sucks. Ultimately. She is wanted as queen of dancing and queen of buffs. Open up your wanted report, and there are a few more. It's her future colleague. Photo. Power. The richest group. Name. Stutchy. Title, Queen of Joy, Queen of the Red Light District. Positioning, Responsible for Appearance. Reward, 360 million. Motto, I love my sister in society, and beauty is justice. Devil Fruit, Nature Union Fruit. There is not a lot of information, but in Betty's view, this is the only person who can threaten her. Why is she responsible for her beauty? Although his sexy position is not bad, his appearance is also first class, okay. So before we met, Betty didn't like this woman very much. There are two more next. Power, the richest group. Name, Shark Rocker Dial. Titles, King of the Desert, Tsar, Emperor Quenchy, Environmental Killer, Thinker. Positioning, Responsible for Brainwashing. Reward. 560 million. Motto, society is shay, arrogance is justice. Devil fruit, nature shasha fruit. This man, Betty, has seen it in the news newspapers that offered rewards several times before, but what the hell is brainwashing? Forget it, the gender is not the same, you can't threaten yourself. Then there is another person. Power, the richest group. Name, Don Archino. Title, Sun King, Warm King. Positioning, Hot and Responsible. Reward, 210 million. Motto, Society is my brother, Warmth is justice. Devil Fruit. The gender is different, still can't threaten her, just ignore it. The last one is the man next to him. The information is much more detailed than them. In the main driver, Chaos glanced at Betty from the corner of his eye, and then blew a smoke ring and thought. After the conversation with the five old stars, the matter about the red light district came to an end. At the beginning, there was so much fanfare that it ended with just two or three words. There is still some emptiness in my heart. At present, the practice of the five old stars is still in line with his heart. Now the red light district's touchy is rapidly closing, and the rest remain normal. His wanted has not been withdrawn, everything is the same. But he has standardized the team a few days ago. From now on, he will be the boss of the richest group. 
As for Crocodile's information, it is naturally the result of his negotiation with the Navy. Of course, the two sides are not happy. In the end, it was decided by talking to Kong. Chaos knew that as long as there was a chance, the world government would definitely get rid of him. If he took it lightly, it would be over at any time. But he didn't panic. Next is, Bjur Gold. Dash after finishing 22 shifts at one time, my body has been hollowed out, let me rest for a few days. It is currently guaranteed for two updates. As for the results, it's clear that it's gone. There are still too few people who understand the si points in a thousand words. Alas! Don't worry, you won't enter the palace. Unless it is reported like the previous book, from the pirates to hunt the protagonist, they will not enter the palace. I'm still a little virgin. X. Chapter 163 underscore that was his last stubbornness. Chapter 163 underscore that was his last stubbornness. Happy Island, in a castle. Stuthy was sitting on the sofa with her snow white legs tacked together, drinking coffee very elegantly, and was looking at the newspaper in her hand. This motto is not bad, I love my sister in society, and beauty is justice. The richest man group? It didn't disappoint me. Stuthy looked at the news report about her bounty with a hint of helplessness. She knew that the man named Abolition, it was embarrassing and embarrassing, but she was used to it now. Huh? Did you add two more colleagues while I was away? Hot charge? Sexy duty? Stuart glanced casually at the information about Aquino, focusing his attention on the Betty news. Humph. Can't help snorting coldly just because this woman wants to threaten her status? Is it to be funny? Sexy is vulnerable in the face of appearance, not to mention that he can control any temperament, youth, maturity, temptation, uniform, queen style. As long as she wants to, no woman can be more attractive than her. I don't know why, Stussy was a little upset. It's about your charm in the group, do NT be sloppy? Anything can be disputed, but who is the most attractive and beautiful must be contested. It's about the dignity of a woman. The world will always only remember the first, no one will remember the second. Before the two sides met, hostility had already developed. My Lady of the Queen, Perrault's branch. A burly man in a suit walked in from outside the gate, holding a stack of documents to report to Stuthy the status of other red light divisions. He was newly promoted recently, and he was completely a small leader among the leaders before. To their grassroots, Stuthy was the queen. And this time the death toll is in the thousands, and many familiar faces are gone. It really frightened some executives in the entire red light district, and now some leaders dare not come to see Stuthy. This time, Stuthy was indeed ruthless, because she found that the past was too kind. You go down first. Yes. The big man breathed a sigh of relief, put the information on the desk, and backed out carefully. Stuthy took a sip of coffee and picked up the documents to check, but the more he looked, the darker his face became. Although the world government has withdrawn its power, the power in the red light district has not been fully withdrawn. Sexy woman Medusa, enslaved King Corradastlo. Tobacco Man Thatched. Funeral Home Magnate Drago Pikello. Hidden Kybus Son. The King of Usury, Dufeld. Big News Morgans. Seeking Amit. With a frown, none of these guys are easy to deal with. Stuthy couldn't help rubbing his forehead. All of the above people are big names in the underground world. During this time, they have swallowed up a lot of red light district forces and it is impossible for them to spit out what they eat. In particular, the three forces of the amorous woman, the enslaved king and the tobacco man, even before the chaos in the red light district, she is not as powerful as the other. As for the rest, although they are not as powerful as the first three, they cannot be underestimated. Not worse than her red light district. Aside from these forces, there are some other small forces, 
etc. either forcibly occupying or grabbing business. Some trouble. At present, we can only consolidate the existing forces first. As for these underground world bosses, we can't act rashly. You can only settle accounts later. At this moment in the sea, all the forces are also holding the latest news. The richest man group, the king of the desert, the sun king, the queen of joy, and the queen of dancing are all on fire. What is the responsibility of brainwashing, the responsibility of hotness, the responsibility of appearance, the responsibility of sexy, the social miche, sister Huan, sister dance, brother Dun, the bizarre title is very dazzling. As for the golden emperor, the popularity has been high, and the news flow cannot be improved anymore. But from now on, the Golden Emperor is also a powerful person. The richest group boss. In the windless zone, a golden Lamborghini swept past quickly, and finally stopped under a cliff on a pristine island. After closing the door and getting out of the car in one go, Chaos looked at the two people in front of him with a cigarette in his mouth and couldn't help but snort. As for Betty, she was also stunned. Boss. There was no difference between Crocodile and when they parted five days ago, but Akino was different. The lower body was surrounded by a grass skirt, and there were all kinds of scars or wounds all over his body. His eyes were bulging and bloodshot, and the dark circles like the bottom of a pot all showed that Akino was holding on. That was his last stubbornness. The main reason is that Akino's chubby body has lost three lamps, which is no different from a bamboo pole. The whole person is like being sucked up by the essence of the foe, and the energy is not right. It looks like the lamp has run out of oil, and it may ascend to the sky at any time. Yozu. When I left, I was still 300 pounds. How come I only have 50 pounds left in 5 days? This is too frustrating. Lao Sha, what did you do to Lao Dun? Chaos became serious. Although he did not force his subordinates to be harmonious, there was no need to make trouble like killing his father. Betty next to her, took the news and compared it several times. The photo of the Sun King and the real person are completely two people, this difference is also inhumane. I didn't do anything, it's none of my business. I let him rest and he wouldn't. Crocodile spread out his hands, and now Akino's appearance is completely made by himself, and it is none of his business. It's none of your business? Chaos looked lonely. Facing the gaze of Chaos, Crocodile looked like a gentleman. Lao Dun, wake up! Chaos withdrew his gaze reached out and patted Akino's face. This guy is now in a daze, and it is estimated that his soul is not in his body. Boom. Akino attacked in vain. His right fist was red with high temperature steam, and there was no sign at all. Chaos frowned, disappeared and appeared behind Akino, who forcibly stunned Akino with a single strike. He could see that this blow was Akino's unconscious attack and it should be fine after a sleep. Ask when you wake up. Chaos always felt that he had something to do with Crocodile, and he couldn't get rid of it anyway. Boss, have a cigar first. Crocodile has NT smoked a cigar for two days, after all five days on the island. Chaos's mind moved, and a golden cigarette case was shot down from a thousand meter altitude. It was suspended in front of Crocodile and opened, and there were cigars lined up in it. Wootilda. After pulling out one and burning it down, Crocodile squinted and blew out smoke rings, only to notice Betty's existence. Who is this exhibitionist woman? Sexy responsibility on our team. Chaos was a little speechless, but Betty's dress was indeed a bit indecent. It feels a bit exhibitionist. But everyone has their own views, some see sexy, charming, tempting, while others see exhibitionism. Like Crocodile. I don't know if the brothel gave him a psychological shadow that time, and now he is not very cold to women. Out of the corner of the eye, Betty's face really sank. How could he endure that petty temper? 
ugly man. Well? Crocodile didn't seem to hear clearly, and stared at Betty slightly. And Betty raised her chin, squinting her eyes as if she was looking down at Crocodile, and said mercilessly and coldly, It's you. X. Chapter 164 underscore chaos, the code name has been thought out. Chapter 164 underscore chaos, the code name has been thought out. Feeling the tense atmosphere, there are faint shadows of swords and swords. Chaos was a bachelor, so he grabbed a kino and retreated. A big gangster and a big gangster sister have a natural temper. The murderous aura floating in the air is getting heavier and heavier. In the society, I am Shay, and in society I am Sister Wu. People don't talk much, and if they don't agree, they will do it. Boom. The annular air pressure swept out, a big foot and a slender long leg collided, all covered with armed colors and looked at each other with arrogance and contempt in their eyes. The ground began to crack to form cobweb cracks and Chaos, who was watching the play, was smacking his cigar, with black vertical hair and a golden goose feather coat fluttering, he already knew who would win. Unsurprisingly, Lao Shao would win. If it is based on the old sand at this time in the original book, it may not be able to take much advantage. After all, Betty can stack buff for herself. Just so domineering. But now Lao Shao's no longer the old Lao Sha he has been reborn. Chaos left after watching it for a while. Neither of them were fools. Coming to the mountain range deep in the island, Chaos looked at the stream in front of him. After spitting out a smoke ring with a cigar in his mouth, the goddess of a thousand meter high sky descended, and his right hand turned into a spiral drill, because Chaos sensed there is a lot of gold in the ground beneath the feet most likely a small gold mine. The goddess of God is 150 tall, and it is time to continue to develop. About five or six minutes later, a deep well channel appeared on the ground, and Chaos jumped directly down, almost falling more than 30 meters, and finally found a gold mine. As soon as he reached out and touched it, the medium was reached, the whole ground shook and a large piece of gold began to break through the ground to see the sunlight again. Naturally, chaos was also pushed out of the ground. This is not a small flaw. Although chaos can sense where there is gold underground, he cannot control it from a distance. He must touch it with his hands beforehand. Otherwise, even if it is placed in front of chaos, it cannot be controlled. Next, step by step. The gold is refined, the density and hardness are increased, and it becomes pure gold and blends with the goddess of God. Under the circumstance of being visible to the naked eye, the body of the goddess of God begins to grow taller and stronger. Five hours later, the goddess of God rose from 150 meters to 170 meters, reaching the limit of chaos. Strictly speaking, it has not only increased by 20 meters, because the golden light wheel erected behind the goddess of God has also become larger. If the golden light wheel of the goddess of God is separated, it can become another goddess of God. The goddess and the golden halo have always been the same size, but the shape is different. It's over. Back at the foot of the cliff, the surrounding area was in ruins, with raised hills and cracks everywhere. Betty was lying in the ruins, the two weapons were undulating, and there was blood hanging from the corners of her mouth. Opposite Crocodile smoking a cigar, short of breath and embarrassed, and now reading the news. Grinning, Vanity was greatly satisfied. The king of the desert, the Tsar, the great emperor Quanjian, the environmental killer, and the thinker, he didn't know he was so hung up, these titles are simply too suitable for him. However, the great emperor Quanjian did not understand very well. But that doesn't prevent him from agreeing with the news. It's just that there are some flaws in the positioning, and it turns out that it is some kind of brainwashing. He has always positioned himself as a man who is responsible for his appearance. After reading his own newspaper, 
he passed Aquino and Stucci directly, and looked at Betty's newspaper with a disdainful expression. The two sides had just had a cordial conversation with fists, and he admitted that this woman had to brush his, at least much stronger than Aquino. But her character is extremely rude and savage, and those who don't know it think she is the eldest sister of the underworld. I don't know where the honey juice confidence came from, but he was arrogant towards him. Words like rubbish, idiots, trash, etc. are hand in hand, and they have no cultural quality at all. Not like a woman at all. Positioning is still sexy, where is it sexy? Is this dress with an open chest and no underwear called sexy? It's an exhibitionist. Crocodile scoffed. Have you ever seen such a sexy woman? Look at you again and blind you. Betty stared, filled with murderous intent. Crocodile's contemptuous look annoyed her. Okay, from now on, we will be a group of people. If we don't like each other, we will fight again in the future. Lao Sha, go and prepare the ingredients for dinner and go to the new world tomorrow. Humph. When Chaos spoke, Crocodile snorted coldly at Betty, a hero who didn't fight with the woman, turned into flying sand and disappeared. Get up. Chaos reached out and looked at Betty, the guy was still very dissatisfied. Still too young. Looking at Betty's bleeding mouth and Aquino, who was exhausted not far away, Chaos had a flash of inspiration, and there seemed to be a doctor missing from the group. Someone seems to be a good fit. Whether it is damage or fatigue, it can be bounced off. Now the special effects background, BGM, and buff are all there, and there is still a bug to restore the state. Since you have already cut the beard once, then it is no problem to cut it twice or three times. I don't know what happened to Long's business. Now Bartholomew Bear may still be the king of Solby Kingdom, or he may have gone out to sea as a pirate, but the title of tyrant should not have been broken, otherwise there should be more or less reward news. It seems necessary to investigate. Pulling Betty up, Chaos took out the phone bug from his golden goose feather coat and dialed in front of Betty. Boss. The phone worm just rang for ten seconds before being connected. It was Stussy's voice. Stussy, investigate a man named Bartholomew Bear, who may be the king of Solby Kingdom, or may have gone to sea as a pirate. Chaos told the bear's information. Got it. Boss, there is one more thing I need to report to you. Say. Currently doing business in the Red Light District. Stuthy explained the situation of the Red Light District in detail. There are many underground kings and some minor forces involved. It is not a small trouble to want these forces to spit out what they have eaten. Chaos kept smoking a cigarette, frowning when Stuthy finished speaking. You get rid of those small forces first. As for the enslavement king and others, wait for me to get the pure gold thing done, and talk to them with fists in person. As for the underground world, chaos is not staring at it for a day or two. It's just that I can't take it out now. When I get pure gold, it's time to rectify it. Okay. Then I hang up. As the phone bug hung up, chaos began to think. It is not so easy to rectify the underground world. Those forces are intricate, and the interests involved may cover the world's famous forces. The powerful pirate groups such as the world government, the navy, the flying sky pirates, and Big Mom, not to mention some kingdom forces. I don't know how many ghosts and ghosts there are. Chaos knew very well that it was simply unrealistic to want to unify the underground world. However, the market share must be at least 50%. Just because he is the golden emperor, rich. Just so will for arrogant. Chaos had even thought about his code name in the underground world. It's called the Dark King. The revolutionary army is called the Emperor. The richest group is called the Golden Emperor. Perfect. Every title is great. Let's rewind the addition rules again, every 300 monthly passes, plus one update, 
push down in turn. Each time you give 2 W starting coins, plus 1 change, 3 W plus 2 change, 4 W plus 3 change. Push down in turn, 10 W plus 10 change. Subscribe every 400, plus 1 more, and push down in turn. For every 6000 recommended tickets, plus 1 is updated and pushed down in turn. Dash by the way. You have so many monthly and recommended tickets from there? I wipe. It's only been two days, okay? Now there is not a single manuscript, the monthly ticket is 502, and the recommendation ticket is 7164, so I owe two chapters? I lost it. Just finished the 22 chapters of Huaru I, and the kidneys can't stand it. I'm afraid I have to pay the two chapters back next month, let me wait a few days. X. Chapter 165 underscore everybody doesn't count. Chapter 165 underscore everybody doesn't count. At night, a bright galaxy spans the sky. A bonfire was constantly burning, and Crocodile had a serious face forming a blackboard with sand, explaining the team's purpose culture to Betty with emotion. Akino is still lying dead. Chaos sat beside Betty and listened to Crocodile's mouth with fragrance. Betty propped her chin with one hand and looked at Crocodile like a fool, yawning from time to time, obviously her left ear went in and out right, and she didn't hear it at all. This bullshit culture, the man beside him has already told him. It's almost the same for fooling children. She is Bella Betty, how could she be swayed by a few words? But I have to admit, there is some truth to what this guy said. It's not a random fabrication. The things he talks about can easily make people excited. Something called, dream, is gradually taking shape. Inadvertently at first, Betty became a little more serious over time. Compared with Chaos's second and straightforward eloquence, Crocodile is undoubtedly smoother and easier to point to people's hearts. Chaos picked up the red wine on the golden table and watched Crocodile's performance expressionlessly. This guy hadn't seen him for five days, and his knowledge of Quanjian seemed to be deeper. He could feel Betty's contempt at the beginning, and now the thoughtfulness. Of course, we are not fools. I just think what Crocodile said makes sense, including that Akino was not completely brainwashed. People are sober, but there is something more, dream, and, goal, in their hearts. Boss, the above is the purpose culture I added. Crocodile had a dry mouth as he lifted his glass, and he needed to moisten his throat. Good. Chaos gave face very much, and gave a warm applause with a cigar in his mouth. Betty didn't show any expression, just looked at Chaos and Crocodile strangely. She always felt that these two people were not normal. She thought that only Chaos had a problem. Now it seems that the whole team is afraid of it. Something wrong. She hadn't had much contact with Akino and Stutchy, so she wasn't sure, but she was pretty sure now. Currently she is the most normal one. Betty, our team has free speech. If you have any ideas you can speak up. After Crocodile sat on the golden chair, Chaos turned to look at Betty, who was hesitant to speak. I just want to ask a question, is it really good to court death like this? Betty probably understood the team's purpose and culture. Arrogance, high profile, excitement, heartbeat, free will, and freedom can be summed up into words. Seek death. Or find death. That's right, in Betty's view, these two men are looking for death and suicide. Please, it's easy to be targeted like this. Die may not know how to die. Madman. These two guys are crazy. It's crazy. She doesn't feel safe at all now. I've seen rude and arrogant people, but I've never seen such a thing. It fully interprets the spirit of working towards death as long as one does not die. Lao Sha, it seems that we still have some doubts about our sexy responsibility. Chaos flicked the ash, very calm. Cough. 
Crocodile coughed and watched Betty's words become serious. The mystery of life is the excitement and heartbeat of that moment, you belong to the kind of weak woman who has no dreams and only spends a lifetime in a hurry. To be born as a human being, you must let yourself live in style. Before Crocodile finished speaking, Betty slammed the table and stood up. That little tantrum exploded on the spot. What did you say? I'm weak. I don't know. My mother is Bello Betty, who said she has no dreams. Are you looking down on my mother? You rubbish, scum, fool, fool. Chaos was caught off guard and almost didn't hold the cigar firmly. Although he knew that Betty was a bit rude and pungent, he didn't expect it to be so serious. He felt more fierce than twenty years later. This character is the exact opposite of Stutchy. After all, Stutchy is still relatively reserved, most of the time in a lardy like state. But Betty, it feels like a thorn. The kind of mixed society. Still a stick. Self esteem seems to be strong and arrogant. It can be seen from the fight with Crocodile at the first meeting that this is a tiger girl. But this kind of character is obsessed with sexy. The contrast scale is slightly larger. Stupid woman. My father is Zar Crocodile. Crocodile was also on fire and the other party pointed at him and scolded him, even the man couldn't bear it. What's more, the time he passed through the brothel, he didn't have much of a call for women. Want to fight? The old lady is Bello Beatty, the queen of dancing, and she is still sexy. I'm afraid of you? Shit is sexy, you're an exhibitionist. Crocodile, my mother will kill you today. The eyes of the two seemed to be spitting fire. As soon as Betty grasped the flagpole, she stabbed towards Crocodile with her armed color covering. The latter appeared with a sand knife in her right hand, and also slashed out with her armed color covering. Swish! Powerful wind and waves swept all around, and a new round of battle began. Chaos rubbed his forehead, which also became too fast. Forget it. As long as it doesn't kill him, he doesn't care. Little do they know that such a situation of Shura will become more and more severe in the future, especially when Stuthy returns. The next day, the sun was shining brightly. The golden Lamborghini was driving on the calm sea, and it was the four of them. The company pilot sat in Crocodile, with Betty and Aquino in the rear. Now Aquino has woken up, but he has become taciturn. His eyes are in a trance from time to time and he feels that his condition is more serious than five days ago. Chaos also knew about these five days. How to say it? Aquino didn't become stupid, just simply didn't want to talk. In addition, he was a bit schizophrenic and neurotic. Crocodile's brainwashing said that success was also successful, and that failure was also failure. As soon as he woke up this morning, Archino challenged Crocodile. Even Betty and Chaos were not spared, they were completely hobmeat. Grumpy Bunch. It seems that he is very enthusiastic about fighting, that is, a feeling that if you don't kill me, I will kill you, which is completely different from the beginning. After the big change in personality, it is somewhat similar to Kaido. In these short five days, Akino has also become stronger both in terms of temperature and physical fitness. But even that didn't change the fact that Aquino was weak in the entire team. Now the bruised face is the result of a failed challenge. Betty was sitting in the back seat, her right hand resting on the car door with her chin propped up, her short purple hair dancing wildly in the sea breeze, and she glanced at Aquino next to her, as well as Chaos and Crocodile in the front seat. Betty was quite a crowd. They are all drunk on the superiority of my sobriety. She was now certain that Akino was also a mentally ill fellow. The first two are also, only they are normal. In fact, Akino, Crocodile, and even Chaos felt the same way, and no one else was normal except himself. What does this point to? It means that everyone has no idea. The Red Earth continent has arrived. After flying for a while, 
everyone saw the crimson continent towering into the clouds. As long as they cross this continent, they can reach the new world. X. Chapter 166 Underscore Ruins in the Red Continent. Chapter 166 Underscore Ruins in the Red Continent. Chaos looked at this crimson continent with a smoke ring, and an idea came up in vain. It looks like there will be a few more days of delay. The speed of the golden Lamborghini did not decrease. When it flew to the bottom of the red soil continent, it ran vertically on the red wall, and a golden tributary automatically stretched out from the seat, forming a seat belt to bind the three of Betty. The red soil continent is notoriously barren and hard, far stronger than some islands, and it is difficult for plants to survive on it. The entire red soil continent was shrouded in clouds and mist from the middle of the mountain, and Chaos initially estimated that it was tens of thousands of meters at least. The higher you go, the thinner the air gets. It is really not something that ordinary people can do to climb up this continent. A few minutes later, the group of people got out of the car and looked at the top of the red soil continent, which was barren and barren like the Gobi. After all, they have never been to the top of the mountain. Desolate, wide, there are no plants on it, and there is nothing else but the sound of the wind whistling. Ordinary people who come here suddenly may fall into a coma due to lack of oxygen. Chaos looked around, and he could feel some watchtower buildings. It should be someone arranged by the world government. However, the scope of the red soil continent is too large and the desolation is extremely desolate, so the distance between the two watchtowers is relatively far. Some places are even deserted and only wreckage remains. Some unusual soil rocks, reach out and touch and find that they are much firmer than ordinary soil. It may be that the density is too high, so many plants cannot survive, and the altitude is too high. It's hard to see the sea from here, unless the clouds change. Are we just blowing here? Betty stared, tightening her open chested trench coat, a little cold. There's nothing to see here, it's barren and desolate. Chaos didn't speak, he held his chin, raised his foot and stepped on it, and began to recall all kinds of wild speculations in some forums in his previous life. Some netizens said that there are a lot of devil fruits or gold and silver treasures buried on the red earth continent. It is possible that the real body of the three ancient weapons of Pluto is also buried in the red soil continent. There is even speculation that the final island of Ralph Drew is somewhere in the red continent, with access to the inner space through the sea. There are also netizens who say that the truth of the devil fruit is also inside the red soil continent, such as the ghost fruit tree that does not exist. There are even people who speculate that the base camp of the D family is also inside the red soil continent. In short, all kinds of guesses are full of imagination, but no matter whether these guesses are right or not, it is recognized that the red earth continent definitely has secrets. Lao Sha, make a hole out of it. Chaos looked up at Crocodile. Although the Red Earth Continent was very hard, it was too easy for Crocodile to destroy it. Is there something down there? Betty looked at the ground suspiciously, Crocodile was smoking a cigar, and Aquino blinked. I heard there might be treasure down here. True or false? Betty's interest was immediately hooked up. Crocodile didn't hesitate, and with himself as the center, the red soil continent began to desertify, and the crowd gradually sank. After half an hour, I don't know how many meters I have sneaked. Akino's body temperature illuminated the surroundings like a luminous body. Except for the sandy soil, nothing else appeared. Betty looked at Chaos suspiciously. As if there was nothing. Chaos also murmured a little but he was still very calm. Go down and try it. Crocodile didn't speak, and the group sank down again, just like taking an elevator, and the soil on both sides was automatically desertified and separated. More than ten minutes later, Crocodile, who was originally lacking in interest, suddenly changed his expression. 
boss, there really is something. Crocodile S words just fell, as if breaking a layer of separation, everyone came to a cave, the most important thing is that this cave is not dim, because some spa is shining brightly, not like a night pearl. Rather than saying that this is a cast cave, it is better to say that it is a ruined ruin, filled with historical atmosphere, and there are various buildings embedded in the soil on the surrounding walls. Chaos frowned at these dilapidated ruins, and when he touched them lightly, some of them were scattered with the wind. It's incredible. There is actually a ruin inside the Red Earth continent. A few people walked around in the cave and found nothing of value, just a simple ruin, and the age was extremely old. Chaos was thoughtful, and his intuition told him that he had discovered a great secret. After all, this is too shocking. There are ruins inside the Red Earth continent. Going a little deeper, guess whether there are towns in other parts of the Red Earth continent? If this is the case, then the Red Soil continent is very likely not formed naturally, which is fun. Could it be the foreshadowing of the Odagai? Sure enough, the vast majority of pirates are fascinated by the magic trick, and the Red Earth continent really has secrets. Losher, dig further down, or dig around to see if there are no ruins. No problem. Crocodile was also very interested, and Betty's eyes were shining. An hour. Two hours. Five hours. Standing in a new ruin cave, looking at the prehistoric ruins in front of them, the four of them all bonded. Could it be that someone once lived in the Red Earth continent? These ruins seem to be towns, or even a kingdom. Crocodile burns, cigars, and the ruins are man-made no matter how you look at them, although many of them are bizarre. Just why are these ruins in the Red Soil Continent? Chaos pinched his chin and began to transform into Sherlock Holmes. Extrapolating from various traces, he came to an immature idea. Maybe the Red Earth Continent was not that high in the past. At that time, there might have been towns and kingdoms on it, but it was later destroyed by what happened, and then the Red Earth Continent kept getting higher, and by the way, these ruins were buried in the soil. I just don't know if this is natural or man-made. Is it really guessed by those pirate fans? Wait. Chaos suddenly had a flash of inspiration. He remembered that in his last life, he had seen the analysis of two landlords in a stack of forums. There is a funny saying that the Red Earth continent may have been the territory of the D family 900 years ago which is the huge kingdom that Ahara Kuroa said. Another said that the Red Earth continent may be the final island of Ralph Drew, or that there may be all secrets in a certain inner space. Chaos felt that what these two people said might be reasonable, but it was too difficult to confirm that the Red Earth continent was so big. You must know that there is Mary Yo on it. Boss, do you want to continue? To be honest. Seeing these ruins may have an impact at first, but after watching more, it will not feel much. Crocodile, Betty, and Aquino didn't have much interest in history, so they were just beginning to be interested. No need. Chaos shook his head. He was only interested in B. As for the blank 100 year history, he was not very keen. If there is a chance, he doesn't mind to find out. About a hundred years of blank history, I found a lot on the internet in my last life. There may be truth. Dash what do you think is in the Red Earth Continent? Tell me your thoughts, I can copy them. X. Chapter 167 underscore even the most lousy B, that's a B. Chapter 167 underscore even the most lousy B, that's a B. Thunder Island, one of the islands indicated by the pointer of the New World, is a miracle island that has been covered with thunder and lightning for many years. More than twenty years later, the supernova monk pirates will land on this island. As dusk approached, the golden Lamborghini floated in the air, and Crocodile, Betty, and Aquino all looked at the dim sky, and the entire sky was an island with lightning flashes and black clouds. 
A piece of red and white is a sea of thunder. Any small thunderbolt is as thick as a thigh, and the more it goes to the center, the denser and thicker the thunderbolt becomes. Boss, are we here? Crocodile raised his eyebrows with an ominous premonition. So did Betty and Aquino. Did NT you say you were looking for pure gold? Why did you change lanes here halfway through? Chaos was smoking a cigar and watching the falling thunder waterfall, very satisfied. I didn't come here for anything else, just to cultivate and cultivate. The news about the bear has not come from Stutchy, and the, pure gold, is actually not in a hurry. It is useless to go to the Marigal Sea area now. The lanternfish is not so easy to appear. To know that pure gold can really be obtained, it will take more than twenty years for Wang Lu to fly out of the horse, which means that pure gold cannot be obtained by others within these twenty years. What's more, he had already told Stuthy to pay attention to the news from the Marigal Sea area. The reason why Chaos wants to practice is to see if he can raise the goddess by three hundred, four hundred, five hundred meters, or even awaken. He knew that the lanternfish liked gold very much. As long as there was enough gold in one place, it might be able to catch it. Otherwise, the vast uncultivated sea will go there to find it. Chaos was already mentally prepared. If he couldn't get pure gold at this time, he could only wait for the straw hat pirates more than twenty years later. The plan cannot keep up with the changes, and there is nothing you can do. If only I caught Miss Chia Olga, the ring that guy is wearing has a real, pure gold, the size of a sesame seed, and real pure gold can even lead to land and fish. I plan to practice here for one to three months. Chaos was spitting out a smoke ring. Many pirate fans on this island said that it was caused by someone who once had the ability to ring the thunder fruit, and they didn't know if it was true or not. Aren't we going to find pure gold? Change the plan temporarily and go to the island. Really capricious. Betty groaned. As soon as the golden Lamborghini landed on the island, a thunderbolt with a thick arm fell, and the crackling extended through the gold to the four of them, causing a burst of numbness and irritation. Betty opened the door and got out of the car with a dark face, with wisps of black smoke on her body. Hair exploded snapped. Chaos snapped his fingers, and a golden branch fell from the sky, wrapped in a suitcase, and after opening it, there were several seafloor stone bracelets. Put them all on. Is this made by Halo Stone? Boss, are you crazy? Betty stared, squatted down and picked up the bracelet, but she was paralyzed on the ground, almost unable to get up. What a fuss. Crocodile looked contemptuous, and his eyes were full of contempt. He put on the two bracelets very calmly, and then did a few backflips and push-ups. After finishing, he looked at Betty's dumbfounded gaze, then turned around and looked into the depths of the island with contempt, leaving Betty alone and arrogant. Zback. Betty was really taken aback. This guy is afraid that he is wearing a fake seafloor stone. Why didn't he lose his strength like her? Can even backflip. Bang bang bang. The sky once again dropped two large gold shorts and a gold three-point style, which was just the right size to hover in front of the three of them. Put this on too, so that lightning strikes you more easily. As soon as Chaos's words fell, several lightning bolts struck the gold one after another, and the crackling caused the hair to stand upright. Boss, are you trying to murder? Betty raised her voice. This is another sea floor stone, and it is a golden three point type that conducts electricity. Do you think they are not dying fast enough? So much nonsense, you are the second to last in terms of combat effectiveness. Although you are sexy and responsible, combat effectiveness in our team is still very important. Chaos had a dark face. This guy has more and more potential for talking. To rant about anything. Me? Second to last? Betty pointed to herself and questioned, as if she had heard it wrong. 
Otherwise, if you wear the Shanghai Tower Stone, you won't be able to beat Lot on. Chaos rolled his eyes. Akino had practiced with seafloor stones one step earlier than Betty. Although the time was short, at least he would not collapse directly to the ground like Betty. Betty turned to look at Akino with a ghostly expression. The latter also put on two bracelets, and put on big gold pants, standing beside Crocodile, ready to go deeper into the island. Betty's face darkened. Just now, she collapsed directly to the ground. Although Akino is swaying, she is standing. Very eye-catching. Humph. Betty snorted coldly and looked back at Chaos with a bad face. Do you still want to see me change clothes, boss? Chaos flicked the cigarette ash, glanced up and down at Betty, and said without hesitation, I'm not so perverted to start with the people around me, and your charm is not enough to make me impulsive. Murderous look. Naked like a thousand years of ice, Betty can't wait to stab Chaos to death. Is this doubting her charm? Damn it. She is Bella Betty, and she is responsible for her appearance. Is it so unlined? You guys practice first, I'll go out. Without giving Betty a chance to break out, Chaos got in the car and closed the door in one go, and soon Lamborghini disappeared on the horizon. Betty withdrew her gaze fiercely and turned to look at Crocodile and Aquino, who had already ignored her and marched into the depths of the island. Damn. Not even peeking. The more Betty thought about it, the more angry she became. Could it be that her charm has really declined? Why are these three men indifferent? Obviously so beautiful, so predictable, so slender. Three idiots who don't know how to appreciate. Cursing and putting on the golden three-point style, Betty put on the Shanghai stone with great difficulty, and suddenly fell to the ground without waiting to struggle. Several lightning bolts fell, followed by a high-pitched sound. On the other hand, Chaos took a moment to return to the red soil continent. Standing on the left hand of the goddess of God, the huge halo behind her turned into a golden giant sword, which was held by the goddess of God, and then began to inscribe on the red soil continent. The richest man in the world, the golden emperor Gaia Chaos, is here. For a time, the sand was flying, and Chaos even used his armed colors. Every word is engraved so large that it can be read clearly even from 10,000 meters away. The new world has been carved, and the great root has not been spared. It's a naive, middle school approach, but chaos enjoys it. Even the most lousy bee, that S'll be. Not everyone has the ability to carve these big characters on the red soil continent. What's more, he is the first man in the past present and future to write on the red soil continent. With this first place, B is also a fresh B. Even if someone imitates it in the future, he is the B that comes to mind first. The world will always only remember the first, who will take care of the second. Thinking about it this way, this B is no longer lousy, at least the sense of hierarchy has gone up. By the time both sides of the red earth continents are finished, it will be noon the next day. Chaos was also exhausted, but in the end he was very satisfied with the masterpiece. Starting point, deep buckle, dawn burning eye, 5000 starting point coins, super super Ada, 1500 starting point coins, 50% good night, 555 starting point coins, ancient girl, official system update, 500 starting point coins, the Woming Taoist friend, three brothers of the national football team, 100 starting coins. X. Chapter 168 underscore one mountain can't be beautiful. Chapter 168 underscore one mountain can't be beautiful. Back on the island of Thor, Chaos looked at the miserable Betty, patiently. Now Betty's short purple hair blew up like an explosive head. Wearing a golden three-point style with black smoke, her face was as pale as a frosted eggplant. It was almost the same as when he left, and he moved inwards twenty or thirty meters. 
The closer you are to the depths of the island, the more thunder will be chopped down, and the more powerful it will be. What's more, Betty is still wearing Halo Stone, if there is no Halo Stone, she would have gone deep into Thunder God Island long ago. The feeling of being weak all over is really bad. Betty is now in the third stage, and the second stage is Aquino, slightly better than Betty. As for Crocodile S deep enough depth, the thunder that he is now enduring is half a meter thick, which is almost the limit. If he goes deeper, he may foam at the mouth and twitch on the ground. I don't think it's useful at all. Betty had a dark face, looking a little annoyed at Chaos who fell to the ground. From her point of view, Chaos looked at her with naked ridicule. Whether it works or not, time will tell you. Chaos strode forward and passed Betty directly. Compared with the golden three-point style on Betty's body, Chaos wore more gold, which was like a walking lightning rod. One after another thunder crashed down. At the beginning, Chaos was really not used to it, but slowly he began to get used to it. The cells all over the body are numb, but then they are active. For Chaos, who has mastered the return of life. This kind of cultivation with the use of thunder to stimulate cells is simply more powerful than a tiger. The next practice is very simple. During the day, everyone was baptized by thunder, and gathered together at night. Chaos explained the systyles to Aquino and Betty, not to mention learning all the systyles. The most basic shaving and moon steps must be mastered. There are also armed colors and sights in colors. From time to time, everyone will learn from each other, and of course, the general class of crocodile. The days just passed by. In a trance, it was gone for a month. Today, Isle of Thunder welcomes a new member. Where's the boss? Stuffy is still dressed in the same dress, with a hip-packed dress, gold earrings, a top hat, a small handbag, and a white shawl fluttering behind her back. She looks like a queen. Stepping on red high-heeled shoes, she showed her slender white legs to the fullest. If this kind of leg is placed in the previous life, it can make people play for hundreds of years. The boss's NT come out for five days. Crocodile was naked, revealing his eight packabs and pectoral muscles. His lower body was still the same pair of big gold pants, and his big back was still meticulously combed. At this moment, he stretched his finger to the sea of thunder in the depths of the island. At present the most in depth is Chaos, the second is him, the third is Aquino, and the fourth is still Betty. Why are you here? Things are over for the time being. Stuffy turned his head to look into the depths of the thunder and lightning, two figures in front of each other from far to near. Although the two sides met for the first time, they had both met in the news. You are the queen of joy, Stutchy? For no reason, when Betty and Stussy looked at each other, the atmosphere around them became chilling. Betty was the first to speak, but her tone was arrogant. Sexy as the queen of dancing Bello Beatty. The queen of Stutsy, Fan, is very careful. She has been dealing with the red light district for more than a month. She is ruthless and does not know how many indirect or direct people have been killed. You're not as pretty as you appear in the news. Betty had a pity on her face, she didn't think the woman in front of her could threaten her. In appearance, temperament, and figure, she does not lose to each other. So are you. Stuffy tilted her chin slightly, looking down at Betty completely. One mountain cannot be too beautiful. Try it. Of course. The air was filled with swords, lights and swords. Betty took off the halo stone bracelet. Without any sign, the two women collided ten meters away. Not far away, Crocodile and Aquino watched the play calmly. This month, apart from cultivating, it is cultivating, or it is fighting each other, and there is no freshness at all. Watching two women fight now is just a good time to pass the boring time. These two women are not good stubborn. I'm curious as to who is stronger. As for the spring light revealed by the fight between the two women, stop making trouble. 
in the eyes of Crocodile and Aquino, that is two tigresses fighting. As a person, or a man, would you be interested in two tigresses? Species are different. At this time, in the depths of Latian Island, the ground and some rocky mountains were black, and the sky with black clouds slashed down thunder pillars very quickly, ranging from one meter thick to five meters thick. The ground and rocks in this area are particularly hard because of being struck by thunder all year round. Not only is it very heavy, but it also has strong electrical conductivity. Just like gold. In an open space, a barren mountain was constantly going up and down. Chaos was wearing only a pair of gold shorts, doing push-ups with the barren mountain on his back, and his sweat evaporated as soon as he appeared. The thunder volts are not low here. Even a small sea king can be cooked. And it has not yet reached the deepest part of Thunder Island. In just one month, Chaos physical fitness has been raised to a new level. Moreover, after the baptism of the thunder, the cells have been destroyed until the regeneration cycle. If ordinary people can't bear it, but Chaos has life to return, just need a full meal to speed up the metabolism, so that the foundation is more and more solid. Boom! The barren mountains were thrown aside, and the whole earth was shaken. Chaos stood up and stretched his waist. His eight packabs were distinct, and his muscles were as strong and powerful as a rock when bathed in thunder. Turning around and looking in the direction of the camp, only an afterimage was left in the place and slowly dissipating. Boom! The two long legs touched each other, and the wind and pressure splattered all the way. The two women were competing for combat power and long legs. All of them were after images. The most used attack is the kick. All kinds of chain kicks, side kicks, and spin kicks reveal a variety of absolute fields. Women and women fight differently, and they must be pleasing to the eye. Crocodile and Aquino watched with great enthusiasm, not because of the spring, but because of the battle between the two women. What s the matter with them? Chaos appeared next to Aquino out of thin air, looking at Betty and Stuthy who seemed to be on fire. Two mad women, that's what they did. Crocodile and Aquino were both smoking cigars, and they didn't need to turn their heads. Just by hearing the sound, they knew that Chaos was coming. The Queen of Stuts is getting bigger and bigger. Chaos also set off a cigar and smoked it. He hadn't seen him for more than a month. The powerful Queen Fanon Stuthy became more and more serious and full of personality. Betty's pungent and upright personality is also very distinct. Not to mention that one mountain cannot tolerate two beauties, even males and females cannot. Everyone's self-esteem is very inflated, and no one is convinced, even Aquino. On mental disorders, none other than Aquino. Now it seems to be schizophrenic, sometimes taciturn, but sometimes extremely violent and ferocious, full of fighting madness. None of it is normal anyway. X. Chapter 169 Underscore Either Get Killed or Kill Someone Else. Chapter 169 Underscore Either Get Killed or Kill Someone Else. Boom. Half an hour has passed and the battle between the two women is not over yet. Here Chaos is sitting on a golden chair, and in front of him is a long golden table with a lot of food and red wine on it. Crocodile and Aquino watched the fight between the two women while drinking red wine and smoking, and yawned from time to time. Chaos was looking at the news that Stuthy brought, some news this month. There's nothing new. It's nothing more than how much bounty a certain pirate is offering, and the navy has caught a certain pirate again, very plain. The biggest news should be that Kaido had a fight with the exploding monarch. The golden lion didn't know why he had a fight with Garp. As for the Roger pirates, there was no news. There are also some news about the three major rookies of the navy, Sarkarsky, Borusalino and Kizan. At the same time, there are also news of some future powerhouses such as the Phoenix, Diamond Joes, Foil Beaster of the Whitebeard Pirates, Charlotte Category and Cracker of the Big Mum Pirates. 
There are still quite a few newspapers brought by Stuthy, most of which are about some pirates offering bounties. Chaos just passed the time. He also saw a lot of acquaintances inside. For example, Buffalo Arquette, the naive one on the island of Post, and Chaos even gave him a golden mace, and now he has appeared in the new world, killing a pirate with a reward of 300 million, so he raised it. Nickname. There are also Slippery Doris, Burst Bear Teusia, Maker Carcut, Obsidian King Mojta, Leopard King T-Shell, Zebra Killer, Octopus Rotes, etc. Some came to the New World, and some were still on the Great Route. Holding a cigar with one hand, Chaos looked at the last piece of information and reward, all of which were related to one person. Bartholomew Bear, a bounty of 90 Isimilian Baileys. The reward picture is very young, about the age of 20 to 20 own. This guy seems to have left the kingdom of Solby and officially went to sea as a pirate. Maybe he just debuted, so he hasn't gotten the title of tyrant yet. The reward is only 96 million Bailey. I'm going out. Putting down the newspaper, Chaos took a sip of red wine. Crocodile withdrew his gaze from the battle, looked at the news newspaper in front of Chaos, and frowned, Boss, is this a new member? Before anyone arrived, Crocodile had already decided that this guy was the fifth in command of their group. Yes. Chaos nodded, the ability of the bear is very important. Playing away tiredness, pain, and injuries is simply a bug ability. It can be used as a doctor, and it is still the kind that can recover quickly. At present, the richest group lacks players who can recover from this state. With Betty's buff, it is simply a plugin. As a for the who of the dragon, chaos has no pressure at all. Anyway, Betty has been cut off, and he doesn't mind cutting the bear too. It seems that there are many strong men in the revolutionary army, and he likes those guys with distinct personalities or perverts. For example, the Shemei King Ivankov. The hormone fruit seems to belong to the state fruit, and it can also change gender. Chaos's A's lit up slightly, and it seemed that he still needed to go to the kingdom of Kamabaka, which is also the kingdom of Shemels. He never discriminates against people. Someone once said that Crocodile was a woman, and Chaos really wanted to see what Crocodile looked like in women's clothes, no, turned into a woman or Betty and Stussy turned into men. The more I think about it, the more I feel it. Boss, what do you want to do? A chill shot straight into the sky, and the hair on Crocodile's body exploded. Goosebumps appeared and he couldn't stop shivering. He found that Chaos had been staring at him strangely, and his eyes were a bit penetrating. From time to time, the corners of his mouth twitched into a perverted smile. This was the first time he had seen Chaos show such an expression. This time we will add to new members, lot on come with me. Chaos regained his senses, took a sip of red wine and looked at Akino. He intends to take Akino out for a walk alone. This guy is now schizophrenic. Don't look at his reticence now, but if he is crazy, he will be a fighting maniac. Do it if you don't like it. In addition this month Akino is the biggest improvement. Isn't it one? Crocodile was a little stunned, but he was not surprised when he thought that Chaos sometimes thought about it. Not to mention the two, even if Chaos gets to strengthen the company, Laosh is still the second in command of the richest group. Old time. Change the plan temporarily. Chaos drank the red wine got up and looked at Betty and Stuffy who were still fighting, ready to leave. Boss, let me go. Loton is still barely warming up. Crocodile also wanted to go out for a walk, but he didn't go out for a month to be arrogant, so he was panicking. You stay, do and he let the two of them get angry. Crocodile turned to look at Stussy and Betty who were fighting, and his face suddenly collapsed. Women are trouble. New world, say Icon Island. It is an island rich in products, the most famous of which is the hot spring. 
because there is an active volcano on this island. The locals use the volcano to circle a small hot spring lake to attract tourists, so the island is also called the home of hot springs. It seems that there are many of these hot spring islands in the pirate world, no wonder. In fact, the location of this island is very special. In the original book, Zephyr wanted to destroy three islands to trigger an underwater volcano to destroy a new world, one of which was say Icon Island. As night fell, under the night sky dotted with stars, two figures stood in the sky and looked down. The lights are dim, young men and women wearing bathrobes can be seen everywhere, various hotels are also very lively, pirates eat meat and drink, and some red light districts and casinos are full of people. It took a day to get here, and after the bear is subdued, be sure to take a bubble bath. This month of intense training, it is time to relax. There is relaxation and relaxation is the right way. The Alwida sights and sounds are thoroughly stimulated, and in chaos perception, the city below has a panoramic view. Not bad luck. Chaos and Aquino stepped on the moon, and when the scene turned, they had already appeared over the open air hot spring in the backyard of a hotel. The bear below was expressionless and had already walked out of the hot spring. Apparently, Chaos was also discovered in advance. Golden Emperor. Looking at Chaos and Aquino falling from the sky, the bear felt a crisis. As far as the Golden Emperor's dress is concerned, I have seen everything in the sea more or less. After all, it is the only one. Too gorgeous and high profile. I am afraid that others will not recognize you. Bear become the most arrogant man in the world with me. Chaos threw an olive branch, I came here especially for you. The bear did not speak, but looked serious with a serious smile. Taking off the gloves to reveal the pair of meatball hands, this action has already explained everything. He can't be captured. The current Bartholomew bear does not have the title of tyrant, but he is definitely not a good stubborn. When he became the king of the seven martial seas, he was a ruthless pirate who was domineering and domineering. Who didn't have a young and frivolous youth? Boom! A heat wave lifted Chaos's golden goose feather coat. Aquino, who was originally taciturn, showed a nervous smile in vain, and grinned to reveal rows of big teeth. The whole person was red like a sun, and he disappeared in one fell swoop and rushed out. The other side of Aquino's schizophrenia came out. In this state of mind, just do it if you don't agree. Either get killed or kill someone else. X. Chapter 170 underscore do it if you don't agree, son Apollo. Chapter 170 underscore do it if you don't agree, son Apollo. The scorching heat rises, the air ripples, and the ground cracks and melts with the naked eye. Akino used shaved to appear in front of the bear, his right fist clenched red, and high temperature steam wafted from his body, blasting mighty in one fell swoop. The bear's face was expressionless, and there was no panic. Call out. An after image was left on the spot, and the bear disappeared out of thin air, appearing behind Akino and pressing his right hand down in one fell swoop. Where would you like to go if you were traveling? Akino responded very quickly, and it disappeared immediately after using shaving. He felt threatened. 6000 degrees Celsius. With a nervous smile, Akino's body temperature rose again, which made Zing frown. The ground with a radius of 100 meters has melted and turned into liquid. Fighting in such a high temperature environment is not good for him. Jingle bell. Boom! The sound of a golden iron horse resounded from high in the sky, and the heavenly locks with thick thighs were nailed to the ground, enclosing them all around to form a bird cage, with a large range. What's that? Golden bird cage? Someone is fighting. The appearance of the bird cage shocked most of the island at once. After all, it's hard not to notice such a big movement. It turned out to be the Golden Emperor. There were many people in all directions. 
when they saw Chaos sitting on the golden throne hanging in the air, their eyes were full of greed and excitement. Now there are rumors in the sea that the Golden Emperor is the richest man in person. The richest self employed person in the world. Sure enough. The birdcage in front of him alone is worth hundreds of billions of baileys. Ah ha ha. The Golden Emperor is mine. Many pirates lost their minds and rushed towards chaos. If there is no golden bird cage, these people may be a little more awake, but now that so much gold is in front of you, as long as you move your hands, you can get it at your fingertips, who can hold it. Desire has dominated reason. Whether arrogant or stupid, the world will never lack. Brothers, catch him for me. As long as we catch the golden emperor, we can become the richest people in the world and then the whole sea will be ours. Kill. I'm going to settle for the Golden Emperor. The atmosphere of greed has been set off, and more and more pirate thugs began to rush towards Chaos. Facing these pirate thugs who rushed over, Chaos sat on the Golden Throne, with Lang's legs on his chin with one hand, and the golden earrings swaying. The indefinger pressed lightly and there was a burst of sound from the sky above the head. Ding bang bang. A handful of golden weapons fell, all bombarding wildly like bullets. Ah! Help! I don't want to die. One body after another was nailed to the ground, and the pungent smell of blood began to spread. There were stumps, broken arms, and shredded internal organs everywhere. If you dare to take action, you must prepare for death. The first wave of attacks ended, and nearly a hundred bodies fell in the dilapidated ruins. All the blood-stained eighteen golden weapons fell in the air, with a suffocating aura. He's only one person, so what are we afraid of? Just catch him and everything will be there. The blood and corpses did not make these blood-licking pirate thugs flinch, but aroused their ferocity. Many pirate captains stepped up and shouted, and people from all directions rushed to kill again. Chaos just glanced and put all his eyes on the battle between Akino and the bear in the bird cage. As for these little ones, with the shooting and killing of swords, lights, swords and shadows, it was like rows of waiting to be harvested. Wheat, can't make any waves. Pressure cannon. The afterimage flashed and a layer of white bear's palm pressure shield appeared on the bear's right hand. As long as it hit, it would form a powerful shock wave, and even steel could be easily destroyed. Akino's face was full of madness, his body was constantly sprayed with high temperature steam, and his right hand was red and dazzling, even regardless of the bear's attack, he slammed into the bear's chest in one fell swoop. This is an injury for injury. Very brutal and crazy style of play. Poor kid, it was empty like that. Boom. The whole earth shook, the bear's paw and the scarlet palm were printed on each other's chest one after another, a white shock wave rushed out from Akino's back, a red hot breath rushed out from the bear's back, and the surrounding melted and hot ground exploded, and both of them opened their mouths. The blood spurted out and the explosion continued on a rampage all the way. No one got a bargain. The bear got up from the ruins, flicked his right hand against his chest, and a miniature white air pressure bear paw emerged from his back, with bloodshot streaks. As the miniature bear paw was separated from the body, the bear's face suddenly returned to normal. Sha! The bear disappeared. Soon? Just like teleportation. In fact, the movement of the bear is not a momentary movement, but the use of the fruit's ability to compress the surrounding air and surround the whole body, reducing friction to achieve extremely fast speed, not the kind of shuttle space, or a real teleportation. Appearing behind Akino, the bear grabbed the blood-stained bear's poor pressure mask, which was the injury he had just suffered. He wants to return the damage to Akino, this ability is unreasonable. Is Archino a coward? You may have retreated before the change, but now the schizophrenia has caused a big change in personality. Cowardly? What is that? Do it if you don't like it. 
a layer of red a circle appeared in the fist of the right hand, and the temperature had been raised to 8000 C, just like pinching a small sun, and directly getting up with the bear. The level of ferocity is no less than that of anyone. The dazzling white light radiated from the center, and the melted ground beneath the two of them collapsed, and a large amount of high temperature steam enveloped the line of sight. Boom boom boom. The roaring air pressure continued to spread out, causing the entire golden bird cage to shake. The heat wave swept out, and Aquino smashed to the ground with blood all over his face, and he ran rampant all the way, leaving a lava gully, lying at the end and was seriously injured. This month, Aquino raised the temperature to 8000 C, and at the same time learned to shave and moonwalk and the sight and hearing are also initially awakened, but the armed color has not yet looked. Now the results have actually come out. Aquino is no match for the bears. Not to mention that the bear can do damage, the weapon color has the upper hand, and the consumption alone can kill Aquino. And speed doesn't prevail either. The heat wave lifted the steam to reveal the bear's body. At this moment, the bear's hands are open and the meat ball of the bear's paw is beating continuously, and the air around it is squeezed every time it beats. You can see a huge air bear's paw, which is constantly shrinking. Eventually it became the size of a slap, and the bear's hands were shrouded in calyxes. Aquino was bubbling with steam all over his body. His body was already crimson, and waves of heat wave formed a halo that pushed horizontally and the temperature rose to the extreme. He grabbed his right hand behind him, and a cloud of crimson light surrounded the steam, which was ten meters in size, like a real sun being caught. The two looked at each other and disappeared almost at the same moment. Bears poor shock. Sun Apollo. Time is slow at this moment, the bear is holding the mini blazing white bear's paw, and Aquino is holding the crimson sun colliding together like wild beasts, and the bright white light illuminates the night in an instant. The entire venue was deaf, everyone closed their eyes subconsciously, and when they opened, a vast mushroom cloud rose, and half of the island began to shake. Even Chaos's eyes were condensed, and the golden bird cage expanded rapidly, and finally broke and flew into the sky and suspended. The overwhelming air pressure set off the magma on the surface, destroying the square kilometer, and I don't know how many people died. X. Chapter 171 Underscore Young People Are So Proud. Chapter 171 Underscore Young People Are So Proud. The mushroom cloud rises and expands, and the rolling heat wave is unbearable, and everything burns wherever it goes. Chaos sat on the golden throne, with black hair and golden earrings flying, never moving a single step to watch the scene in the center that was gradually dissipating. The bear and Aquino stood ten meters apart, bleeding from their mouths. Very embarrassed. It's just that the bear smells of meat. The ground around him was sunken, all of which were hot and burning magma. The bear's feet covered with armed colors could temporarily resist if it continued, it would be very unfavorable for him. On the opposite side, Aquino wiped off the blood from the corner of his mouth, and the surrounding temperature was baking the air. Ordinary people may be roasted to death by the temperature before approaching, and the closer it is to Aquino, the higher the temperature. He raised his foot and started walking towards the bear, he was not defeated yet. This fight will continue until he is rendered incapacitated, or killed. As long as you can't die, you will die. The bear looked at Aquino who was approaching, patted his right palm on his chest, and a mini bear's paw appeared on his back again. These were all injuries in his body. With these injuries out of the body, the bear's face looks slightly better. It's just that this kind of injury cannot continue to pop up which means that he can play several times in a row. If he damages others, he can only play it once in a short period of time. This time, the damage to the bear's paw is bigger than the first time, and there are more bloodshots in it. The bear shrunk to the size of a slap again, 
and blasted as Aquino approached. The terrorist explosion stood up again, a large amount of magma flew like a fountain, and the battle continued. What's the situation now? Many pirate thugs in the distance were holding binoculars. They couldn't get close to that area. Even if they were so far away, they could feel the heat wave, and some of them were sweating profusely. At close range, only the Golden Emperor can be seen. The Sun King is still fighting, and the Golden Emperor is watching the battle. Who is fighting the Sun King? Looks like a Bartholomew bear with a bounty of nine times a million. Bartholomew bear? Never heard of it. It's a bit powerful. It's inseparable from the Sun King with a reward of 210 million. We can't just get close. Many pirates and thugs looked at the center, where the scarlet patch was just inside the volcano, and ordinary people couldn't bear it at all. Boom. One after another, the heat wave burned, and the battle lasted for 10 minutes. It ended with Aquino lying in the lava, bruised and incapacitated, but the bear still kept his strength. But it looks so embarrassing. Clap clap clap. The golden throne moved horizontally over the lava pit, and Chaos clapped his hands and looked at the bear. He did not expect that the bears of this period had already developed the meatball fruit to such an extent. Although it is far from the future, it has already started to fully develop. The bear did not speak, and opened his hands to compress the air again. You could see a villa-sized bear paw on his head. As the compression continued to shrink, Chaos did not take the opportunity to sneak attack. Still sitting on the throne with Lang's legs crossed, his left hand propped his chin on his right hand, and he moved the gold earrings. The contempt and arrogance of the deputy king, full of pride and self-confidence. The current Zing is young and energetic and he is so domineering, that he does not run away, but instead wants to shoot at chaos. Really? Young people are so arrogant and arrogant. Bears poor shock. He disappeared in place out of thin air, and when he reappeared, the bear was already behind chaos, and the mini bear paw in his hand was shot in one fell swoop. The corners of chaos mouth are outlined, and it begins to become golden from head to toe. As the iron blocks mobilize the muscles to bulge, at the same time, the armed color is covered, and the golden throne is automatically merged into a golden armor, so that chaos is in a short period of time. Fold out the thickest armor. This is intended to be a hard blow against the bear. Nothing is more arrogant than this. It's just looking down on bears, which is even more rampant than ignoring. In an instant, Shrouded in dazzling white light, the whole world seemed to lose its voice. A burning sky exploded, gradually expanding to form a shock wave, rolling up the magma surface in one fell swoop, and quickly pushing it horizontally to destroy everything. After everything was restored, a big pit appeared. There are cracks and cracks around it, and all the magma flows inside. The bear stood on a raised crust his chest heaving and panting, and his eyes kept looking at the buried ruins. Boom! The ruins were blown away, and a figure walked out of it. Chaos's mouth was bleeding, the golden armor on his body was tattered, and the bee outfit was very successful. Just vomited blood. No problem. Totally bear it. The golden eyesation subsided, the golden hair and pupils also returned to normal. The tattered golden armor was suspended in midair, and Chaos raised his head and pressed his right hand down. In an instant, a sonic boom sounded from the sky, followed by an earthquake. The ground behind the bear continued to rise and burst, and a wave of air almost lifted him out. At the same time, the light emitted by the magma began to dim. Shadow Pose God's Goddess Great Twelfth when the pirate thugs in the extreme distance looked at the sacred and inviolable goddess of God through the telescope, their blood was constantly rising, and the cells all over their bodies were jumping fast. Height of 170 meters, plus the golden halo rotating behind it. As long as she gets her, even the kingdom can easily buy it. 
Everyone is crazy. Greed is eroding sanity. That is real gold, like a mountain, just grab the golden emperor and you can reach it. The daring starve to the death of the timid. In the face of great wealth, what is fate? It is not uncommon to ask for money or death. So another wave of pirate thugs went to die. But now it's the bears who are under the most pressure. The explosions on the head continued, and the goddess of God pressed down with one palm, shaking the mountain in an instant. The perfect face turned to the left, the bear appeared on a hill, and the golden light wheel behind the goddess of God burst, turning into various swords, spears, swords, and halberds shooting out of the air like bullets. Ding ding rumble. The entire tattered surface was bombarded wildly, and the bear moved at a high speed to avoid it. But at this moment, the hairs of the hair exploded, the ice gold crisis rushed to the sky, and the whole heart seemed to stop beating. See types of profound truth, Emperor Spear. Surrounded by a large amount of white steam, Chaos appeared in front of the bear in the shape of color with his hands, and the terrifying force was compressed in it, and the landslide and ground fissure blasted out. The bear was too late to dodge. The timing that Chaos found was exactly the moment when the bear appeared, and he couldn't even make an armament and passive defense. Slowly the bear began to twist his face, his entire body bent into shrimp, his mouth and nose couldn't stop spurting blood and all the surface of the 100 meter radius was blown up and torn apart. Disappeared everywhere. In the end, the Kang Tsuang Avenue was formed with no end in sight. The spider web pit continues to expand and collapse, and the bear has long since disappeared. Chaos withdrew his life to return, and kept appearing at the end of Kang Tsuang Avenue. The bear was deep in the mountain, his face was covered in blood his majestic chest was sunken, and the blood he spat out contained fragments of his internal organs. Looking at such a miserable bear, Chaos waved his hand gently, and a piece of gold powder began to enter the body through the skin, and the control of God took effect. On the side of the goddess, a golden tributary rolled up Aquino, but it was attacked by a large number of pirate thugs. As a large number of swords, swords and halberds fell, all that was left were corpses and ruins. X. Chapter 172 Underscore Thriving. Chapter 172 Underscore Thriving. The rising sun is rising. Thousands of meters high in the sky, white clouds are vast and boundless. The golden sun is pouring, soft and warm. Huge shadows pierced through the clouds, leaving passages. The camera zoomed in and turned out to be a five-clawed golden dragon. The ferocious dragon head and the huge body had a strong sense of impact. Twisting the body seems to be alive. On the back of the huge faucet, a thin golden sun umbrella and golden seats were placed neatly. Chaos was smoking a cigar and drinking red wine, and Aquino was sitting on the chair next to him with a pale face and eating. As for the bear, it was still lying on the ground in a coma. After defeating the bear, Chaos left after replenishing some supplies on say Icon Island. We are now heading to the Karmabaka Kingdom, the Shemei Kingdom of the Great Truth. Since you're awake, then sit down and eat something. Chaos shook his glass and glanced at the bear whose eyes had opened. The bear stood up expressionlessly and was very vigilant. Let's eat something first. As Chaos's words fell, Zin realized that he couldn't control his body, so he walked automatically to the golden chair and sat down, which made Zin's whole heart hang. What have you done to me? The bear's eyes were full of anger, as if he would turn into a brown bear and rush towards Chaos in the next moment. Going straight to the point, you now have two choices, one is to join the richest group, the other is to die. Chaos sipped his cigar, not wanting to waste time beating around the bush. The bear looked calm, not knowing what he was thinking. No anger or excitement, like thinking. After about ten seconds, the bear looked at Chaos, I'll join. 
he cannot die until the world government is disintegrated. The man in front of him has unparalleled financial strength, and if he does not deal with the world government, he may have a better chance of destroying it. Chaos frowned and stared into the bear's eyes, who was still calm. What a surprise! Whatever your purpose is, welcome. Eat to replenish first and pop the injury out. Chaos really did not expect that the bear would agree so readily, and he had only had a fight not long ago. But it doesn't matter, no matter what purpose the bear has, Chaos is confident that he can suppress it. The next step is simple. After the bear eats something, he uses his ability to bounce off his own injuries and Aquino's injuries. Although he did not return to his heyday at once, there are still seven or eight points. It only takes a little time to recover all, and then he will be a hero again. The Kingdom of Kamabaka, on the Great Root. The future is the base camp of the new human demon paradise, and now it has the reputation of the second daughter island. On this island, all kinds of shemels and monsters live, and they are also famous on the Great Root. When it comes to human beings, the first thing people think of is the kingdom of Kamabaka. The whole island is very strange, like an enlarged version of a heart-shaped mushroom, surrounded by several small heart-shaped mushrooms, surrounded by several heart-shaped rainbows. Most things on the island are love-shaped. Although Kamabaka is a kingdom, it's not really big. There are less than 300,000 shemels living on the island, which is formed by continuously absorbing shemels from all over the world. Although the number is small, the surrounding countries dare not provoke them. Because the people on this island are not normal people, but perverts. However, the fighting power is extremely strong, even the most ordinary human monsters can defeat a hundred with one, and it is conceivable what kind of terrorist country this is. Moreover, ordinary people with normal psychology car empty avoid these shemels and are afraid of being assimilated. Rows of pink heart shaped buildings make up the town, and there are many men with heavy makeup coming and going on the streets, all wearing women's revealing clothes, stockings, leopard print, high heels, etc. Revealing lush body hair, just looking at it is creepy. There is a reason why Mikyu Sanji called this place hell. A normal man, staying here for a day. Do not. Even if it is an hour. I can't bear to commit suicide. But Sanji resisted for two years, and was forced to run away from the moon step. East Street Residential Area. In a pink heart-shaped house, a man with dark purple exploding hair, thick eyelashes, light blue eyeshadow and purple lip gloss, mesh stockings and a tight, ultra-low cut jumpsuit, let's call it a man. After all, this guy can switch between genders at will, it doesn't matter if it's male or female. He was cooking his favorite roast pig offal. Ambrio Ivankov, one of the future cadres of the Revolutionary Army. A superhuman type with hormone fruit ability. The Shemail at Chaos was looking for. Now Ivankov has not yet become the Queen of Kamabaka Kingdom, at best is just a Shemail, a nation that is dying in the future has not been brought back to life. Suddenly, a high BGM resounded under the sky, and the momentum was magnificent, like a surging river, and the sky that was originally clear sky began to darken. One after another black and red thunder struck down, no matter how you looked at the weather, it was not normal. The whole street rioted. A large number of shemels looked up at the sky with thunder and lightning. With such a big commotion, Ivankov also walked out of the room staring at the discolored sky with a haunted look. But this is not the most shocking. When the head of the huge golden dragon protruded from the dark clouds, it was bathed in black and red thunder, and the picture was earth-shattering. Dragon. How could it be the legendary dragon? All the monsters opened their mouths wide, watching the golden dragon bathed in thunder and falling, and the impact was even stronger when it hovered over its head. Someone. That is. When the dragon was circling, three footsteps sounded powerfully from the back of the dragon's neck, 
and finally stood between the eyebrows of the dragon and looked down at the audience. Clap. A black and red thunder slashed down, illuminating the faces of the three of chaos. Golden goose feather coat, golden dragon tattoo, golden beach pants, golden flip flops, golden light wheel, golden earrings. Such a fancy dress, who else is there besides the golden emperor in the sea? And this way of appearing is not too high profile. It's the golden emperor Gaia Chaos. Why did the golden emperor come here? Most people recognized Chaos. Now the golden emperor is the most extravagant in the sea. Look at that golden dragon. Nima is all high purity gold, there are more than 100 meters. There is only the golden emperor who has the ability to show off his wealth like this. Swish. A dragon whisker of the golden dragon shot out and went straight to the stupefied Ivankov. The perverted dress with heavy makeup, Chaos saw it at first sight. The head is bigger than the body, and it is still an explosive head, even in the crowd of monsters. Very hot eyes. If up, what's the situation? Looking at the flying golden dragon beard, Ivankov stared at the bull's eye, and escaped from the place dangerously and dangerously. Is the golden emperor going to attack her? Ivankov. Golden emperor, what do you want to do? Many shemels put on fighting postures, eyeing chaos. Looking at this, Ivankov still has a certain status in the kingdom. After all, he acts as a doctor by virtue of the fruit of hormones, and in the future, he will be the strongest Shemei king in history in the relief legend. Boom. Chaos narrowed his eyes slightly, and the overlord color poured out. The wind swept through wherever he went. The originally vigilant Shemels all rolled their eyes and fell to the ground, only a few still supported and did not pass out. Every 300 monthly tickets plus one update, now there are more than 900, plus 6000 recommended tickets plus one update, currently owed a total of four updates. There will be two guaranteed updates tomorrow, and a total of six updates will be paid back. I wish everyone a good weather in 2021, and happy New Year's Day. Love your old dreams. It seems that New Year's Day is going to have to work overtime again, and the four or five chapters that have only been saved have been saved by you. I said dog. Dash starting point, deep deductions told, 1500 starting point coins, Guangqing Dynasty O Wang Dad, 1111 starting point coins, Jia Song, 700 starting points, Reign of Nowhere. 500 starting points? Duga seeking drunk? I really want to be a jerk. 100 starting coins. X. Chapter 173 underscore as long as it's perverted enough. Happy New Year's Day. Chapter 173 underscore as long as it's perverted enough. Happy New Year's Day. The Overlord is mighty, plundering freely in the crowd. Ivankov's face froze, his scalp burst and he felt a huge crisis. Jingle bell. The crisp and bright metal collision sounded, and the golden locks of the sky flew out, with a menacing sound of breaking the air. Death wink. Gritting his teeth to withstand the impact of the overlord, Ivankov left the place in the blink of an eye, and a shock wave was formed in an instant, and the first lock of the sky collapsed like this. However. Boom. The thick slate streets burst one after another, and one after another, the locks of the sky were shot into the surface, and then the surrounding space was blocked. Chaos never moved from beginning to end. Akino and Zing didn't do anything either, looking at the golden bird cage that was gradually forming, and remained silent. Golden Emperor, you deceive people too much. A large number of Shemels poured in from a distance, they should be warriors of the Shemei kingdom. The leading lady boy is wearing a crown, wearing a red three-point style, wearing white socks with suspenders, stepping on Zai Anshan gown and applying eyeshadow and lipstick. She is the queen of the Kamabaka kingdom. 
it is a pity that compared with Ivankov, it is still not enough perverted eyes. Chaos stood with his hands behind his back, the golden goose feather coat fluttered behind him, the light wheel turned, the black vertical hair and golden earrings fluttered, ignoring the crowd of monsters, with a slight wave of his left hand, the golden dragon under his feet lifted into the air, all separated into eighteen patterns. The weapon fell into the sky and aimed at everyone on the ground. The sight made the monsters horrified. Golden Emperor, what do you want to do? Ivankov was in the birdcage looking at the empty weapon, no matter how stupid he was. He knew that the other party was here for her. Invite you to join the richest man group. Huh? Ivankov was stunned, and even the other Shemels were stunned. Is that what you invited? Do it as soon as you come up? No matter how you look at it, you are looking for trouble. That s it? Chaos didn't speak, just looked at Ivankov. Why didn't you tell me earlier, I agreed. Ivankov is very bachelor, he didn't even hesitate. Please, this is the richest man in the world, and being by his side is equivalent to stepping onto the pinnacle of the Shemay. What's more? Ivankov had planned to go to sea. This is just getting ready to doze off the pillow came. As for manners? How could he Ivankov have integrity? He is a pervert. As a new human, as long as it is perverted enough. Ivankov's neatness also surprised Chaos a little. This guy didn't even want to think about it. Seeing that, he was eager to join the richest man group. Do Shemels see things differently than normal people? Chaos waved his hand gently, and all the gold lifted off into the goddess, which was more impactful than the golden dragon. After all, the image of the goddess of God is too strong. So Ivankov followed Chaos away. It was smooth and fun. Only a group of monsters are left to look at each other, isn't the contrast too big? Very sloppy. Thousands of meters in the sky, the goddess of gods dress flutters, hands folded on the chest, Chaos, Aquino, and the bear are sitting on the golden chairs drinking red wine, as for Ivankov is following the arm of the goddess all the way up, beating and beating as you go. After returning to the original place, he sat down on the golden chair and knocked on the golden table in front of him. Hiffop. That one. Call me boss. Chaos was very indifferent. Ivankov, the Shemay, was completely familiar with him. He didn't see himself as an outsider at all, and he integrated very quickly. Really a weird one. Boss, where are we going? Navy base. Chaos intends to do the identity of the bear and Ivankov. Well? Ivankov's heavily makeup bullied stared. I'll get you an ID card. Chaos didn't explain much. Two days later, the Isle of Thunder. A long golden table was placed on the ground, with golden chairs facing each other, and Chaos was sitting first. Crocodile, Stutchy, and Betty sat on the right, while Aquino, Zing, and Ivankov sat on the left, all looking down at the latest issue of the news. Chaos rested his chin with one hand, smoking a little bit of air. He has resolved the identity of Bear and Ivankov. Power, the richest group. Name, Bartholomew Bear. Title, Tyrant. Positioning, Bug Responsible. Bounty, 96 million. Motto, Society is my bear brother, Bug is justice. Devil Fruit. And Ivankov's. Power, the richest group. Name, Ambryo Ivankov. Title, Shemailing, Perverted Queen. Positioning, Metamorphosis. Bounty, 53 million. Motto, Social Ladyboy Sister, Perversion is Justice. Devil Fruit. It is not much different from the bounty format of Crocodile and others. This is an attitude of the Navy's bounty, and it was discussed by Chaos himself. From the printing of this newspaper, it means that Ivan Korfenzin are marked with the title of the richest group and the name of his golden emperor Gaia Chaos. Kof Kof.
Chaos coughed and let all eyes focus on himself. Come on, come on, let's welcome Lousy and Lao Wan, they will belong to a group from now on. Chaos lifted the red wine glass, breaking some of the weird atmosphere. Boss has spoken out, so it's natural to be a little brother to save face. The Si people held up the red wine, and looked at each other differently. The bear was okay, although he was as taciturn as a kino, at least he looked like a normal person. But Ivankov. Really hot eyes. Neither crocodile nor Betty are pleasing to the eye. Stuthy has always maintained a polite and reserved smile, but her whole body exudes the air of a cold queen, so she can't see anything on her face. But Crocodile and Betty were different, and they glanced at Ivankov boldly and unhappily. Slightly nauseated. Take a look at the news, and it is the perverted responsibility to locate that beast. Very in line with the actual situation. But boss is enough, how to recruit such a hotide pervert? Doesn't this bring down the entire appearance of the group? Betty was upset, and so was Crocodile. Hiffop. Why are you two looking at me like this? Do you want to change your gender? I can have surgery for free. Ivankov blinked his thick eyelashes, and it was easy to feel the hostility and unhappiness of Crocodile and Betty. After all, they didn't hide it. No matter the look or expression, there is disgust and disgust. Who is Ivankov? That's a Shemay pervert, and it also has its own arrogance. Make up your mind to help these two people switch genders, so that they can see how powerful the new human beings are. Do you want to die? Ugly fools who don't know if they are male or female. Betty slammed the table, stood up, and stepped on the golden stool with her snow white right leg, staring at Ivankov with murderous eyes, as if she would do something in the next moment. This savage reaction is irritating. It really frightened a few of chaos. Ivankov was stunned for a moment, then stood up and glared angrily, You are the so-called sexy person? That's all? You don't have the qualifications to lift my shoes when the lady is sexy. Oh, you're showing me sexy. Betty's face was full of sneer, disdain inside and out. There was only one person who could threaten her at the scene, Stuthy and this guy in front of him is absolutely unqualified. Stupid woman. Ivankov's fingernails suddenly elongated and became sharp, and it was a tie against the fat waist, injecting female hormones. Under the eyes of everyone, Ivankov's fat body began to change, becoming more and more slender, his height began to rise, his hair began to soften, his face shrank, his chest bulged. His legs were slender, and his skin was whitened. X. Chapter 174 Underscore the core concept of the richest group, Happy New Year's Day. Chapter 174 Underscore the core concept of the richest group, Happy New Year's Day. One minute, it's not too long, not too short. Sipairs of eyes stared at Ivankov all of them with their mouths slightly open with a look of astonishment. Right in front of them, Ivankov gradually turned into a bumpy and upturned woman, especially the 236s, the water snake waist and the long slender white legs. The delicate faces without the slightest flaw. How about it, stupid woman? Ivankov put one hand on his hips, a very large weapon, showing his bumpy and upturned figure and he was completely ingenious. He raised his chin and looked down at Betty with a sense of superiority. Stuthy, who had been smiling all the time, gradually disappeared. The queen's aura began to increase, and the look in Ivankov's eyes was wrong. I always thought that Betty was the enemy, but I didn't expect this pervert to be the biggest enemy. Betty's eyes narrowed slightly, and her murderous aura broke through the ceiling in want to find a time to bury this pervert. As far as Ivankov's current appearance and figure are concerned, he completely compares Stussy and Betty. Everyone is young, and there is always a point of comparison. Even after more than twenty years, appearance, 
figure and beauty are the vanity of all women. The more Stussy and Betty looked at Ivankov, the less pleasing to the eye, this guy was still doing all kinds of sultry moves, and his whole body was full of excitement, which was like eye drops. To Nima is arrogant. Rampant. It's a pity that even if Ivankov is beautiful now, he can't hook the four men here, no matter how sultry it is. Akino and the bear had no interest at all and turned a blind eye. Crocodile is even more cold-eyed, he is not cold to all women. As a for chaos, he was moved for a moment, but when he thought of Ivankov's true face, his soul almost left. However, Ivankov's showing off has only just begun. He glanced at Betty and Stutchy very contemptuously, fluttered his long dark purple wavy hair, and the nails of his left hand became sharp again, just a tie against the waist of the water snake. Male hormones start to inject. Slowly the 36 e murder weapon disappeared, the water snake's waist disappeared, ten pack abdominal muscles appeared in the abdomen. The skeleton began to stretch, and the hair began to shorten. Handsome. In the blink of an eye, Ivankov was transformed into a masculine and handsome man. Every muscle, every bone is just right. Ivankov does a fitness exercise, stretching the muscle lines, which is full of pleasing to the eye. Crocodile's face also turned cold. Akino and the bear are still so plain, and chaos has nothing to envy or hate. As long as he is willing, he can completely modify his body with the return of his life, so it is not difficult for Chaos to have a perfectly proportioned figure and handsomeness. However, Ivankov's ability to change his gender if he wants is still very good. For camouflage, it is simply flawless. He was more curious about what it was like for Crocodile to become a woman, and for Archino and the bear, and for Betty and Stutchy to become a man. We will stay here for another month, and I hope you can maximize some of your strengths, because the next life will be colorful. It's good for everyone to know more about it. Lao Sha, while now you can tell everyone about the purpose and culture of our group. Feeling the increasingly biased atmosphere, chaos changed the subject. With the abilities of Ziandai Vankov, the recovery after training will be greatly improved, which is simply the best aid for training. The reason why Chaos has to stay in Leshen Island to practice for a month is because he has a feeling. Gingen Fruit seems to be able to be further developed. His physical foundation is very solid, so he intends to use some of the moves developed by Tizalo Awakening in the original work. But so far he has no clue about the Awakening, so he can only make Gingen Fruit a step further on the basis, and it may not necessarily work. No problem. When he heard that he was going to give a lecture on purpose culture, Crocodile was highly excited. After all, not everyone can have this kind of treatment. The bear was expressionless, while Ivankov returned to normal with a puzzled look. What purpose culture? Boss, where are you going? Crocodile just walked to the other side of the long table, used his ability to turn into a sandboard, and was about to become a professor only to find that Chaos had left the Golden Throne and was about to leave. How does this work? How could Professor Tasha be absent from class? Speak slowly. In addition, you all need to wear a seafloor stone bracelet when you practice. Chaos has no time to waste here, he has to think carefully about the further development of the Golden Fruit. The chance of not giving Crocodile to save disappeared. If up. What purpose culture? Ivankov was a little curious, because Betty's face was ugly, Akino was even more sluggish, and Stuffy was even more helpless. It seems that only Crocodile is in high spirits, just like him injecting high hormones, even his eyes are green. The so-called purpose culture is the core concept of our richest group. Crocodile completely entered the state of teaching and began to focus on explaining to Ivan Korfanzi. As for Akino, Stussy, and Betty, it was just a matter of reviewing the past. As Crocodile spoke eloquently, Ivan Korf's face gradually became strange. Although he is a pervert, 
he still has the most basic three views. Even the bear frowned instead of keeping his face expressionless. Artilda. Betty collapsed on the long golden table with her head in her arms, really wanting to poke a hole in crocodile with the flagpole. She had been talking every night for the past month, and she was stunned to hear it. Even in her dreams she dreamed that Crocodile was lecturing. It didn't look as if Betty was affected. Not really. Brainwashing like Crocodile s cramming is already affecting the subconscious mind. Stutchy is the most successful lazy, but not by speaking, but by going through a lot with chaos, so he was influenced by success. As for Aquino, it is a semi-finished product, without success or failure. After all, it was also the first time that Crocodile used language to brainwash, instead of being influenced by Chaos's action experience like Stussy, this is the difference. So Akino was schizophrenic, and sometimes when he became irritable, he was not afraid, and he would do it if he refused to accept it. Mang is right. I'm afraid that Whitebeard is here, and he will go up without a word. This is now Akino. After schizophrenia, the whole person is not right. After Crocodile finished talking about the culture of purpose, Ivan Korfenzi both fell into deep thought. Stu's Ifing drank the red wine lightly, while Betty breathed a sigh of relief, and almost couldn't help but act on Crocodile several times, and Akino's eyes were empty. Crocodile didn't know what to do, but stopped. Okay, that's it for today. Here are the bracelets for both of you. Stuthy drank the red wine in the glass, took out two seafloor stone bracelets from a bow not far away, and placed them in front of Ivan Korfin the bear. Hiffup, is this halo stone? Yes. The next step is to get used to it, and then use halo stone to practice. Stuart put on his bracelet slowly. It's useless. Betty was talking sarcastic words on the side, and her pretty face was full of contempt. And Crocodile despised Betty, and even Stuthy, as did someone a month ago. X. Chapter 175 underscore How is this going to come back? Monthly Pass 300 plus 1. Chapter 175 underscore How is this going to come back? Monthly pass 300 plus 1. Close to the center of Isle of Thunder. Chaos returned here, the whole person was bathed in the thunder column, and the large area was crackling and darking. In this case, if Chaos develops the golden fruit, it will be a lot of pressure. Now the golden goose feather coat and the light wheel on his body are conducting electricity, but they are all within the range of Chaos. A huge shadow fell from the thundering clouds, the goddess of the gods. It's just that it looks a little scary now bathed in thunder and lightning. Sitting cross-legged on the ground, Chaos looked at the goddess and fell into thought. In the original book, Tesla was able to shoot a laser from his eyes while controlling the golden giant. Not only was it powerful, but it also had a long range. Even a warship 10 kilometers away could be easily destroyed? Chaos wanted to develop this trick. It was a laser, and it was still shot out of the eyes, so no matter how you looked at it, it was very tricky. Also has high temperature penetration. It seems to be called the golden fire. There is also a trick called golden industry fire, which knocks the golden giant's fist out of the golden molten fire effect, and it will explode and the heat radiation generated can even illuminate the entire city, with the same power as a missile. Wang Luffy was knocked out by this trick. Chaos just wanted to bring out the golden fire and the golden karma, especially the cyclops of the golden fire. By the way, how did Tesolo develop? To develop gold into cyclops, on this point, Chaos has to say cowhide. I can't figure it out at all, how can this come back? There is no basis at all. Or can these moves only be developed when the golden fruit is awakened? Boom. Just as chaos was contemplating, a huge explosion and roar were heard in the distance. Betty's pungent voice could be heard even from this distance. 
perverted Shemay, my mother stabbed you to death. If up, male hormones. No, my hormonal fruit is lost. I don't know what happened, Betty and Ivankov got together. Crocodile was also fighting the bears, and only Akino and Stuthy were at peace, and now Akino was asking for sea forms. He wants to return the six star learning, and even the awakened life. If he masters the sea forms and returns his life, with his hot fruit, it is a close up killing weapon. Since the schizophrenia, Akino's talent seems to have risen a lot. In the previous month, Shao and Uebi had already been proficiently used, and the finger spear and Lan Jiao were also vaguely successful. Perhaps in the next month, they could initially master the sea forms. You must know that the current cultivation environment is extremely bad. From time to time, there are thunderbolts in the sky, not to mention the bear and Ivankov. After flicking off fatigue, injuries, and injecting hormones, you can cultivate for 23 hours 24 hours a day. A month is 690 hours, enough. Noisy like that, with fighting and anger every day. Today, either Betty fought with Ivankov, or fought with Stuthy, Akino, Crocodile, and even the bears were not spared. The same goes for others, and fighting is the quickest way to get acquainted with a person. Most of them ended up with a bruised nose and a swollen face, but under the treatment of Zi and Ivankov, after a little rest, they came alive again. In the evening, there is a time when Crocodile talks about the culture of purpose, which is a hard requirement stipulated by chaos. The days just passed by. Everyone is arrogant, especially Betty and Stussy fighting secretly, even Ivankov was involved, and even Bear, Crocodile, and Akino were also affected. Go deep into the Isle of Thor, and finally come to the area where chaos is located. This area is completely a sea of thunder, which can be regarded as a valley, and inside the valley is a lake composed of thunder, and chaos is in it. Twenty days was enough for chaos to adapt to these thunders. To say what was the most successful in these twenty days, it must be physique. After the baptism of thunder day and night, the metabolism is abnormally fast, and the physical strength, endurance, and recovery are far beyond the past. In addition to physique, it is golden fruit. At present, the goddess of God is 170 meters, but Chaos preliminarily estimated that he could control it to 200 meters, and he jumped 30 meters in just 20 days. From this, it can be seen that Chaos's physique has not become stronger. Whether you admit it or not, the use of devil fruit relies on physical strength, and physical strength increases, so it is possible for golden golden fruit to grow in such a short period of time. Physical enhancement is not only related to devil fruits, but also the sea forms, the return of life, and the color of armed and seen. Although these have been enhanced, chaos is not too happy, because he still hasn't figured out Cyclops and the gold industry fire and he has no clue. Alas! Sighing and walking out of the Thunder Lake, Chaos had already discovered Betty and the others. Now they are all standing by the lake watching the thunderbolts that are both still and violent. Not bad, you can be here in twenty days. Feeling the breath that spreads from the sea people, it is even bigger than his progress. Especially Akino. Boss, you are actually frowning? Betty seemed to find big news, staring at Chaos. She could see clearly just now, Chaos not only sighed but also absent-minded. Chaos rolled his eyes, too lazy to answer Betty's complaints. This woman is a talkative and ill-tempered. Except for the two taciturn guys, Akino and C, Crocodile, Stussy, and Ivankov will not deal with her. Sometimes it's really annoying. When you can't scold, you will stab someone to death. The Sip people have gone through a lot of battles in the past 20 days, and every time Betty is the first to do it. Compared to Betty's annoying, there is a blueprint that is better than blue. That is Ivankov. 
this guy is dead, and in the dead of night, really sneaks up and turns bear, Archie no, crocodile into women, and Stussy and Betty into men. That time Ivankov was almost drowned in the sea. If it wasn't for Chaos Discovery, Ivankov would be gone. However, after the five crocodile changed their genders, they were really beautiful and handsome, but they couldn't accept it psychologically. Therefore, Ivankov has been beaten the most, and now he is the only one with a bruised nose and a swollen face. Originally, the head was relatively large, but now it is swollen and only the calf can be seen, and it is impossible to see that it is standing. Old Shah, go catch two sea kings. Chaos is planning to fight day and relax. It might be better to have some slack. Even the sights and sounds that were released around the clock were put away. No problem. Taking off the seafloor stone bracelet and throwing it to Stuthy, Crocodile turned into flying sand and disappeared. Boss, I want to challenge you. Akino S. Stone was flat, but full of hostility and madness. In these twenty days, he had fought a lot with other people, but not with chaos. Currently in the entire group, Akino is the real fighter. In addition to training is fighting, not fighting is on the way to fight. Let's talk when we're done eating. Chaos stretched and did not refuse. As a boss, sometimes you need to brighten your muscles. X. Chapter 176 Underscore The flow of the Golden Emperor has also begun to decrease, monthly pass 600 plus 2. Chapter 176 Underscore The flow of the Golden Emperor has also begun to decrease, monthly pass 600 plus 2. An hour later, on the edge of Thunder Island, Chaos was picking his teeth with the gold needle, while Akino looked serious. Not far away. Stuthy and the others were drinking red wine and eating meat with golden utensils, while looking at the two people who were holding each other. Boom! The rolling heat wave spread with Akino as the center, and the ground beneath his feet melted directly into magma, the whole person was crimson and steam rose, and the air was baked with ripples. Chaos was wearing gold beach shorts and flip-flops, but not a gold goose feather coat or a light wheel so that his body was slender and full of healthy colors, and his muscles were bulging, which was a perfectly proportioned body. The magma on the ground burst, leaving an after image of steam in place, and Akino appeared in front of chaos in the blink of an eye. This temperature is still within the tolerance range of chaos. It's just that the water in the body disappears a little quickly. Even in such a high temperature environment, Akino can consume the enemy without any hands. Son Apollo. As soon as he came up, Akino turned on the fire and raised the temperature to the limit of 9000 C. The red right hand was like a small luminous sun, and it was even wrapped in armed colors, and it blasted towards chaos in one fell swoop. Totally do it to death. Chaos raised his eyes, this punch gave him a lot of danger. Originally, I was going to use iron blocks to resist, but now it seems very sloppy. Immediately, he turned golden from head to toe. Whether it was black eyes or vertical hair, it was all dyed golden. At the same time, his whole body swelled into the iron block, and his right hand was covered with armed color and blocked in front of him. Boom! The powerful collapse spread rapidly, and hills were raised around it and it was finally destroyed by the high temperature and heat wave, forming a red air wave that smoothed everything out. Chaos sank his feet into the ground, his right hand trembled when he moved out, and the smell of meat wafted along with the mist. Akino was chasing after him like a spiral cannonball. His right arm was crimson and blue veins bulged out, grabbed the crimson aperture again, and smashed it towards Chaos in one fell swoop. This ordinary blow is equivalent to a big move. This time, Chaos used the armed color. The entire arm was black and gold because of the armed color and gold, and the front collided with Akino's fist. A huge explosion rose up, and a large amount of steam spread to block the sight. Akino turned into a streamer and flew out of it, 
sweeping the rock and magma all the way, and finally hit a barren mountain, easily melting the entire barren mountain. Chaos stepped out of the steam, shaking hands in contemplation. He seemed to have caught something, but he didn't seem to have it. That feeling is strange. In the melting barren mountain at the moment, Akino stepped sideways and aimed at Chaos with his right shoulder. The steam rose and covered the armed color, and finally ejected. Savage crash. The surrounding scenery quickly regressed, and Akino's figure could no longer be seen, only a group of dazzling luminous bodies. Before it arrives, there is a heat wave that can easily burn people out. Chaos still did not hide, but looked at Akino's eyes brighter and brighter. Rumbling rumbling. The sense of sight of a landslide and ground fissure, a stream of magma pushed out across the mountains and the sea, and the center was already enveloped by a large amount of steam, and you could vaguely see the 100 meter crater that was sunken. At this moment, Chaos placed one hand on Akino's shoulder, a large fan shaped gully appeared behind him, and the beach pants were dancing wildly. Even with armed colors, gold and iron blocks, Chaos felt the burn from his hands. High temperature gun. Akino quickly counter-attacked. The index finger and middle finger of his right hand stood up, and he stabbed Chaos between the eyebrows in one fell swoop. But Chaos just tilted his head to dodge, and at the same time clenched his fist and hit Akino's abdomen in one fell swoop. Iron block. Akino's eyes changed, his body swollen with iron blocks, and covered with armed colors. Puff. The overwhelming force hit, Akino was bent into a shrimp in the first time, and a shock wave behind him pushed the magma horizontally and left the Kang Tsuang Avenue. Chaos apostrophe punch easily broke Akino's defense. As the huge heat wave set off, Akino flew out with a sonic boom, leaving a lava channel all the way through the barren mountain, and finally disappeared. Chaos blew the smoke off his fists and was satisfied with Akino's performance. In addition to the previous month and the current 20 days, I actually learned to shave, moon step, finger gun, iron block and armed color, and the temperature of the hot fruit has obviously increased. The talent is not the top, but it is also a genius. In such a high temperature environment, whether it is the water in the body, the physical strength, or even the domineering armament, it will be consumed faster than the usual battle. If you are a person as strong as Akino, fighting in this environment will continue like this in the long run. Chino will get stronger and stronger, and the enemy will consume a lot of physical strength and armament, and his body will definitely not be able to carry it. It's boring, I lost too fast. Betty on the golden chair in the distance was speaking sarcastically, but a layer of sweat appeared on her forehead. The surrounding temperature is a bit high, and she doesn't like it very much. Bear, go and see. Chaos flashed to Betty's side, back to normal looking at the bear. The bear put down the golden knife and fork and disappeared into the seat out of thin air. He returned with Akino in about ten seconds. The damage has been ejected, so Akino is just a little pale, and he will be alive after resting for a while. Chaos sat in the first place, banging on the long golden table with one hand, frowning, and threw himself into his own world. Just fighting with Akino gave him a lot of inspiration. Cyclops should be high temperature rays. Is it to turn the finance out and turn it into a high temperature gold liquid? But how to heat it? and many more. Chaos's mind flashed, and he thought of armed colors. This is panacea. If the armament color is used as an energy source, is it possible to heat the gold to generate high temperature and high density energy, so that it expands and shoots out in an instant? This seems to be the golden molten fire developed by Teslo. Do what he thinks, and Chaos disappears into the chair. He's going to study hard. Chaos' departure did not disturb the crowd, and he also made a lot of comments on the battle just now. So I don't know what's going on, but the rack is working again. In this way, ten days passed quietly. 
counting the time, the group of them stayed on Thunder God Island for two months. The traffic related to the richest man group and the Golden Emperor in the sea also began to decrease. After all, the world is so big, and it is impossible for hot searches to last that long. For example, the naval hero Garp and the Roger Pirates have worked together in a certain sea area in the New World. Big Mom Pirates and the Beasts Pirates don't stop very much, especially Big Mom, who are either on the way to having children or pregnant. There was also a meeting between the Golden Lion and White Beard, which greatly increased the vigilance of the Navy, and the Warring States period was sent to the New World. The Explosion Pirates and the World Government Kpu are both openly and secretly investigating, pure gold. There are also some powerful pirate groups, or rookies are happy at sea. The fame of Sarkarsky, Palu Salino, and Kuzan is getting stronger day by day. At the same time, a force called the Revolutionary Army is also quietly growing. It's just that the world government hasn't noticed yet. A force called the Don Quixote family in Bihai is also growing. There is a guy named Moonlight Moria who plans to kill the beast pirates. There are many events, and everything develops according to the original trajectory. X. Chapter 177 Underscore the Shape of Something Monthly Pass 900 plus 3. Chapter 177 Underscore the Shape of Something. Monthly Pass 900 plus 3. Marigal Seas. Momigat Island. The most luxurious drive away hotel. There is no news for two months, is it fake news? The color changing King Nero Dahl, the fifth helm master of the explosion pirates was a little impatient while drinking strong liquor. He has been waiting here for two months, and has been investigating news about pure gold. He has traveled all over the surrounding islands, and he has also released conflicts with the world government. Such as CP0. The only good news is that the world government has found nothing. What's the panic, the monarch didn't let us go back. Sitting on the opposite side was the second rudder master, Mantis King Subic. He turned on the headphones that were playing the best music, and looked at the color changing King Nero Dahl indifferently. He regarded the investigation characters as a tourist, so he lived a very comfortable life. He wasn't in a hurry anyway. He doesn't mind staying for a while longer, as long as the exploding monarch doesn't let him go back. Eating and drinking playing and gambling, don't be too comfortable. And the person he feared has been gone for half a month, and now on Momigat Island, no one can threaten him. The color-changing king took another sip of wine, and he knew that the mantis king was talking about Wang Yi. On the other side of the island, the secret office of the world government. Still no sign of the lanternfish? Ten was sitting on a chair with his feet on the desk and looked at a rear admiral in front of him. Not far away on the sofa, the pterodactyl CP0 was wearing a unique mask and closed his eyes. They have come back here since they left Happy Island. It is a pity that there has been no trace of the lanternfish for two whole months. No. The rear admiral shook his head. The CP0 in front of him was currently the highest commander. He received orders to focus on this bitch man. The second rudder master of the explosion pirates, Mantis King Subic, and the fifth rudder master, the color changing King Nero Dahl, are still on the island. Ten picked up the strawberry drink next to him, which he liked better than wine. Yes, always at the Dryfoot Hotel. Major General is a little puzzled, isn't this a well intentioned question? The one sitting on the sofa next to him only played against each other five days ago. Forgot so soon? You go down. No. Ten waved his hand and looked back at the ceiling from time to time, thinking. He has reported to the above, whether to kill the color-changing king and the mantis king, after all, the less you know about pure gold, the better. Agreed at first. But when he was in action, he suddenly changed his mind. After all, it was useless to solve the color-changing king and the mantis king. 
The main thing was the explosion monarch. If the two Mantis kings are eliminated, the exploding monarch will definitely take action, and the situation in the new world is a little chaotic, so there is no need to provoke those troubles. The explosion monarch is not a small role, and it is no worse than the golden lion or the white beard in terms of destructive power. The most important thing is that, pure gold, is really too much to find a needle in a haystack. The world government has been looking for it for so many years, but so far there is no visible effect. The only visible effect is to confirm that, pure gold, does exist, and that it can indeed maintain youth and prolong life. Thousands of meters in the sky, a white cloud seems to have life, moving straight in one direction. On this white cloud, stands the divine and extraordinary goddess, the height of which has reached 200 meters. At the feet of the goddess of God, there is a long table and chairs formed by white clouds. Red wine and some snacks are placed on the white dining table. How to say it? Chaos remained the same, still in that fancy dress. So is Crocodile, social man. Not much has changed. The only thing that has changed is the ten fingers wearing gold rings. Stussy has changed a bit. Except for the golden earrings that turned into snowflakes, the short golden curly hair was followed by a black cloud at the end, just reaching the waist. The electric lights flickered from time to time, and the white shawls that fluttered and flowed were quite ethereal and sacred. A full goddess fan. The bells and whistles don't have to be less of chaos and crocodile. Then there is Aquino, who changed his previous dress and began to become mysterious. The feet are hot, which produces high temperature steam, and a large amount of rising and flickering flames cover the entire body and face. From a distance, it is a cloud of high temperature steam. I don't know if it is a human being or a ghost. As far as this special effect dress is concerned, it has 90 points at least, and the full score is 100. Betty has also changed. The original flagpole has become a gold material, with strange patterns carved on it, wearing long star-shaped gold earrings, walking on gold rose pattern high heels, and wearing a thin layer of open-chested shorts with exquisite workmanship, on the waist that is held by the pure white yin earring. Wrapped around this chain wearing a gold star, it will make a very clear and loud ethereal sound when walking. The least change should be the bear. Still the same. Not to mention the above, it is still within the acceptable range. Although they are all bells and whistles, at least it can be seen, and there is a pleasing feeling. But the next one completely subverted that human world view. I felt that my eyes would go blind at a glance. If I saw the Golden Emperor, I wanted to stab him to death with a knife. So how can this one be so vicious, only to be killed? Whether it is poisoning, dismembering the body, or all kinds of inhumane punishments, I just want to be killed. That's right, Ivankov. A dark purple curly hairstyle and a delicate face with perfect proportions can be said to be a country and a city. Every movement is a shameful flower and she also wears gold earrings. Under the white and smooth collarbone, two groups of 36 see a huge murder weapon. The key is that it is only bound by a golden rope, and most of the hemisphere is exposed. With this upper body alone, she Ivankov is the most beautiful woman in the world. But, follow Yining's waist, all the way down. The first thing I saw was a piece of C-shaped trousers. The rope at the back was completely sunk in, but the front was bulging. It was at least the size of two adult fists, and I could vaguely see the shape of something. This is hot for the eyes. As long as you are not blind, you can know what Ivankov's occupation is. When I first saw Ivankov's perverted dress, chaos was almost sprayed out by the New Year's Eve dinner, and there was even an idea of burying Ivankov directly not to mention the others. They all got goosebumps and looked disgusted. In the end, Ivankov was in a big font and protected his last stubbornness with a blue nose and a swollen face. 
This costume is not an ordinary pervert. The main thing is that the upper body is beautiful, but the lower body is a nightmare of hell. The contrast is too great, and those with weak psychological endurance can't bear it at all. At present, it seems that, except for the bears, it is relatively normal. Everyone else is very personal. Boss, where are we going? Ivankov opened his seductive red lips, and his voice was soft, like the feeling of a cat's paw scratching his heart, but Chaos couldn't stop the chill. Marigal sees. Chaos's ability to bear is still very strong, not to mention that he has always been generous. Cannot curb the preferences of the subordinates. Although Ivankov's dress is very perverted, it is also in line with the tolerance of the richest group. Go for what? Find pure gold that preserves youth and prolongs life. Chaos didn't intend to hide it either. The pure gold in the original theatrical version was about the size of a fist, and Miss China Olga's ring only had pure gold the size of a sesame to maintain the effect of prolonging life, so the fist was so big. Big? Chaos doesn't mind letting the little ones be as rich and rich as him. What's more, as long as you catch Messina Olga's father, the scientist who made pure gold, pure gold can continue to be synthesized. I don't know if I can control that kind of, pure gold. After all, it is no longer pure gold. X. Chapter 178 underscore I have a strong vanity, but also a good face. Monthly Pass 1200 plus 4. Chapter 178 underscore I have a strong vanity, but also a good face. Monthly Pass 1200 plus 4. Maintain youth, prolong life. Ivankov was stunned, and some did not respond. Even the bear looked at chaos. Others are calm because they know in advance. Boss, don't be kidding. Ivankov obviously does not believe that there is no way in this world to maintain youth and prolong life. I'm ignorant, let this queen popularize this pervert for you. Stuthy swept the hair from her forehead to her ears, her restraint faded, and some were just queens. Anyway, she can control any temperament, but Queen Fan is the temperament she controls the most, which can overwhelm everyone in the team. Including Betty the pungent exhibitionist. And Ivankov, a pervert, was a great threat to her when she became a woman, and even surpassed Betty for a time. So it has to be strong. Queen temperament, suppress all enemies. Betty curled her lips aside, her eyes full of contempt. The thing she was most upset about was touchy, it felt too pretentious. More than a hundred years ago. As Stuthy opened his mouth. The roll of pure gold and the lantern fish all came out. Then how can we draw out the lantern fish? After listening to it, Ivankov asked a question. To find a seeking in the vast and uncultivated sea is undoubtedly a needle in a haystack, and it is not realistic at all. Lantern fish should like gold, so. Stuthy turned to look at the goddess of God. With a height of more than 200 meters and the golden light wheel erected on the back, it was already huge in size. And it's all refined high density pure gold, without a single flaw. It was originally 170 meters, but after leaving the island of Thor, Chaos sensed a gold mine on an island, and then refined and integrated it to get the goddess of God to 200 meters. So boss, you want to use the goddess to catch the lantern fish? Ivankov's eyes widened, and he turned to look at Chaos, blinking his bright peach eyes. Try it, the success rate shouldn't be very big. Chaos threw down a cigar, not quite sure after a sip. The pure gold that the lanternfish likes may be the kind synthesized by scientists, not his kind of gold. But it's worth a try anyway, in case the lanternfish is also interested. The Sea of Marigal is so big, how can you fish? Betty groaned. It's impossible for her to be a god like Bear and Aquino. That guy should have been wandering around Alchemy Island. Alchemy Island is the island where a scientist named Messina Asar made pure gold, 
but was swallowed by the lanternfish. Therefore, where the lanternfish has been wandering for many years, you only need to go to the nearest island of Alchemy Island to investigate the original location of Alchemy Island, and maybe you can try to fish with the goddess. The closest island to Alchemy is Momigat. The place where chaos went this time was Momigat Island. Boss, the world government sent the Kpo, and the explosive pirates sent the second rudder master Mantis King Subic with a bounty of 1.236 million, and the fifth rudder with a bounty of 813 million. Lord Gromot Naroda? They're all investigating on Momigat Island. The Red Light District is already on track, and there's a branch on Momigat Island, so it's not hard to find out about King Color, King Mantis, and Number 10. Chaos already knew about the people with the Explosion Pirates and the World Government Faction. Not to mention the No. 10 CP0 Girl, the Explosive Pirates are quite powerful. But in the next 20 years, it should disappear. It won't be long before you jump. After all, the explosion fruit will be obtained by Mr. Dot 5, Crocodile's subordinate. It's all turkeys. Crocodile folded his hands on his shoulders, with a cigar in his mouth, with a look of disdain. A mere kpo, a mere bounty of 1.236 billion, can be solved easily. Very expansive. The Mantis King and the Color Changing King are not simple, let alone that guy. Stuxi's face was heavy. During this period, the reward could exceed 800 million, and the Mantis King was as high as 1.2 billion. He was already a big pirate. After 20 years, it will be the overlord of one party. It is also the dominant one now. Even the current Sarkarsky, Paul Salino, and Kuzan have to be afraid, and they won't even be opponents. However, what Stuchy is more afraid of is no. 10, because he knows how powerful the other party is. Is that the bitch? Chaos's A's were wrong. Last time Coco's, one of Stuchy's three men, gave him a call. So he knew that Stuffy was seriously injured by the bitch. After talking to the five old stars, Stuffy did not backhand, but let the bitch leave safely. This made Chaos very upset. Stuffy is his subordinate. As a boss, he actually makes his subordinates feel wrong. Where can he put his face? Isn't that hitting him in the face? Who is Dakos? All you need is a face. Not to mention other things, whether it's about protecting the calf, whether it's about saving face, or being vanity. In short, number 10 is already dead in the eyes of chaos. Don't say it's stutchy, anyone present is treated equally by chaos. When the boss, he can't even protect his subordinates. Then, what? Yes. Stuffy was also a little helpless. In that call, she gave Coco's a lesson. Although the starting point was to care about her, she took the initiative to report to chaos, which was a bit over the top. She just didn't want to mess with the world government. Of course, she was also reprimanded by chaos. Although it was a reprimand, he was still quite comfortable, after all, chaos did not regard her as a disposable subordinate. HMPH, those who dare to bully me must die. Chaos snorted coldly, this time even if Jesus came, he couldn't keep the bitch, he was dead. What bitch? You were bullied? Betty is very interested, especially since Touchy has been bullied, this is black history. There was another topic in the quarrel in the future. Go aside. Stuffy rolled her eyes, and she knew what the stupid woman was thinking when she pouted her ass. It's nothing more than wanting to catch her black history and hit her. Childish. Dong dong dong. Chaos tapped the table with one hand attracting the eyes of several people with a serious look. Remember, you are the people of the richest group, and I, Gaia Chaos, agree with me? As your boss, I will protect you. Except for me, no one dares to make you feel wrong. No matter who provokes you and kill me, I will stand behind you unconditionally. I have a strong vanity, but also a good face. 
all remembered. When Chaos finished speaking, the atmosphere calmed down a little. Pachi Tilda. Betty couldn't help laughing, she felt that Chaos was very funny. She was forced to join the richest group, and she would not hesitate if she had the opportunity to leave. And she also saw that all the people present were not of one mind at all, they were all forcibly glued together by Chaos. If something happened to Chaos, all of them would definitely part ways. This man took it for granted. Do you think this will impress them? How ridiculous. It's too much to say, it's good not to stick a knife in the back. We are sexy and want to have other opinions. We dare to say it. The richest group has never been a single word. I consider myself to be a very cheerful boss. Chaos blew smoke rings, squinted slightly and smiled. Of course, he knew that everyone in this team had their own ideas, and it was impossible for them to be willing to die for their partners in a short period of time like the Straw Hat Pirates. He had never thought so. All he wants is an attitude. As long as he is there for one day, then the team will develop according to his will, even if it is just a show. Just so arrogant. Even if Crocodile betrayed him now, he would kill him without hesitation, the same for everyone present. I have no opinion. Betty felt that the atmosphere was not right for the first time, after all, everyone present was abnormal. Lao Sha, remember to add this to the purpose culture. Chaos didn't ask questions, and everyone present was not a fool, they should all understand him. Nothing else, just vanity and face. X. Chapter 179 underscore this special effect is really bluffing 6000 recommended votes plus one, the third cute owner, Linku. Chapter 179 underscore this special effect is really bluffing 6000 recommended votes plus one, the third cute owner, Linku. Boss, you actually know sailing knowledge. A day later, over the undulating sea, Chaos stood with his hands behind his back and looked at the growing island, which was Momigat Island. Behind her, Betty seemed to have discovered a new continent, with an unbelievable look in her eyes. On the road this day, they encountered a lot of bad weather, but every time Chaos could find or avoid it in advance. It can only be said that it is indeed a new world, and the weather is changeable without the slightest pattern. Is it difficult? Chaos squinted his eyes, spitting out smoke rings with a calm look on his face. Installed a small B. Looking at Chaos apostrophe expression, Betty's face turned black. What's so amazing, isn't it just sailing knowledge? Gut. She turned her head arrogantly, she didn't want to talk to Chaos. It's hypocritical to pretend to be in front of your own people. Boss. Shall we go fishing for lanternfish first or? Don't panic, go and kill that bitch first. Chaos eyes froze. Stussy covered her forehead helplessly, she knew it would be like this. Today's Momigat Island is as peaceful as ever. The sun was shining and the weather was cloudless. Suddenly, a BGM with magnificent momentum and blood spirit, extremely high, shocking, tragic and bloody came from the sky like a thunderbolt. It's hard not to hear the whole island. What is that? My god. What's the matter? On the undulating sea, the scenery of the clear sky has disappeared, and some are just the black clouds that are constantly rolling and spinning, and the thunder and thunder are blowing violently. The leader stood tall and straight, with a huge aperture spinning behind him. Next to it are a figure with a rotating D-light wheel, two female figures in white clouds and silk and a flagpole on their backs, a figure that cannot be seen clearly, a woman in the upper body and a man in the lower body, plus an air-shaped figure. There are a total of seven figures, composed of black clouds, bathed in electric light and standing upright, at least thousands of meters. From a distance, it is a god and demon that has created the world full of visual and subversive. It is gradually stepping on the sea towards Momigat Island. God. This is God. Many of the residents of Momigat Island were kneeling on the ground. 
Even some pirates turned pale with fright, and the scene in front of them was too shocking. Big. Super big. And every shape is full of gorgeousness. At the window of the Dreyfus Hotel, Mantis King Subic frowned, looking at the black cloud figure of a thousand meters on the horizon, slightly frightened. It was the first time he had seen such a scene. Although the weather in the New World is strange and changeable, it has never changed so much. Those 7,000 meter black cloud figures bathed in thunder light were simply gods sent from heaven. Why does the leader look like the Golden Emperor? The color changing King Nero Dahl was also affected, but the more he looked, the more he felt that the figure in the lead had been seen before, and a flash of inspiration flashed. Isn't this the enlarged version of the Golden Emperor? Golden Emperor? The Mantis King was stunned. By the way, I heard that the Golden Emperor is very vain, and every time he appears on the stage, he is very high profile. This should be the result of the richest group's face value, the Queen of Joy, Stussy. That woman is a natural type and union fruit ability. The color changing king picked up a stack of newspapers from the sofa, and there was news about all the members of the richest group some time ago. Comparing them one by one, the seven shocking kilometer figures were based on me. Really Nima bluffing. Almost got scared. Don't this guy know that the whole world wants to catch him? The way he plays is so arrogant. The Mantis King was really a little stunned. Now the Golden Emperor is a sweet treat in the sea, and a normal person should keep a low profile. But with such a high profile appearance, he seems eager to tell the world that he is here. The naval branch base on the other side of the island. Ten walked out of the office and looked at the shocking scene of the sky, with a sneer on his delicate face. I didn't expect to meet again so soon. Seeing that this time, the Golden Emperor has personally come out, it really takes no effort to get through the iron shoes and find nowhere. He wanted to see how powerful the Golden Emperor, who made Stutchy betray, was. As for why no. Ten first recognized that it was done by Stussy, it was because they played against Pleasant Island. It is too easy to make these fancy scenes. Plus that war BGM, victory. The entire sea is also the only one for the Golden Emperor. Regarding the character of the Golden Emperor, the world government has already investigated clearly. Arrogant, vain, like high profile, save face. Judging from these data, the Golden Emperor is nothing more than a grandstanding clown in the eyes of No. 10, and he does not take it seriously at all. Only the weak will engage in these grandstanding things. Whoa whoa whoa. Clap car car. The gust of wind was constantly raging, and lightning bolts spread under the sky, and 7000 meter figures strode forward as if they were gods and demons. What's the matter? It seems to be heading for the naval branch. Many pirate thugs on the island watched. All on alert. At this time, in the navy branch, many navy faces turned pale, and the seven figures swept out a tenth level typhoon before they approached. Not good. The most frightening thing is that the head of the kilometer figure raised his palm, covered the cloud and covered the curtain with thunder and lightning and pressed it down towards the naval branch in one fell swoop. This scene made all the navy's hearts jump into their throats. The area alone is terrifying. Boom. Many sailors fired, but all of them were chariots. The heavy sound of breaking the air crashed down, and the entire naval branch was shrouded in riots. Although the cloud was not a solid object, the rushing lightning inside was very powerful. When the giant figure of the kilometer pulled back, the entire naval branch had been reduced to ruins, but many sailors had not suffered much damage except for a little embarrassment. But these sailors are all above the rank of major. It seems very bluffing, but the real lethality is not a big problem for some capable people. Stutchy Sunyan fruit still needs to be further developed. What is that? The sun? At this moment, 
whether it was the surviving navy or the other people on the island, all looked up at the sloping sky, and a group of crimson flames pierced through the clouds, smashing towards the ground at super high speed. Boom! The hot and high temperature air wave formed a shock wave, and everything was burned wherever it went. The surface of the 100 meter radius sank, and the crust was lifted up and burst, and the entire ground quickly melted into magma. It's hot. Who is it? A lieutenant colonel was holding a long knife tightly, dripping with sweat. The steam that spewed out was like being in a flame, and the whole body was red like boiled shrimp. He can't last long. Ten squinted and looked at the big crater where the magma was billowing. There was a cloud of crimson light and shadow surrounding the steam, and he was walking out step by step. You can't tell whether it's a human or a ghost just by sight. But it's not hard to guess who the other party is. The hot leader of the richest man group, Sun King Dunakino. Beside no. Ten, the pterodactyl looked sullen. Dash a huge thank you to the third cute master Linku, for the 100,000 day reward. It really scared me. Love you, the kind that melts into your body. I owe you 10 more updates, but let me take it easy. I will definitely pay it back within half a month. If I forget it, remember to leave a message and ask me. I don't have the manuscript in my hand now and it would have exploded a kidney just after it was put on the shelves. The original one hour staying power has now been shortened to half an hour. For the sake of my left and right female friends, I need to slow down for a while. Starting point, 100,000 days of rewards for the super cute Linku, Jia Song, 700 starting coins, the devil's blade of the demon fox, 500 starting coins, I really want to be a jerk, 200 starting coins, book friends, I don't know where the rain is, 100 starting coins. Dash thanks to the three monthly pass holders, Hairy Shrimp, Link who, calmly love to read books. And all other readers who voted for monthly and recommended votes, love you. X. Chapter 180 underscore its green lace. Chapter 180 underscore its green lace. Putchy putchy. The air was baked to the point of ripples, a large amount of steam spread round, and the ground lava was red and red. Akino was in the magma, looked up in the direction of no. 10, and disappeared out of thin air with the explosion under his feet. The terrifying temperature burned, and just two or three breaths, Akino appeared in front of no. 10, his right hand was crimson covered with armed color, and he punched out mighty. I don't know when no. Ten S white and tender face climbed up with a layer of crystals, and his expression became gloomy. Boom. A huge explosion lifted off into the sky, a heat wave rolled up the surface, and all the area within a radius of 100 meters blew up and melted. The pterodactyl was pushed out by the heat wave and began to sweat. This temperature is too hot, the Sun King seems to be a real sun, and it is difficult for ordinary people to approach. But. Overthinking. In the eyes of the pterodactyl, the Sun King was already dead. Hiphop do you want to become a woman, or a new human? A hiphop sound resounded beside him, and pterodactyl turned his head expressionlessly. When he saw Ivankov saluring up a body, a throbbing flashed in his eyes. But when he glanced down, the whole person was not well. He is also a strong man three meters tall, but at this time he only has aversion to cold. Bigger than him. The richest man is in charge of perverts, Shemaking embryo Ivankov. I'm so famous now? Ivankov picked his nostrils, 36 E on his chest kept beating, his face that was originally closed to the moon and shy. Now it's not too irritating to do this action. There is no imaginary sorrow, some just want to kill. Dragon fingers. Just as Ivankov's words fell, the pterodactyl appeared with a shave, and the indefinger covered the armed color and stabbed to the throat in one fell swoop, tricky and vicious like a bolt of lightning. As soon as you get up, 
It's a must kill. Facial after image. Ivan Kof was very calm, and he didn't know when he disappeared and left behind a series of after images. Hifup. The beauty and mystery of new Sheme boxing spin kick. A strong wind came from behind the pterodactyl, and Ivan Kof's round and tender white legs were swept out in one fell swoop, and the big thing in the absolute field was beating recklessly. The pterodactyl raised his hand to resist, and with the dull collision, the two pulled away from each other. With a bit of skill, I can actually block my beauty secret. The spin kick. Ivan Kof made a few bells and whistles. The pterodactyl had a gloomy face. He didn't seem to see this guy who was neither male nor female. He was so cold that he even got goosebumps. Damn pervert, can you do it? Do you want me to add a buff to you? Not far away, on the raised crust, Betty appeared, carrying a golden flagpole, her right foot wearing gold rose pattern high heels, stepping on the high place rudely, leaning down to look at Ivankov, full of contempt in his eyes. Boss, the word buff means plusion, super server, and stacking state. Literally, it is not difficult to understand and it is also very suitable for her. So she requisitioned the word. As the sexy and buff role of the richest man group, her role can make everyone improve their combat effectiveness, and her status is very important. So Betty is inflated. She can despise everyone. The richest group dancing queen Bello Beatty. The pterodactyl frowned at first, then stretched out, even if the Shemei King and the dancing queen work together he can deal with it. Boom. Betty appeared in vain in front of the pterodactyl, holding the golden flagpole in both hands, covered with a thick layer of armed color and swept the thousands of troops, full of ferocity and ferocity. Pterodactyl's heart skipped a beat, he didn't expect that this woman would suddenly make a move. With his hands in front of him, with the huge force attacking, he couldn't stop flying and smashed into the ruins. Fool call me the sexy queen. Betty landed lightly, and on the waist that Ying Ying held, the golden star chain made a very clear and loud ding sound in the collision. Very ethereal. But at this time Betty was very unhappy with the pterodactyl, and even did not use her honorary title. A man's death penalty, rudeness plus one class. That stupid woman, Stuthy, has always called herself her lady queen, and she can't stand it. So she has two words more than that stupid woman, Lady Sexy Queen. You can lose to anyone, but definitely not to Stutchy. This is a principle, not negotiable. Climbing up from the ruins, the pterodactyl looked ugly. Not far away, the broken clouds condensed and formed, and Stuffy glanced at Betty very plainly. This stupid woman will never try to surpass her in her life. Stussy. The pterodactyl's voice was low and felt a lot of pressure. If it was just the Sheme King and the Dancing Queen, he would still be able to deal with it. But at Stussy, it's hard to do. See the color radiation perception, no. Ten is fighting with the Sun King, completely occupy the upper hand. But there were three more enemies in the thousand meter high sky where the lightning flashed. Seeing that the pterodactyl's touchy did not speak, he was very silent. The clouds and mist all over the body fluttered with lightning. Call out. Betty didn't make sense, she used shave to disappear in place, and when she appeared, she was already on the side of the pterodactyl, with the golden flagpole in her hand covering the armed color and hitting the yellow dragon. The right hand of the pterodactyl became a wing, which blocked the golden flagpole very hard, and the left hand blasted out like lightning. Between the lightning and flint, Betty tilted her head to dodge, and a series of ruins behind her were penetrated, leaving finger holes, and she couldn't see her head at all. If up, death wink. Ivan Kof didn't even look at it. The phenies with long eyelashes blinked hard, and a shock wave appeared in the air, which made the pterodactyl's face change slightly, and he quickly pulled away to avoid it. The old lady didn't let you go, how dare you go? 
Betty's petulant temper even grabbed the wings of the pterodactyl, so that the pterodactyl lost the best time to retreat, so she could only passively avoid the impact of death's wink. Boom! It turned into a cannonball and flew out, the soil and sand pierced through the air along the way, and the pterodactyl quickly lifted off from the dust, transforming into a pterodactyl spreading its wings, and those sharp eyes were full of murderous intent. As an animal type capable person, it is still an ancient species, and this attack alone cannot seriously injure him. What's more, he also has the ability to fly, he can leave at any time if he wants to, and he is born invincible. What are these people fighting him for? You're still so arrogant. A familiar voice sounded overhead, the pterodactyl raised its head, and Stuthy pressed down with one foot and the absolute field was clearly visible. It's green floral lace. Also somewhat transparent. However, the pterodactyl had no interest in watching it, but felt a chill. Call out. A huge roar lifted into the air, the pterodactyl slammed into the ground, and cracks spread and tore, and a large pit was formed in a radius of 100 meters. Stuxy's foot did not seem to be light. What a violent woman! Betty waved off their dust in front of her, looked at Stuffy with white clouds in the air, and snorted in disdain. She had seen the essence of Stutsy. Just pretend. Death wink, death wink. Ivankov smashed the water hyacinth several times, forming a shock wave that swept the dust away, revealing the true face of the pit. The pterodactyl remained fully animalized and although it looked very embarrassed, it seemed that it did not suffer any injuries. Winged Storm The huge wings stretched out, and the pterodactyl spun in circles, and in an instant, the crescent-shaped feet swept like a storm, rushing towards the three of Stutchy. This is an indiscriminate, large-scale killing move. Even steel can be easily cut through. X Chapter 181 underscore I can suppress it. Chapter 181 underscore I can suppress it. Sun Apollo. The billowing crimson heat wave burned everything, and the high temperature magma was constantly splashing. Akino grabbed a round of crimson balls, and the steam rushed towards No. 10 in one fell swoop. In the face of such an attack by Akino, No. 10s entire right arm crystallized, the water chestnut clearly reflected the light, and the armored color collided with it. A scarlet shock wave spread out around the two of them. Akino, who was wrapped in steam, looked a little painful. The next second, the whole person turned into a cannonball and flew out, leaving a lava gully and lying in the ruins. Ten had an expressionless face. From head to toe, Blue crystals with clear water chestnuts began to climb. The whole person was full of siffy feeling, and walked towards Akino unhurriedly. Superhuman type, Jing Jing Fruit? This is the devil fruit ability of No. 10, which can be transformed into blue crystals to use against enemies. It has now been developed to awakening by No. 10, and its hardness is no worse than that of diamonds. Only after fighting more than ten moves, Akino was already at a disadvantage. Able to become one of the many captains of Kpo, no. Tennis combat power far exceeds that of ordinary Kpo's. It is not just the awakening of the devil fruit, the mastery of Dwa color domineering, the number ten and the six style, and the return of life. I don't know how many battles I have experienced. The life contaminated on the hands is enough to pile up like a mountain. As everyone knows, in the organization of Kpo, No. 10 is only ranked 10th, just like the code name of No. 10. This means that before him, there are better 9s, 8s and so on. From this point, you can see how powerful the world government is. It has ruled the world for more than 900 years and is a well-deserved supreme overlord. Puchy Puchy. The high temperature continued to rise, Akino climbed up from the magma, and the fire steam was still rising from all over his body. His face and body shape were unreal and mysterious. Call out. 
the magma suddenly split to both sides, and Akino rushed to know. 10, holding the red orb in both hands. 10's crystallized face was full of contempt. Too weak. After dodging left and right and kicking sideways, the air was directly blown up, and Akino bowed his body and spewed blood, and once again turned into a red light to rampage, and wherever he went, landslides and ground cracks formed magma pools. No. Ten behind him turned into an after image, flashing one after another. Appearing first behind Akino, the blue crystal with clear water chestnuts was on top of his knees, and Akino made a sound of bone cracks, and immediately took off and shot into the sky. But no. Tennis speed was much faster than Akino, and he appeared in the sky one step ahead, slamming his fists on Akino's chest with a bang. Through the hot steam, it would be found that Akino's chest was sunken. Boom. The magma field jumped up in a radius of 500 meters, surrounded by hills, and no. Ten floated on a hill, looking at the sunken cave in the center of the magma pool, which was gradually being submerged by magma. Looking up at the sky, he knew that there were three people watching in the flash of lightning. The other party didn't mean to hide it, so it was easy to find out. Aren't you going to do it yet? In that case, withdrawing his gaze from the sky, no. Ten looked at Akina who came out of the magma pit, his eyebrows lowered, and he was about to kill him directly. However, the opponent was able to get up after a few blows from him. It's a little tricky. Ring ring. Ten ability was activated, and it began to assimilate from the standing hill, and gradually spread in all directions. In the blink of an eye, the surrounding surface began to turn into blue crystals, and the water chestnuts were clearly shining with crystal luster. He used Devil Fruit's awakening. He raised his hand gently, and the crystallized ground stretched out a water chestnut thorn, and the tip was covered with armed colors, all aimed at Akino, and shot out with a whistling sound. Akino stood still, and when all the water chestnuts were shot in front of him, his hands were covered with crimson apertures and directly hardened steel. Do it if you don't like it. It wasn't that he killed someone else, it was someone else who killed him. For a while, the magma burst and the hot wind rushed into the air. At first, Akino was able to stand up against each other, but as the number of crystal spikes around no. Ten became more and more, Akino's feet sank into the ground and began to retreat. It was accompanied by a lot of blood. Puff. The sound of sharp weapons piercing flesh and blood, Akino was lifted in midair by a spike, and the high temperature steam rising all over his body began to dissipate, revealing his bruised body. Even at this point, he still did not give up the attack. Fully implement the code of conduct of Brother Bingtu. The right fist was swiped at no. Ten in the air forming a shockwave of high temperature and heat, which could easily penetrate the mountain, but hitting no. 10 did not have much effect. Stay on crystallized number 10, defense is tougher than iron and humph. 10 snorted coldly, his whole body was crystal clear, and when his mind moved, the crystallized ground shot out a water chestnut thorn again, going straight to Akino's head. It's a one-it kill. Don't hold back. Facing the menacing death crisis, Akino did not panic with blood all over his face, showing a nervous smile full of white teeth. Fear of emotions, people with schizophrenia simply don't. What's more, he knew he wouldn't die. Boom. A cloud of sand fell from the dark clouds, sinking deep into the ground to block the attack, and also cut off the first crystal spike. A large piece of fine sand condensed in front of Akino. It was Crocodile, who was wearing a black fur coat, dipping a cigar, and wearing a big back and a pair of Underworld King Lotsi. The D-shaped quicksand behind him turned, and he looked at No. Ten with a contemptuous face as if he were looking at an ant. From the bones revealed contempt. At the same time, the bear also appeared. Holding Akino who was covered in bruises and bruises, 
he took off the glove with his right palm and pressed it on the sunken chest. After a large amount of damage appeared, Akino's pale snow white complexion returned to a little rosy. However, it will take some time to fully recover. What? Doesn't the Golden Emperor dare to appear? Glancing at Crocodile and the Bear, Crystal Pillars rise from the ground, and no. Ten stands on it with a femininity of its own. Just a mere po, I can suppress it with a turn of my hand. Why do we need our boss to take action? On arrogance and big talk, he Crocodile is not false to anyone. What's more, what he said was the truth. He can easily get rid of this girly guy in front of him. Crazy. No. Tennis face darkened, and he was very displeased with Crocodile's contemptuous expression and his outspoken rhetoric. A large number of crystals covered his right arm, forming a huge water chestnut fist, as if a big mountain rumbled towards Crocodile, Bear, and Aquino. Unstoppable momentum. Tips for carving bugs. Sand fist. Crocodile exhaled a smoke ring, and a large amount of sand swelled out of his right arm, which also formed a fist composed of huge fine sand. In an instant, a huge roar resounded, and a ring shaped shock wave rolled up the ground and rushed in all directions. The bear had long since disappeared with a kino. One after another, the air waves kept rising, a giant sandy fist a giant crystal fist, like two barren mountains squeezing back and forth, many pirate thugs holding binoculars, watching the devastating the collision was terrifying. Someone is actually responsible for the brainwashing of the richest group, and the Tsar crocodile is evenly matched. There's something wrong with the situation. The Tsar, the Queen of Joy, the Sun King, the Dancing Queen, the Tyrant, and the Demon King have all appeared under the Golden Emperor. What about the Golden Emperor? X. Chapter 182 underscore reproduce the Battle of Sizu next door. Chapter 182 underscore reproduce the Battle of Sizu next door. Boom. The huge sandy fist cracked, and the crystal fist went forward in an unstoppable manner. Crocodile burst into fine sand, and appeared in the distance to condense and form, with a trace of blood overflowing from the corner of his mouth. At this time, Crocodile's face was sullen, with a hint of disbelief in his eyes. He actually lost in the competition. Reach out to wipe off the blood from the corners of your mouth and look at it in front of you, it's so dazzling. My father is Crocodile. Some could not bear the humiliation, and Crocodile was furious. With a roar, he raised his right foot to the ground. Erosed Samsara. Bizarre. Angrily roaring and hysterical, a blast of sand spread around Crocodile, and everything dried and cracked into fine sand, and in the blink of an eye it turned into a desert. Whether it is the ground or some reinforced concrete buildings, they are all sandy and turned into fine sand, and all the living plants within a certain range are all dry and absorb water. Immediately afterwards, an earthquake of magnitude 8 occurred in the entire earth. In the large-scale desert, a huge hand composed of fine sand suddenly rose and grabbed onto the ground. Finally, a head, neck, and body were continuously pulled up. The pirate thugs were all stunned and dumbfounded. It was a 100-meter desert giant, the same length as Crocodile himself, with a huge D-symbol revolving behind him wearing a sandy coat and a big back, standing behind Crocodile and looking down at the audience. The fine sand keeps slipping down. At an altitude of 1000 meters, Chaos's expression was also stunned. This was the first time he had seen Crocodile use it. Although he usually explained some directions and imaginations of developing devil fruits to Crocodile, Stutchy and others. He did not expect Crocodile to develop this trick. It is no different from the Goddess of God, but the shape is different. But I have to say that this trick has a strong lethality. You must know that Crocodile has also developed the ability to absorb water. I am afraid that this Tsar Giant also has this ability. In such a comparison, 
the goddess of chaos is not necessarily stronger than theirs are of crocodile. After all, crocodile can completely copy some of chaos's moves. For example, the treasure of the king, the thousand-handed Gwenian, the lock of the sky, the mighty Tianlong, the Nirvana, the big sword, the Nanwu Gatling and so on. It's not just Crocodile that can replicate these moves, but Stussy can too. It is not without reason that the natural system is recognized as the most powerful devil fruit. Elementalization is just one of them. Looking at the natural devil fruits such as rock fruit, snow and snow fruit, cloud and cloud fruit, and frozen fruit, they can make magma, snow, cloud, ice and other elements centered on themselves, as long as they have enough physical strength, it can be said to be endless. This also means they can imitate a lot of moves. Sizu, who is similar to the next door, can do it as long as it has a natural ability, because they are the core themselves, and they can completely create magma, ice, clouds, snow and other elements to make them gigantic. Not only the nature department, but some superhuman abilities can also do it. Especially those with superhuman abilities who have awakened, such as Queen Jelly, Category, Do Flamingo, including the current No. 10. As for the fruit of meatballs and the fruit of surgery, these cannot be done. So many devil fruit development directions are ultimately the same. It's totally possible to imitate. Since following Chaos, Crocodile and Stuthy's vision has improved a lot, and they have already embarked on a road of no return, and they are no longer the simple young people they used to be. More ideas now. The wings are hard. I can't stand it anymore. They all started stealing teachers for granted. But in any case, the move that Crocodile is using now is very bluffing. HMPH, do you think I was frightened? Faced with such a situation, no. Ten snorted coldly. Jama Oahu stepped on the ground with his right foot, and took himself as the center to assimilate the ground. A huge blue crystal was grasped with a big hand. Finally, he stood tall and straight and was similar to no. Ten Jufn, and his height and stature were also at the level of 100 meters. If Jing Jing Fruit hadn't awakened, he really wouldn't be able to imitate. As from now. Ha ha. Crocodile looked coldly and said nothing. He stood up and placed himself in the forehead of the Tsar, and when his mind moved, the Tsar stretched out his huge arm, holding a huge desert saber in his hand, raised his leg and stepped out with a sense of landslide and ground cracking, and slashed towards No. 10 in one fell swoop. Ten also jumped into the crystal giant's forehead, a crystal clear blue crystal spear appeared in his right hand, and charged towards the Tsar with murderous aura. From a distance, this is two giants fighting. Whether it is the desert sword or the crystal spear, they are all covered with armed colors. At the moment when the two collide, a ring-shaped shock wave spreads from it, forming an overwhelming trend to destroy the world. Earthquake. Get out. In the extreme distance, many pirate thugs turned pale, the ground they were standing on was tearing a lot of cracks, and many buildings had begun to collapse. Especially the shock waves brought by the collisions one after another were simply unstoppable. Not good. Help. At this moment, Thezar and the crystal giant were constantly colliding and fighting which caused a large amount of fine sand or crystals to peel off from the two giants, resulting in a large-scale disaster, and the lethality was no less than that of the shock wave. Gorgeous. On a building, the Mantis King and the Color-Changing King were watching from a distance. In the eyes of ordinary people, their Tsar and the Crystal Giant at the moment were unmatched, after all, their size was there. Every move can cause massive damage. But in the eyes of these powerhouses, the two giants are just big, and they are simply living targets. As long as you find the location of your true body, you can win with speed. This kind of move is also useful for some people in the middle and lower ranks of the pyramid. For those strong at the top of everything, 
using this move will not only be useless, but will be a weakness. Being large is not necessarily an advantage. But I have to say that this is very bluffing, but also very impactful and shocking. Two indomitable giants fight each other, and every move will shatter mountains and rivers, shake the ground, and the destructiveness is the most fascinating. The huge storm continued to sweep, and the Tsar and the crystal giant had completely fought together. The Tsar had the upper hand. As for why it has the upper hand, it's because of creativity. At this moment, the huge D quicksand symbol rotating behind the Tsar turned into for giant hands in vain, grabbing at the hands of the crystal giant with lightning speed, making it impossible to resist. At the same time, the desert sword in his right hand stabbed his forehead, which is no. 10 itself. 10 was so frightened by this move that the entire crystal giant couldn't control its back, and the Tsar took advantage of the pursuit and pressed the crystal giant to the ground, causing a barren mountain behind it to collapse, and the falling rocks rolled and exploded for a while. Thick dust has covered everything. As a storm blew away, revealing the true colors inside. The Tsar still held the crystal giant's arms with his four hands, and the desert sword in his right hand had nailed the crystal giant's forehead to the ground, but no. Ten himself was not hurt. After being transferred to the heart, the ability is activated, and a crystal spike protrudes from the abdomen of the crystal giant, which penetrates the Tsar in one fell swoop. What happens next is to hurt each other. Crocodile and no. Ten were constantly moving in the bodies of the Tsar and the Crystal Giant, and the bodies of the Tsar and the Crystal Giant either had sand blades or crystal spikes, and they were completely fitted together to form a hedgehog. X. Chapter 183 Underscore Chaos, This Bitch Must Die. Chapter 183 Underscore Chaos, This Bitch Must Die. At an altitude of 1000 meters, Chaos watched the battle with his knowledge. It's gorgeous and violent. Every confrontation is full of ferocity and ferocity. Crazy sand sprayed, crystals flew, and the area of 10,000 meters was completely turned into ruins as the two giants kept trolling and colliding, and those pirate thugs who were watching the play retreated again and again. Most of the towns are no longer there. Boom. The powerful anti-bombing cracked, the Tsar hit a right uppercut, the crystal giant hit a left uppercut, the heads of the two exploded immediately, and the huge headless corpse fell, like a meteorite hitting the ground, causing a large area of the ground to rise up. Rise. The billowing smoke had obscured his vision. With the appearance of a spiral channel, Crocodile shot out blood all over his face, and appeared in front of No. 10 in one fell swoop. His right hand swung out in a meniscus shape without lethality. Ark Moon Dunes. Number 10, who stepped out of the crystal giant, looked weak and contemptuous. Clang clang. The ground exploded like a fountain, spewing crystal thorns one after another, and Crocter became a hedgehog between the electric light and flint. The strong wind was blowing from behind and Crocodile flashed a look of arrogance on his face. The crescent-shaped attack in his hand can absorb the water of the opponent's body only by touching it, and the battle should be over. But what happened next made Crocodile's scalp explode. I saw that the crystal body on the tenth began to turn red, and the body also swelled in a circle. This state of Crocodile has been seen a lot. Life returned. Although the return of life is different for everyone, those who are familiar can see it at a glance. Time slows down at this moment. In the face of Crocodile's attack, no. Ten bent down without turning his head, supporting the ground with both hands, and then his crystal feet were covered with armed colors, like two blades of cold light lingaling, kicked at Crocodile in one fell swoop when evading the attack. Rockdale Chest this is obviously a combination of a finger spear and a lantern foot. If it is kicked by this kick, even a stick-like defense can be easily penetrated like a piece of paper. The air around him seemed to be evacuated by the draw, so that Crocter was cold all over before it arrived. 
In an instant, a spiral shock wave rose from the ground and shot directly into the sky, penetrating the clouds, causing the thundering clouds to be penetrated, allowing the soft sunlight to pour down. This power is terrifying. Crocodile appeared 100 meters away with lingering fears, and just now he smelled the smell of death. Fortunately, it was dangerous and dangerous to use elementalization to escape. See types of profound truth crystal shock cannon. But the danger is far from the past. As soon as crocodile was condensed and formed, no. Ten appeared in front of him, his hands clenched into one fist, and he aimed straight at crocodile's abdomen. This pose is too familiar. Not good. A cold air rushed to the sky, and crocodile was horrified. Elementalization is too late. Puff. The whole body has lost feeling, crocodile bent down like a ghost. His mouth and nose couldn't stop spurting blood, his eyes bulging and tearing his eye sockets, as if he would break free in the next moment. The somewhat messy back was completely swept away, and his face was instantly pale. The black fur coat draped in it danced wildly, and the spiral shock wave collapsed in one fell swoop. This blow seemed to knock out Crocodile's soul. Uncontrollably, it turned into a cannonball and flew out, smashed to the ground and rolled over and over, and finally fell into the ruins with blood stains, and could not get up at all. The reversal came too fast. The two of them fought back and forth just now, but the next second, Crocodile ended up like this. Seems a little playful. It can only be said that Crocodile was careless, or that no. Ten was too insidious, and he never showed his full strength. When he did it, the enemy would be defeated. Cough cough cough. With his hair disheveled and embarrassed, Crocodile lay on the ground with no image. His entire internal organs seemed to be stirred together, and he couldn't stop coughing up blood. I tried to get up several times, but all failed. He admitted that he underestimated the other party. As everyone knows, in the CP0 organization, the CP0 with the digital code, every combat power is the top. If Crocodile took it seriously, he might not be so ugly, and he could only blame himself for being too inflated. This result was also expected by Stutchy. The gust of wind swept overhead, no. Ten flashed and the crystal face was full of arrogance. It's like looking at ants. Very dazzling. Crocodile couldn't stop vomiting blood, looked up at no. Tennis expression. His eyes were congested and his entire chest exploded. Insulting gestures begin to appear. Ten tilted his chin slightly, stood on one foot in front of Crocodile, raised his right foot to aim at Crocodile's head obviously wanting to step crocodile into the dirt. It's like stepping on a bed bug. Whether it is lethal or humiliating, it is great. The big crystal foot fell in one fell swoop, and the blue veins throbbed on crocodile's pale face. This shame was more ferocious than the physical wound. But just in the nick of time, a big golden foot appeared on crocodile's head and blocked the big crystal foot in one fell swoop. The powerful wind and waves turn into a halo and radiate out, and wherever it goes, sand and rocks. Clap. A black and red thunder slash down, illuminating the dancing golden goose feather coat and the spinning golden light wheel, so much so that there was an ethereal metallic crashing sound of jingling bells. Chaos entered the golden age, the golden vertical hair and maple leaf earrings fluttered. The entire Nificut face was as gloomy as ice, and a pair of black eyes completely transformed into golden eyes. Golden Emperor. Looking at Chaos who was holding his big foot, Crystal No. Ten showed playfulness on his face. Not only the people who dare to touch me, but also dare to humiliate and court death. His whole body became golden, so that Chaos was golden from head to toe and with a deep voice full of roars, a lot of white steam began to appear. He goes straight into the return of life. At the same time, the overlord's color is like a surging river. 
the entire sky is tilted, and a large number of black and red thunderbolts continue to explode, rendering the entire scene into the apocalypse. He is very angry. If no. 10 killed Crocodile directly, he wouldn't be so angry, but the humiliation like stepping on a bedbug just now was just hitting him in the face. Originally, it was planned to let the bear continue to follow Crocodile, and everyone should be brushing their experience. Thoroughly digest what was cultivated in Latian Island. But when he saw the insulting scene, Chaos couldn't help it. Whether it is direct or indirect, hitting a dog depends on the owner. Maybe it's a big deal, but he loves face and has a strong vanity, and he can't stand it. This bitch, he wants to be beaten to death. If I had known you would come out this way, I should have done it in the first place. Crystal no. Tennis face was full of sternness, and he did it on purpose. Really? With the vanity and face of the Golden Emperor, I finally couldn't help but take action. Kakicha. The dark sky continued to chop down black and red thunderbolts, and Chaos's overlord color could not suppress no. 10. The crystal eyes and the golden eyes looked at each other, and without warning, the two appeared 100 meters away, and the two fists collided to form a missile bombardment. Null. The bear appeared in front of Crocodile out of thin air, and turned his head to look at the collision of the landslide and the ground. His expression was extremely serious. X. Chapter 184 Underscore Feeling Beaten 20,210,104 Chapter 184 Underscore Feeling Beaten Call out. Two after images collided, and two golden and blue fists, one large and one small, made a loud noise like a meteorite, and a storm surrounded no. 10 and chaos on the spot. Chaos's right hand stinged, and a large amount of heat mist spread all over his body, and his sharp eyes collided with no. 10 again. Every time he collided with the opponent, chaos felt like he was hitting a diamond, too stiff. And the number 10 fist is surprisingly heavy. This feeling is not unique to chaos, no. 10 also felt the same hardness from chaos fist and no one took advantage of it. Chaos swept out a huge kick, and no. Ten also swept out a kick, and then the two appeared on the ground, and appeared on a building in the next instant with the blasting hills and storm. When the uppercut hit, Chaos's golden hair fluttered, and he raised his head to avoid the past, but at this time, no. Ten suddenly changed his elbow and pressed down causing Chaos's hair to explode. Forcibly controlled the body to be flipped upside down, and at the same time swept towards no. 10, but no. 10 just raised his hand to block his head, and also gave a counter-attack after resisting Chaos. With his hands against his chest, Chaos flew out in pain. No. 10 chased after him, his right foot formed a crystal whip that extended with a piercing sound leaving an afterimage of chaos on the left side of no. 10, and swooping down with a thousand feet, as if opening up the world. This is the pinnacle of Coslin's feet, and the field is almost a thousand meters in size. Magic Crystal. 10's entire arm swelled slightly, and when Lan's foot came, he punched out. With the strong storm Lan's feet being shattered abruptly, the no. 10 Crystal's right hand suddenly turned into the shape of a machine gun and hardened with a domineering armament color. Crystal Assault. A large number of armed and domineering hardened water chestnut crystal bullets formed a drizzle, which was densely drowned towards Chaos. This move made the corners of Chaos' mouth twitch. He has every reason to suspect that the other party is imitating his Nanwu Gatling. So dramatic. But now he couldn't bear to think so much, the figure quickly rose up, and a large lump of gold fell from a height of several thousand meters, and then it was synthesized into the golden Nanwu Gatling, which was caught by chaos in one fell swoop. South without Gatling. The name of the move, Chaos, was shouted loudly, very domineering and brilliant. Vantrix? 
He was never afraid. As for why you should shout the name of the move before the move is launched, it can only be said that if you don't call it, you will have no soul. Not to mention, after shouting the name of the move, he has a sense of confidence. This is the fight. Suddenly, the dense bullets were like locusts crossing the border, and the two fought against each other. Many pirate thugs in the extreme distance were stunned. In their binoculars, a golden figure and a blue crystal man, all carrying hot weapons, were banging against each other, and the bullets came one after another. The surrounding ruins or hills were bombarded, and there were potholes left by potholes everywhere. Even hard rocks can easily penetrate, so if it is shot on the human body, it must not become a hornet's nest. This kind of battle is too scary. S -h 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 the whole sky was bombarded continuously, and the next moment the two stopped as if they had made an appointment and looked at each other. Golden Emperor, if you only have this strength, I'm so disappointed. Crystal no. Tenna's face was full of sternness, she lifted her foot and stepped on the ground, and the area of 100 meters began to roll. Chaos golden eyes narrowed slightly, the devil fruit awakened. It seems that this bitch is about to get real. However, looking at the crystal ground that was assimilated with the girl as the center, Chaos's original idea of killing no. Ten changed. He's going to catch each other alive, and then ask how the devil fruit awakened. Has anyone ever told you that you are a motherfucker? Neither male nor female. The gatling suspended in the air collided and split, making the sound of a golden iron horse, and finally turned into golden parts such as arm guards, chest guards, goggles, combat boots, etc. and then fell and surrounded chaos in a sound of golden leather. Get up, all chaos has to do is open his hands. At the same time, when the golden armor was assembled, the League of Legends Welcome to Planet Earth Welcome to Planet Earth, began to resume. Clap. The sky with black clouds rolling, even more black and red thunders fell, which made the temperament of Chaos, who was wise and martial, heroic, arrogant, and majestic, even higher when he put on the golden armor. Domineering and extraordinary. The imperial momentum radiates the audience. Facing chaos contemptuous eyes and gorgeous disguise, an aimless fire rushed to the sky, causing no. Tennis crystal face to look as ugly as eating shit. This man, he will cut off his limbs and torture him to death. Otherwise, it is hard to dispel the hatred in my heart. Too arrogant. Puchy puchy. The golden armor returned to its place and the steam generated by the return of life also began to rise in large quantities. For a time, the temperament of self-respect suddenly became mysterious. Boom! The layers of the ground beneath their feet collapsed, and they collided with each other in the blink of an eye. The huge storm swept out the mountains and the sea, and chaos closed his fist and swept it out. At the same time, no. Ten did the same. In the next second, the two appeared in midair and hit their elbows. After they separated, they seemed to be connected by a line. No. Ten grabbed Chaos right fist, and Chaos grabbed no. Ten's left fist. The two stared at each other close at hand. Crystal hand. The crystallized ground stretched out ten arms in vain, clenched his fists and stood behind no. Ten and aimed at Chaos as fast and accurate as a cannonball. Chaos was not panicked. A large amount of gold roared from the sky, which also turned into a golden arm and stood behind his back, colliding with those crystals. The goddess of God also fell through the clouds and stood at a height of 100 meters facing this side. Bear, Crocodile, and Archino stood on their shoulders and watched. There was a huge impact one after another, and the two of them pushed out their knees almost at the same time, and they continued to lift into the air. Circles of air pressure continued to subduct, a large number of ground hills were collapsing around, and the earthquake began to become more and more intense. 
the onlookers had only one thought. These two are monsters or not, and the outbreak of the Fistamiat fight is a man who will feel the blood boil. Especially with that BGM, it can't stop people's blood surging, even if there is only a drop of blood left, they dare to fight for thousands of years. Fight. Fighting. Fighting. The most primitive fight, the shirtless battle. The shock wave surrounded the two of them one after another, and the thunder and thunder and storms were just the background boards for the two of them. Both of them have entered the return of life which means that even a hair on the body is a life-threatening weapon. Because they grab each other's wrists, the two can only attack with other body parts other than their hands. The knee isn't the only killer weapon. Boom. The four heads collided heavily, and Chaos only felt a sense of dizziness, but he still insisted on gritting his teeth, and took the initiative to increase his strength to push it hard. Collision three times in a row. The fight is the armed color and defense. Ten is also very uncomfortable. Therefore, almost both of them have a feeling of vomiting. The knees kept colliding, each time deafening like a meteor hitting the earth. A trace of blood spilled from his mouth, and Chaos right shoulder formed an iron mountain and slammed into no. Ten, causing no. Ten to snort. Ten felt like being beaten and he didn't use other skills to confront Chaos Head, and Chaos did the same, using physical skills to fight No. 10 without using Devil Fruit. He hadn't had the most primitive hand-to-hand -hand combat in such a long time. This kind of battle is what he yearns for. X. Chapter 185 Underscore Ping a Skill, Thunder Gossip. 20,210,104. Chapter 185 Underscore Ping a Skill, Thunder Gossip. And No. 10, since getting the code name No. 10, has never fought like this. As a CP0, unlike Vice Admirals and Generals who go out to sea to fight those pirates at will, they have more secretive work, and the nature is different. Before he got the Jing Jing fruit, his battle was the sixth form and the return of life. Although he looks like a sissy, he is a man at heart. No man would refuse a bloody body fight like this. Boom. The sound of the collision between the two was more shocking than a thunderbolt. With the last forehead collision, the two let go of each other at the same time and spat out a mouthful of blood, dizzy and flying backwards. Smashed to the ground to draw a gully and lay in the gravel, Chaos shook his head and coughed constantly. I met my opponent today. He admitted to underestimating this bitch. The tenth on the opposite side was smashed into a series of buildings, and it was a bit too dizzy to look at it. The White's team continued to rise, and Chaos supported the ground to stand up. Looking at No. 10 standing up opposite, the two flew out at the same time. The terrifying storm swept all around and the black clouds rolled in the sky as if it were leaking. The figure slanted, and the gravel splashed all over the sky. Following the strong wind and waves, a figure smashed to the ground, hitting a big mountain and exploding again and again. No. Ten opened his mouth to vomit blood, the crystals on his face receded, revealing a bloodless look, he stood up and his chest heaved violently and looked at chaos who came out of the smoke. He stretched out his crystal hand and grabbed it against the ground, and a crystal clear water chestnut halberd took shape, which was about to use a weapon. The corners of Chaos's mouth were outlined, revealing a sneer. A golden mace shot beside him, he stretched out his hand, and quickly transformed into black gold as the armed color spread, and the spiky fangs showed a cold feeling. The high BGM was still playing. As the black and red thunders slashed down one after another, no. Ten slanted the halberd and ran towards chaos. Every step he took caused cracks and depressions in the ground. The halberd rushed out. With the movement of the black old mace, chaos leaned back high and swept the army with one blow. Thundering gossip. Go Kaido's way and leave Kaido nowhere to go. Fighting with the mace, how could you not use this trick? Chaos did not feel any psychological pressure. 
he is looking forward to a fight with Kaido, but to see whose thunder gossip is stronger in Ping A. Clap. The collision of daring the eardrum. The black old mace and the crystal halberd collided, and the powerful shock wave set off a mighty gallop on the surface, which was unrivaled. The underfoot collapsed completely, and the surrounding hills began to rise up. The two took a few steps back at the same time, and then glared angrily and collided again. Thundering gossip. Thundering gossip. Thundering gossip. Invisible attacks, only after images and chaos high move name. The more he shouted, the more emotional he became, much like a male catanistress in the animal world. Yinpei is also gradually rising. Ten had a dark face in the audience, and the more he played, the more annoyed he became. So angry. The burning sky exploded, and a barren mountain collapsed. The two appeared at the foot of the mountain, only the sound of thunder and gossip resounded, and they could not be seen at all. When the next wave of thunder and gossip resounded, it had already appeared a hundred meters away. Now the two are like wild beasts, destroying everything they go. The big craters formed by one collision after another are constantly increasing. The terrain with a radius of tens of thousands of meters is being changed because the battle between the two is being changed. Crystal Thorns. Ten lifted his foot, and the surrounding crystallized ground stretched out a sharp thorn towards chaos and quickly pierced it. As long as the tenth is there, the ground can be assimilated at any time. It's completely mobile. Chaos quickly disappeared using the shave, appeared in midair and kicked out two feet. In the blink of an eye, Shireishi's feet crossed hundreds of meters and swooped down. The dense smoke and dust continued to spread, but no. Ten appeared in the sky behind Chaos, and the halberd pierced through the air with a spiral force. Chaos saw and heard the color, but he released it all the time, and when he turned around, it was a thunderous gossip. The powerful force splashed out, and the weapons in the two men's hands were almost thrown backwards. The black old armor's knees collided with the dark blue crystal knees and the two flew out and smashed into a broken building and vomited blood. Enough. Standing up from the ruins, a lot of steam is rising. Chaos twisted his neck and shook his hands. Holding the mace in his right hand, he began to walk towards No. Ten step by step. With the injection of the mace, the surface turned red and scorching hot. From time to time there are flames splashing. From a distance, it looks like Chaos is carrying a golden flowing mace that is burning with flames and splashing with high temperature steam. Burning with domineering energy as energy causes gold to generate high density energy and expand rapidly, thus forming a gold melting fire mode, which not only greatly increases its strength, but also causes a huge explosion. And the temperature is extremely high, with super destructive power. The only downside is that the weapon color is doubled. That's right, Chaos finally developed the golden melting fire trick, using armed color as fuel. It also means that Chaos has developed the gold fire and gold industry fire of the original Terzlo. The current golden melting fire mace is the golden industry fire, but the moves are different. Boom! The ground under his feet burst, and Chaos quickly disappeared. When he appeared, he was already in front of No. 10. The right hand of the golden armor swelled in a circle, and he held the golden red flowing mace and waved it in one fell swoop. 10's pupils shrank, and he subconsciously stopped the halberd in front of him. Golden molten fire and thunder gossip. Accompanied by a high roar, the golden and red mace exploded the air, colliding with the halberd incomparably. Boom. A huge explosion rose up, and the golden flames swelled like mushrooms, and then it was like a dam burst and turned into a mighty shock wave of golden molten fire, which was unstoppable. The extreme day heat radiation is like a sun, making everyone watching the battle close their eyes. Crack. The crystal war halberd broke. No. Tennis eyes bulged with a sly face, 
and there were dense cracks in the entire chest. Before he could even vomit blood, he was taken away by the shock wave of golden molten fire. A mountain disappeared in the blink of an eye. Know how many meters wide avenues? You can see that the soil around is red and the temperature is extremely high. Wootilda. Chaos sighed heavily, and there was only one handle left of the mace in his hand, and the hammer body had disappeared. The big move is the big move, although it consumes a lot, but the power is not bad. This is equivalent to compressing half of the armed color to the extreme, and finally bursting out in one fell swoop, the energy generated is naturally multiplied. Coupled with the blessing of gold, it is even more extraordinary. After this trick was developed, Chaos felt that the combination of armed color as energy and gold turned out to be even more powerful, just right without the slightest flaw. As far as individual lethality is concerned, the sea types of profound truth and the Emperor Spear are not as destructive as this. You must know that Chaos can completely use all the armed colors as fuel, compress it to the extreme and detonate it in an instant and the destruction will be unparalleled at that time. Lifting his feet into the red and high temperature Kang Tsuang Avenue, a piece of gold flew in the distance and turned into a mace again, which was held by chaos in his hand. Dash many book friends may have doubts about this kind of development, but it is undeniable that Tazalo of the original book did this. You can go to the theater version, or check Baidu. If you have any ideas, feel free to post a book review. Starting point, deep buckle, passing by and signing in with soy sauce, 1500 starting coins, you need to add spicy meat, calmly love reading, 500 starting coins, I really want to be a jerk, 200 starting coins, Jay song, 199 starting coins, tiger roaring tiger roaring, 123 starting coins, book friends, Wang Big Eye Bag, Wu Zheng, 200 starting coins. X. Chapter 186 underscore a cigarette is better than a living fairy. 20,210,808. Chapter 186 underscore a cigarette is better than a living fairy. Whoa whoa whoa. Among the ruins standing on the surrounding hills, the gravel and soil were covered with cracks, and no. Ten climbed out with great difficulty, supporting his hands on the ground and unable to stop vomiting blood. The blood spit out is very rich, and there is a faint smell of flesh in the lungs. The blow nearly sent him into physical shock. But it couldn't kill him yet. There are rhythmic footsteps in the distance, from far to near. He raised his head with a pale face, and his hands were gripping the soil with indignation. He could not be defeated. Crystal World. Disregarding the feeling of collapse from his body, no. Ten has a strong action ability, using his hands as a starting point to assimilate the broken surface into crystals, and the range is larger than when he fought against Crocodile. He was going to use his last strength to crush the Golden Emperor to death in one fell swoop. Ring Bell. A large number of water chestnut crystals wriggled, forming streams of crystal tributaries as if alive, rising into the sky and stirring together like a twist, and finally forming crystal spikes 100 meters thick, which stood in the sky and aimed at chaos. No. Ten stood under the crystal spikes with his head lowered his face sullen. The whole huge thorn covered the armed color, tearing the air with a mountain-like power, and shot towards chaos indestructible. Crystal World Amaro. Golden Emperor, go to hell. Anger resounding through the sky, no. Ten will not admit his failure. Facing the mighty attack and draw, chaos paused his steps, took a tomato mace in his right hand and shot a large amount of gold from the goddess in the distance, which merged with the mace and finally formed a size of 10 meters. Mace. A large amount of steam diffused from chaos, and as the remaining armed colors were all formed into fuel and injected into the 10 meter sized mace, fire and high temperature began to splash. Taking a step forward with his right foot, 
Chaos also grabbed the mace with his left hand, and when the crystal spikes approached, he suddenly roared. Golden molten fire and thunder gossip. Exhausting all his strength, he blasted it out in one fell swoop, and the whole ten meter mace, which was burning with raging fire, swept through the thousands of troops and evacuated the surrounding airflow, and the landslides and ground cracks went forward. In an instant, a group of extremely day sun slowly rose. Immediately afterwards, a defining explosion filled with flames of light, turned into a huge mushroom cloud, and swept away thousands of miles, eventually forming an unstoppable torrent of golden molten fire, forcibly breaking down the crystal spike and charging straight to no. 10. Impossible. No. 10 roared with blood on his face. The crystal spikes were constantly shattering and collapsing. He couldn't resist the bursting force. Kneel for Lao Tzu. Chaos leaned back, his golden goose feather coat danced wildly behind him, clenched his crimson mace in both hands and clenched his teeth, the last trace of strength poured out. Rumbling. Half of the island seemed to be in an earthquake. The flood of Jin Kai continued to advance, destroying and disappearing wherever it went. The attack made by No. 10 could not be stopped at all. Along with the destruction of mountains, it finally poured into the sea, all the way. Juchen disappeared at the end of the horizon. What was left was a crimson road that was bigger than before, and even the sea was divided to form a gulf. This destructive power suffocates the audience. Wu Tilda. Chaos body swayed, almost not standing still. He was slightly out of strength, and his armament was almost exhausted. Looking at the fan-shaped scarlet avenue in front of me, the canyon formed and extended to the sea, and the fire was burning in it. The temperature might not be as high as Aquino, but it was enough to make the air ripple. Should we do it? The discolored king in the extreme distance looked at the Mantis King, now the Golden Emperor is weak. The Mantis King wore headphones and his black coat fluttered in the gust of wind. He first glanced at the Golden Emperor, then at the bear, Crocodile, and Aquino who were standing by the Goddess of God, frowning in thought. The knowledge and color also found that the battle of the Queen of Joy and others on the other side was over. Not the time to do it. This time, the combat power of the Golden Emperor made him refresh his previous disdain. I don't know if it was an illusion, but he always felt that there was a sense of sight spying on him. Wait a second. The Mantis King did not act rashly, and his grasp of the Golden Emperor was not very big. At this moment, in the center of the scene, the Goddess of God fell behind Chaos, and the three of Z, Crocodile, and Aquino landed looking at the crimson high-temperature avenue that could not be seen, with mixed expressions. Lao Sha, go see if that guy is dead. A golden tributary emerged from the goddess, rolling a cigar. Chaos threw it into his mouth after smoldering, and after a sip, he exhaled a ring of smoke, and his slightly pale face was full of relief. A cigarette after the fact is better than a living fairy. Ghoul. After such a long time to recover, Crocodile did not say that it had recovered to its heyday. Eight or nine points were there, and it turned into flying sand and disappeared on the spot. Old Bear, play it for me. Chaos turned to face the bear, puffing at the cigarette, looking at the bear through the smoke. Looking at nothing, in fact, Chaos has been vigilant. If the bear gave him a hit now, he really couldn't hold it. However, the gold dust in the bear's body still exists, and it seems that it has not been bounced off. With the ability of the bear, it is completely possible to eject the gold dust from the body, but he did not do so. The bear was still taciturn. He took off his gloves and pressed his right hand to Chaos's chest. Then, a transparent bear paw appeared on his back, with a trace of blood. Comfortable. Chaos felt his body relaxed all of a sudden, like drinking a glass of ice cream under the scorching sun. Go for a big meal later, and you can fully restore it to its heyday. 
just don't be too great. Boss, there's still one breath left. The flying sand was condensed and formed, and Crocodile threw the half no. Ten on the ground. His body was bruised and his hands and feet were broken, and he could no longer see what he looked like. Only a weak breath is left, and it will stop at any time. Bear, don't let him die. Chaos also wants to get some methods about the awakening of devil fruits from no. 10. If you want to die, you have to ask before you die. The bear immediately bent down, holding no. 10 in his left hand like a dead dog, and pressing his right hand against his chest, a mass of transparent blood red bear paws that was bigger than before chaos popped out. As the huge blood red bear's paw left the body, no. 10's dying breathing began to calm down. At the same time, a piece of gold powder floated down from the goddess, all of which entered the body of No. 10. Boss. At this time, the three of Stuchy also came back. Solved. Chaos looked at the empty handed three people, not very embarrassed, still full of queen style, sexy style, and perverted style. This stupid woman didn't stay alive. Betty pointed at Stutchy, this woman is really cruel. In the end, he killed the pterodactyl without blinking an eye. After all, he used to be a colleague, but now his psi relatives don't recognize him and are extremely ruthless. Oh. Chaos didn't he respond either. The ones he trusted most in the entire team were Crocodile and Stuthy, and the rest had to follow. Just need some time to get along. Hiffup. Is this what the boss did? Ivan coughs to regiments of 36 he was swinging, fearing that the rope would break and see the light of day again. At this time, he looked at the canyon avenue that disappeared on the horizon, with an exaggerated and shocked expression. If you don't go to work in the shock department, you will be blind to that perverted talent. Chaos didn't even look at Ivan Kof's lower body, for fear of losing his eyes. Just casually hum and perfunctory. Find a place to rest first, and go fishing for lantern fish tomorrow. Seeing and hearing colors cover most of the island, and there are many pirate thugs watching, all of them are chickens. Not to worry. X. Chapter 187 underscore so perverted, but I like it. 20,210,105. Chapter 187 underscore so perverted, but I like it. Dreyfus Hotel. Because it is far away, it is not destroyed. After all, the naval branch was on the other side of the island, but some places were still hit, but not very seriously. Now at the entrance of the hotel, the boss and a group of waiters personally greeted him. There were a lot of eyes on the street, both openly and secretly, watching the seven figures falling from the sky. Welcome to the Golden Emperor and everyone from the richest group. The hotel owner didn't panic when he looked at Chaos and the others, on the contrary, he was enthusiastic. Now whoever does business in the sea does not know that the Golden Emperor is generous, and the hotel owner who has stayed in everything has made a lot of money. As long as he serves well he will not worry about making money. This is recognized as the richest individual in the world. Some Newsweek has reported on the ranking of the richest people in the ocean, with teams and individuals. Among them, whether it is a team or an individual, the Golden Emperor is in the first place. A veritable billionaire. What is calculated is not just the gold currently held by the Golden Emperor, but the potential wealth of the Golden Emperor such as the golden fruit? Crack. With a cigarette in his mouth, Chaos snapped his fingers and it rained gold coins. He was very satisfied with the welcoming attitude of the hotel owner and the waiters. He has money. Arrogant. Tip and arrange for us some of the most luxurious rooms, the most expensive of everything. Yes, yes. The hotel owner resisted his excitement and looked at the small pile of gold coins on the ground, which was worth several hundred million at least, and this was just a tip. What are you still doing, take the adults to the most luxurious room. 
The hotel owner stared at his subordinates who couldn't take back the gold coins. Master Golden Emperor, please come this way. My Lady of Joy. Lord Tyrant. Lord Dancing Queen. Lord Sun King. Lord Shemaking. My Lord Tsar. The eyes of the waiters were blazing, as if they were treating God. As Chaos and the others disappeared at the entrance of the hotel, many pirates and thugs on the surrounding streets looked at the small pile of gold coins on the ground, their eyes red. The other hotel owners looked at the owner of the Dreyfus Hotel jealously, wishing to stab him ten thousand times. Half an hour later, the top floor of the hotel. In the most luxurious room, the seven people of Chaos were enjoying food. After eating a lot, Chaos had fully recovered. Was drinking rum. It is quite different from red wine. Others are still enjoying it, and they are very gentle. But the elegant one is only stuffy. Others don't have that pleasing feeling. This is training. You can tell by eating. Even if Betty was pretending to be reserved, it was still a little bit worse after all. A few other big and rough not to mention. Take your time and enjoy. Chaos left the dining table, walked to the sofa with the rum in his hand, and sat down with Lang's legs crossed. In the distance, no. Ten was in a large font against the wall. With a thought, Chaos flew over and knelt on the ground. The flames in his eyes almost spurted out. After the bear's treatment, although no. Ten is still very weak his life is no longer in danger. But now it is more uncomfortable than death, becoming a prisoner. You have two choices now, the first is easy to die, and the second is hard to die. Chaos never considered letting go of no. 10, even if he would say anything about the awakening of the devil fruit. 10 was a little stunned, isn't it normal to die or live? Now they're all dead anyway, what's the difference? I want to know about Devil Fruit's awakening. As Chaos's words fell, no. Ten found that he could speak and control his facial expressions. Crocodile and others who were eating also pricked up their ears. They were still wondering why Chaos left no. Ten, it turned out to be because of this. Idiot talking about a dream. No. Ten's face was full of sarcasm, thinking that he could threaten him with death? Ridiculous. Their CP0 is strictly trained. Have you ever heard of 108 kinds of perverted torture, such as lingering, hanging, cooking, sawing, breaking vertebrae, filling lead, grooming, pumping intestines, riding a wooden donkey, etc. Let's not talk about other things first, or let's try riding a wooden donkey first. Chaos waved his hand, and a lump of gold flew out of the window, turning into a donkey, but an irregular oval-shaped golden wooden stick with barbs appeared on the back of the donkey, and the size was only 15 centimeters. Look! Tennis eyelids twitched, looking at the barbed oval-shaped golden wooden stick, no words needed. The stamen subconsciously tightened. It feels better with chilly water. Anyway, you're a bitch yourself, it's not bad to try the pleasure of a woman. These are just appetizers. I'll give you some desire medicine tonight. I believe there will be many animals who love you. I have always believed that there is true love across species. Chaos spit out a smoke ring and smiled brightly. In terms of torture methods, he could name a dozen or twenty kinds casually. Tennessee expression changed completely. This is the case even for Crocodile and others, who once again refreshed their understanding of chaos. If up, so perverted, but I like it. Of all the people present, only Ivankov appeared to be sympathetic to each other, as if he had found a confidant. Sure enough, I'm the only normal person. Betty complained, and the look at chaos was not right. What's your choice? As long as you say no. I will immediately arrange a 1s top service for you. Even if there is only one breath left, our bug and perverted responsibility can save you. 
Chaos spit out a smoke ring and half skinted his eyes. Ten pondered for a moment and spoke. Twenty minutes later, Chaos subconsciously moved the gold earrings, watching no. Ten thinking. Crocodile and the others were also sitting on the sofas all around, and they were all thinking. In just twenty minutes, the tenth had already told the information about the awakening of the devil fruit, and Chaos also asked a lot of guesses. I am just short of what color pants to wear on a size ten. Ten did not fight hard, nor did it threaten or abuse, or even anger. On the contrary very calm. As for whether he has said everything, only he himself knows. In fact, the information disclosed on the tenth is of no use. To sum up, he himself does not know how to wake up, that is, a certain shackle is suddenly broken one day, the soul and spirit are purified and improved at another level, and the devil fruit is suddenly awakened. Just like a natural awakening when certain conditions are met. That is to say, there is no basis at all. The only thing to know is to keep developing devil fruits. Therefore, Chaos also asked others to answer the blind guesses of the pirate fans on the internet in the previous life. Let's not talk about the awakening of the animal system, then the awakening is a bloodlocked fighter, which belongs to the fighters of Zokiang, and is the most difficult to kill. The natural system is the element of walking, which can change the weather and environment for many years or even permanently. I don't know if it is right or not. There are many types of superhumans, so the awakening may be slightly different. The usual thing is to temporarily assimilate the surrounding things and environments like thread fruit, jelly fruit, and crystal fruit. This may be just the first awakening, maybe there will be a second awakening, a third awakening. The area of assimilation may not be temporary, but permanent. Or to awaken to the aspect of creation and then it can be made out of thin air, such as biscuit fruit. After all, if you want to awaken the devil fruit, you have to keep developing it. If he wants to wake up, he will naturally follow, and there is no shortcut. This is so fucked up. If you are unlucky, isn't it possible that you will not be able to see awakening in your life? After all, there are thousands of devil fruit capable people and only a handful of them have awakened. Anyway, Chaos didn't panic. He took the pig's foot script. Traveling has led to the sublimation of soul and talent in all aspects, and the original Tesla is in front of him. He just needs to keep walking like cats and tigers, and one day he will be successful. The only difference is the length of time. X. Chapter 188 underscore entered the lantern fish body plus one for the cute master Linku. 20,210,106. Chapter 188 underscore entered the lantern fish body plus one for the cute master Linku. The sun is rising, a new day is coming. Tenth, it went very peacefully. Nothing major happened last night. After enjoying the one s top service of the hotel, Chaos slept happily. At this moment, standing in front of the floor tussling window, he was wearing big gold shorts and stretched his waist to show off his mermaid figure. Others got up one after another. But the most sloppy one was Betty, with disheveled hair and sleepy eyes, she walked carelessly to the living room in three-point sexy underwear, picked up a glass of milk and poured it down. Crocodile and Bear sat on the sofa and read the news. Stuthy is enjoying breakfast at the table, timeless elegance. Opposite is Ivankov, whose body is even less cloth than Betty's, shaking 36 C with Lang's legs crossed. Spicy eyes. Akino was wearing a seafloor stone bracelet and was doing push-ups. Seeing that he was sweating, he had been practicing for an hour. He is currently the most motivated person in the group. Boss, shall we act today? Seeing Chaos pull out the chair and sit down, Stuthy took out a tissue and wiped her attractive red lips. Well, if you can't catch lanternfish in a short time, you can only give up temporarily, and then go to solve the underground world. Chaos picked up a piece of bread, 
took a bite and nodded. Hiffup. The underworld? Ivan Korf blinked his big eyes, full of questions. This stupid woman runs the red light district of the underworld. Betty poured another glass of milk, ignoring Stussy as a popularization for Ivankov. Then he continued, Boss, I'm afraid you are not just for the red light district. I plan to integrate the underground world. Last time, a lot of forces swallowed the red light district. This time it needs to be returned ten times. Chaos motioned Betty to pour himself a glass of milk. Boom. At this moment, the whole hotel, it should be said that the whole island shook. As if some huge creature was hitting the island. Chaos's expression became elated for the first time, and the Alwither sight spread to the sea, where there was a giant that could not be seen at a glance. It is a lanternfish. The body is so big that you can't see the edge at all. There are no scales on the body. The most obvious feature is the fleshy shape on the top of the head that resembles a small lantern, and the cloud cover is like an island. When you climb up and look at it, you will find that the huge body exposed on the sea is similar to Momigat Island. Big. Nothing but big. This is what it is. Ivan Korf turned his head to look out the window and opened his mouth to look at the huge black shadow, which was a mountain. Boss, is this what it is? Milk overflowed from the corner of Betty's mouth, and flowed down the ravine into the absolute realm, staring at the giant. This is the lanternfish we're looking for. Chaos's tone trembled a little. There are three small islands in this big guy's body, one of which has, pure gold. Everlasting youth and immortality. Swish. The window was shattered, and chaos had disappeared into his seat. The golden halo and goose feather coat that were lying on the sofa also shot out. Go. Stuffy, zing, and Betty also disappeared. It's not just the chaos people who are excited, but also the mantis king and the color changing king, as well as some world government eyeliners on the island. Ordinary residents or pirate thugs look at the lantern fish with fear. Now they are scrambling to escape to the depths of the island. If the lantern fish goes down like this, Momigat Island will be directly short of untenth, or even more. S H H H H H H H. Chaos appeared in front of the lantern fish at close range. From a distance, it looked like a bear's hair. The difference in size between the two can only be said to be a gap within a gap. Bear and Crocodile also appeared next to Chaos one after another. Lanternfish didn't notice the Chaos and the others at all. At this moment, he was looking up at the sky, and above it was the Goddess of God. There was no accident, the Lanternfish was attracted by the Goddess. The Goddess of God is different from ordinary gold. This is carefully refined by Chaos and it can be regarded as the best of gold. It actually works. Betty also looked up at the sky, and then corresponding to the current posture of the lanternfish, it is not difficult to guess why the lanternfish appeared. Just in case you're out there, Stussy, Betty, Loton, Losha, and Old Bear and Lowen come in with me. Chaos tilted his head to look at Stutchy, and emphatically warned, I will give up control of the Goddess of God after entering. You need to use your ability to hold the Goddess of God. You three cover. With the current size of the Goddess of God, if Chaos gave up control, the weight would definitely be beyond imagination. However, Stutchy has developed a kind of white sea similar to an empty island, which has strong buoyancy, so the Goddess of God has been kept in the air, which is not a problem. Yes. Stuthy lifted off like a cannonball, and quickly jumped to the height of a thousand meters to create the white sea at the feet of the Goddess of God. At the same time, the Goddess of God also began to change, and turned into a golden ship under the control of chaos. Humph! Betty snorted coldly, looked at Crocodile and Akina who were leaving with Stuthy, and glared at chaos with dissatisfaction. She also really wants to find pure gold. It's a pity that Chaos didn't even look at her, 
and greeted the bear and I off and flew directly into the abyss-like mouth of the lanternfish. The golden emperor has entered. On the other side of the open space, the mantis king and the color-changing king appeared and watched chaos bring the bear and I off into the mouth of the lanternfish. This should be the lanternfish, inform the monarch. I'll go first. The mantis king left a sentence and disappeared. He was afraid that the golden emperor would be the first to get pure gold. Blood Dilda. The color changing king took out the phone bug, reported it after connecting, and then rushed out into the mouth of the lanternfish. An island in the new world. The explosion roared in the sky, and a streamer quickly disappeared in the sky. It's the bomb king Gotti. Meanwhile, a naval branch somewhere in the new world. Sengoku, quickly go to Momigat Island. Chaos is not clear what is going on outside, and now he has entered the body of the lanternfish. If up, there are really islands. The lanternfish has three stomachs, and each stomach has an island suspended on a large green stomach acid, which looks like a large green lake. Inside were the skeletons of various large animals, all digested. Now the three of chaos appeared in the first stomach, stepping on the moon to look at the scenery in front of them, which was very spectacular. The whole space is not dark, but very bright. Miracles like this kind of Arabian nights are not surprising in the world of One Piece, and belong to the most basic operations. The island on the green stomach acid not only has lush vegetation, but also many extinct animals such as dinosaurs, saber-toothed tigers, etc. Not in this stomach, go to the next. Chaos was swept away when he saw it, and did not find Miskina Olga and Miskina Asar on the island, they were just some extinct animals or some architectural relics. His biggest goal is to control the scientist Miskina Asia. As long as this scientist is there, pure gold can be continuously synthesized. A hen that lays golden eggs. If the memory is correct, Assi should be in the third stomach, which is the island of Alchemy. At this time, in the second stomach, the Mantis King landed on the island from the huge esophagus, looking a little shocked at the scenery in front of him. There are islands in the body of the lanternfish. Rays, sand, green vegetation, extinct animals. X. Chapter 189 underscore get, pure gold, that prolongs lifespan link plus 2 for the cute master. 20,210,106. Chapter 189 underscore get, pure gold, that prolongs lifespan link plus 2 for the cute master. The third stomach of the lanternfish, the three of chaos fell from the esophagus. Looking at the pyramid-like ruins in the center of the island, the sight and hearing quickly radiated the entire space. Chaos remembered that when he first appeared, AC disguised as a baby dinosaur and survived by relying on dinosaurs. However, because of eating meat all the year round, he has become a fat uncle. Have. There is a dinosaur den under a rocky wall on the west side of the island. Several cute little dinosaurs were dozing off, one of them looked tattered and slept better than the real one. The sound of breaking the air came, and Chaos, Zing, and Ivankov stepped on the moon and hung in the air. Ivankov and the bear found nothing, just a nest of little dinosaurs snoring. As a frussy who was mixed in, they really didn't find it. Jingle Bell. Chaos waved his hand lightly and the golden halo behind his back turned into a tributary, accurately pulling out Asar, who was sleeping soundly. This time, the entire dinosaur nest was awakened. Hoo hoo hoo. Many little dinosaurs roared at the three chaos, with their tender voices, petite and cute appearances, and their cuteness was extremely lethal. The sudden suspension also awakened Asi. It even made a dinosaur call. Having been trapped here for so many years, as he has learned the language of many animals on the island, and can be said to be a genius. It is hard to imagine that as a human being. He has learned the language of dinosaurs. 
and fully integrated into it. Ah! Humans! Asiya's dazed state disappeared, looking at the three chaos in front of him. His eyes widened with an unbelievably excited expression. How many years? Haven't seen a human in years. If up, it's hidden so deep. Ivankov was startled by Asiya's sudden speech. After taking off the tattered dinosaur costume, Asi revealed his real face, a very fat and sloppy uncle. Miss China Asiya. Chaos grinned and showed a very gentle smile, and the golden tributary of Asi had begun to erode into Asi's body, leaving a controllable gold powder. Who are you? Asiya was stunned, he didn't expect anyone to know him. Know that he has been trapped here for over a hundred years. Roar Tilda. There was a roar from the jungle in the distance. It was to huge carnivorous dinosaurs. Thinking that their cubs were injured, they ran frantically and opened their bloody mouths in an attempt to swallow chaos. No, the dinosaur parents are back. Asi panicked. He is just an ordinary scientist, as come with a combat power of only five. In the face of this situation, he can only survive by continuing to pretend to be a dinosaur baby, otherwise... Noisy. Chaos turned his head. His eyes glared slightly. His arrogant and domineering will turned into invisible waves, and he slammed into the entire island and radiated out. For a time, the jungle, which was roaring again and again, was completely quiet and silent. With his mouth open, Asiya looked at the dinosaur parents and a group of young dinosaurs lying on the ground, as well as the jungle that had calmed down in vain, then turned to look at Chaos and stared at him. Although he was not attacked by the Overlord, he could also feel a terrifying thing emerging from this man. Miss China Asiya, welcome to the richest group. Ah! Asiya was stunned. I couldn't understand what Kos was saying. However, Chaos did not speak again, but flew towards the ruins in the center of the island. Only at this time did Asi realize that these three people have been flying in the air, including him now. Who the hell is this? Why can you fly in the air? Looking into the jungle, a large number of animals fell to the ground, not knowing whether they were dead or alive. Just when Asar was stunned, Chaos had already brought him to the ruins. Who are you? As he came back to his senses and reacted no matter how stupid he looked at the entrance of the ruins. These three people may be thieves, the real purpose may be, pure gold. After all, his name was called from the beginning. Too bad no one answered him. Chaos took the lead into the ruins, Zi and Ivankov followed behind and Asa found himself unable to control his body, and even followed behind. S-H-H-H-H-H. Not long after entering the ruins, I came to a corridor. Asi wanted to remind that there was an ambush here, and he set it up. He couldn't open his mouth. What happened next completely stunned Asiya. As soon as the four entered the corridor, a large number of arrows were shot from the walls on both sides. With the impact of a sword and light sword, all the arrows fell into several pieces and fell to the ground. And there were golden knives floating around the four of them. Obviously, the arrows just now were solved by these golden knives. Under the leadership of Chaos, it was easy to walk out of the passage. In order to protect the pure gold, Asiri set up a lot of traps. Chaos has no time to slowly pass the level by solving puzzles like the original Robin, Nami and others. Boom! Looking at the sinking in front of him, Chaos kicked out from the air, forming a strong and domineering smashing of all the feet, and went straight to the next level. The next thing is simple. With the explosions one after another, all the levels were forcibly destroyed, and the four came to the crocodile gate unimpeded. Looking at the steps rising in front of you, there is a key on it. Corresponding to the door in the crocodile's mouth. Chaos came to the front of the crocodile gate with ease, raised his right foot and stepped on the ground. As the cracks spread, a passage appeared under his feet. Without any hesitation, he jumped straight down. As he was stunned from start to finish. 
he felt that Chaos was more familiar with this place than he was, and even knew about this escape route. As long as you pass this escape route, you can reach the room where he studied pure gold, and the fist sized piece of pure gold is placed inside. In fact, Z and Ivankov were also surprised. Because Chaos is too familiar. If up, boss, have you been here before? Coming to the bottom of the passage, looking at the rows of stairs going up, Ivankov couldn't help but speak. I haven't he been here, I just know the future. Chaos remained calm, with a calm look. It is just as unpredictable as to fool Crocodile and Stutchy back then. Ignoring the three Ivankovs who were stunned, Chaos went up the steps and saw a wooden door, which was a C's research room. If up, predict the future? Ivankov looked disbelieving. The bear was expressionless, but his brows were furrowed. As a four Asir, he is still in a state of daze. Squeak. The wooden door was opened, and it was a small room with many books and various oars, as well as a blackboard with various ghost symbols on it. There was a table under the blackboard, with a glass container on it, and inside it was a fist sized oval of pure gold which was emitting a dazzling light. Looking at this lump of pure gold, Chaos couldn't help being excited. Crushing the container, Chaos grabbed the oval-shaped pure gold, and the whole room was filled with golden light, like a big light bulb. This is the property of, pure gold, which emits a dazzling light to dispel the night. You only need to wear pure gold the size of sesame for many years, you can delay aging and keep youth forever. Such a big lump is enough to delay aging for hundreds of people. X. Chapter 190 underscore that sense of picture is the for the cute master Linku plus 3. 20,210,106. Chapter 190 underscore that sense of picture is the for the cute master Linku plus 3. Boss, is this the pure gold you speak of that prolongs life? Ivankov blinked, looking at the oval shaped pure gold emitting a dazzling light, a little suspicious. After all, this is too mysterious. How in the world could there be something that prolongs life? He is over two hundred years old. Chaos glanced at Asia, then turned his pure gold brows back and forth with a frown. He had touched it, but couldn't control it. This means that the golden fruit does not work on this scientifically synthesized pure gold, which makes chaos very lost. From the side, this pure gold that prolongs life may not be related to metal. Really bad news. Are you over 200 years old? Ivankov turned to look at Asir, his delicate face full of suspicion. Although this guy is fat and sloppy, he is not over 200 years old. Asia did not answer Ivankov, but just looked at the pure gold in Chaos's hand, his face full of complicated colors. The reason why he developed the forbidden fruit of, pure gold, was only for his daughter Olga. In his eyes, this pure gold that prolongs life is not as important as Olga at all. It's time to leave. Since this pure gold cannot be manipulated, a sign is of little use to Chaos. At first, Chaos thought that if he could control this pure gold, then he could continue to make and synthesize it, but now it seems that he no longer needs it. In addition, Asiri has no other advantages other than being able to make this kind of pure gold. So he changed his mind and did not plan to let Asir join the richest group. But he didn't want Asi to continue making this kind of pure gold, after all, it's rare. It is impossible to kill. He still has the most basic morals. So Chaos planned to throw a sea on the empty island, find his daughter Olga by the way, and reunite the father and daughter. Asia looks useless, but he is also a scientist. He is proficient in synthesizing or refining all kinds of ores, and he might be able to synthesize things with other effects in the future. No matter how small a mosquito is, it is still meat. In case of surprise, Chaos decided so happily. A few small branches stretched out from the shoulders of the golden goose feather coat, 
which rolled up the oval shape pure gold to fit perfectly. Suddenly, the dazzling golden light shrouded chaos. From a distance, it looked like a golden human shaped luminous body. They have become holy and mysterious, like gods and Buddhas. But as soon as the goose feather gold was covered, the dazzling golden light disappeared. Do you still need these things? Chaos looked at the various books or notes in the whole room and looked at Asya. The latter shook his head, and after staying here for more than a hundred years, that knowledge has long been engraved in his mind. Old one, burn it down. Then take you to find your daughter. After saying that, Chaos raised his legs and walked outside. Huh? You mean Olga? She is still alive? Asya's eyes lit up, looking at Chaos and couldn't wait to ask. So excited. Chaos threw a cigar and nodded, making Asya cry with joy, her lips trembling and she was completely speechless. After a while, the four of them came to the outside of the ruins. Not bad luck. Olga took the initiative to come to the door. Chaos puffed out a smoke ring, and looked at the Mantis King and the color changing king who caught Olga, very calm. Seeing that color has long been discovered. Olga. Looking at Olga, who looked like a little girl, even in the past 100 years, she still maintained her original appearance, and tears flashed in a series eyes. Olga, who was originally struggling in the hands of the color changing king, heard the voice and looked at Ursi, and was slightly stunned. Daddy asshole? You're not dead yet. Golden Emperor. The Mantis King wore earphones, and when he saw As R, he guessed the ins and outs at once. The Golden Emperor really came for pure gold. It doesn't matter how the Golden Emperor knows, pure gold. The key is whether the Golden Emperor gets, pure gold. You got pure gold? The Mantis King's breathing became heavier, and it was pure gold that prolongs life. No one could keep calm. You solve it. Chaos gradually lifted off, completely ignoring the Mantis King and the color changing king. This situation will be left to Ivan Korf and the bear to solve. This is the role of the younger brother. If you are interested, Chaos will end up. If you are not interested, you will leave it to your subordinates. This is a qualified boss. Occasionally give your subordinates a chance to perform. Olga. The body couldn't control the soaring, Asar was in a hurry. Call out. The bear and Ivankor rushed out, and the next second, a strong wind and waves swept through, and Olga was directly thrown away. Before landing, she was caught by a golden tributary, flew to Asia's side, and ascended to the gastrointestinal channel above her head. Empty. On the ground Ivankov, the bear, the king of discoloration, and the king of mantis have been fighting together. Chaos didn't plan to go out just like that, but went straight to the sarcoma on the head of the lanternfish. Inside, there was a golden mountain, a golden mountain the size of a small island. Now that he is disconnected from the goddess of God, he can completely control another goddess of God. In addition, Chaos also intends to kill the lanternfish. The small island has so much gold that it can be completely shaped into a palace group. Or make it into a golden city like Teslo, and develop it into the largest entertainment city in the world. Following some of the lanternfish's meridians, they headed straight to their head. After passing through the long passage, the three of chaos came to the sarcoma space. At first glance, they were all gold with extremely high purity. A veritable golden world. Chaos flew to a huge piece of gold, reached out and touched it, and the medium reached it. Under the shocked gazes of Olga and Asi, a large piece of gold began to wriggle and deform. After a few breaths, a huge fat golden Buddha 200 meters high, with a huge D gold symbol erected behind it, was extremely shocking and solemn. Appeared in front of the father and daughter. Aside from their widely open mouths, the father and daughter's heads were empty. Just call you Shakyamuni. 
This Buddha is enlarged according to the size after the transformation of the warring states period. It looks solemn and sacred, which is still the same thing. It is completely two kinds of visual impact with the goddess of God. Crack. Chaos snapped his fingers, and Sakyamuni began to split half of the gold, and finally formed a 100 meter goddess. The original 200 meter Sakyamuni also naturally shrank to 100 meters in size, so he stood on the guard with the goddess. Russia left and right. Just like the left and right guardians, the visibility is even greater. Looking back and forth, Chaos subconsciously moved the gold earrings, and then wanted to get a demon or a fairy to form the four diamonds. Or King Long, White Tiger, Suzaku, Xuan Wu. Never mind. For now, let's talk about Sakyamuni and the Goddess of God. 100 meters is just right, and no matter how short it is, there is no such style. These ideas can be realized in the future as the development of Jin Jangyuo continues. At that time, when you travel to the quartet to protect the Dharma, or protect the Dharma of Buddha, Goddess, Devil, and Fairy, plus special effects and BGM, the sense of picture will be there. With a wave of the right hand, the Goddess of God merged into Sakyamuni, restoring Sakyamuni's body size to 200 meters. Sure enough, the bigger it is, the more impact it will have. Who the hell are you? Olga's worldview has been turned upside down. Is this man in front of him a god? You can actually manipulate gold at will. Chaos didn't answer. With a wave, Sakyamuni stretched out his big golden hand. The D symbol behind him turned into a golden sword. He held it in one fell swoop and looked up at the top of his head. Just break the thick meat wall to see the sun again. I can sense that the lantern fish did not dive into the sea. X. Chapter 191 underscore you won't forget them both. For the cute master link who plus 4. 20,210,106. Chapter 191 underscore you won't forget them both. For the cute master link who plus 4. Outside world. The belly of the lantern fish is in the sea, supporting its huge head, and its rows of sharp teeth are like steep mountains, staring intently at the kilometer high sky. Suddenly, a tingling pain came from that huge sarcoma. It's like being pricked with a toothpick. The huge eyeballs went up, and a crack was torn in the sarcoid, which was about five meters long. For the size of the lantern fish, this kind of wound was thinner than a bear's hair. It hurts a bit, and then I don't feel it anymore. Chaos came out with Olga and the sea, and at the same time a golden tributary streamed out, and finally condensed and stood in the air, and he was the sacred and solemn Sakyamuni. Many people on the island looked at the giant Buddha and were stunned. Sunshine, fresh air, it's outside. After more than 100 years, Nearly 200 years, Asya finally saw the light of day again. That excited heart, tears welling up. Artilda. However, in the next second, Asa and Olga screamed, their bodies couldn't control their soaring into the sky, and they couldn't open their eyes so fast that their hearts jumped to their throats. After the body stopped, the father and daughter stood on a cloud layer, and there was a golden giant ship above the cloud layer. There are four people on it. Falling adrift on the golden ship, the father and daughter slumped directly on the ground, and it took a while to ease up on what they experienced today. The four of Stuchy looked at the father and daughter and had already guessed their identities. Clang. Under the sea of clouds, Chaos' right hand reached into the air, and the sacred and solemn Sakya Mooney burst, turning into various heavenly locks and spreading under the sky with the collision of golden horses and iron horses, and finally merged from head to toe begins to turn into a great golden sword. What originally only needed one step, it is just a few steps. The purpose is self-evident, what is required is the appearance and gorgeousness. Slaying, great sword. Chaos wielded the great sword that penetrated the sky and the earth, 
ready to cut off the sarcoid. However, he gave up as soon as he swung down chaos. This sarcoma is at least as big as a small island, and the gold inside can be said to be piled up like a mountain. Although Stuthi has developed the White Sea, it may not be able to withstand it. It's too big after all. The great sword took off into the sky and became Sakya Muni again, and chaos flew into the sky and appeared above the sea of clouds. Boss. Seeing chaos appearing, Stuthi and the others had questions in their eyes. Go to the empty island. Chaos stood on the golden giant boat, and the golden goose feather coat was separated by a seam, revealing the dazzling golden light released by pure gold. Chaos planned to lead the lantern fish to the near the empty island of the great root. At that time, the gold in the sarcoma can be transported to the empty island, and it will be picked up when it is used in the future. Yes. Stuthy withdrew his gaze and controlled the sea of clouds and began to drift toward the great root. When chaos moved like this, the lanternfish also had a huge reaction. For a time, the entire Momigat island shook, and as the tsunami-like waves spread round, the lanternfish dived into the sea and disappeared. Boss, is this pure gold that prolongs life? Betty was playing with the oval-shaped pure gold in her hand at the moment. Like a small sun, the golden light was too dazzling. No matter how you look at it, Betty doesn't believe that this thing can prolong life and maintain youth. Otherwise? Chaos exhaled a ring of smoke. Boss, can this thing attract lanternfish to the great root? Stuthy was very smart and had already guessed Chaos' plan. Yes. Chaos answered with certainty. If ordinary gold is only 30% attractive to lanternfish, then this pure gold is 100% attractive. Ah, what about the dead pervert and the bear? The pure gold was thrown to Crocodile and Aquino to look at, and Betty suddenly remembered. Oh. Chaos was also stunned, and Betty didn't say that he really forgot. However, it quickly recovered to a calm situation as if Ivankov and the bear were deliberately left behind. Boss, you won't forget them both. Betty looked suspicious, opening her eyes to see something on Chaos's face. They're still fighting. I'm going to rest first. Chaos waved his hand and entered the golden ship. At this time, the forgotten bear and Ivankov were still fighting against the Mantis King and the color-changing King. Hiffup. Why doesn't it feel right? Ivankov was disheartened, feeling that the entire space was shaking, as if moving quickly. Damn it, don't you? The faces of the Mantis King and the color changing king changed greatly, and an ominous premonition deepened. No matter how you look at it now, it looks like a lantern fish has dived into the sea. So how do they get out? Boom. A halo of air pressure appeared over Momigat Island. Gottidi glanced with a pair of red vertical pupils, short white hair and a black trench coat danced wildly in the wind. There were still traces of fire and black smoke. Is it late? Seeing and hearing the color covering Momigat Island, and did not find the breath of the Mantis King and the color changing king, or the lanternfish. He's been here since he got the news. It's a pity it's still a bit late. Leaving an afterimage in the air. Gottdy came to the hotel. The Mantis King and the Color Changing King still have subordinates. Your Majesty. The sudden appearance of Gottdy made all the pirates excited. What about Subic and Nero Dahl? The blood red vertical pupil glanced, giving people a feeling of coquettish horror. Master Subic and Master Nero Dahl entered the mouth of the Sea King, and then the Sea King dived into the sea and disappeared. A small chief pirate reports. When the Sea King dived into the sea before, it scared them enough. I was preparing to report the news of the death of Shisabik and Nero Dahl to the base camp, but I would have thought that the big boss Gotti would come in person. Gotti frowned. Call them and try. Your Majesty, we have called many times, but we can't get through, I'm afraid. The little leader looked at Gotti cautiously. In his opinion, Subic and Nero Dahl were sure to die. 
you continue to stay here to investigate. Swish. An afterimage was left on the spot. Gotidi left a sentence and suddenly appeared in the air, with red vertical pupils looking at the horizon, where a warship was rapidly approaching. On the bow of the ship, Sengoku was wearing a navy coat and looked in the direction of Gotdi for the first time. Warring states. Gotdi. The two stared at each other in the air, expressionless and wondering what they were thinking. Everyone knows the purpose of the other party. Before the warring states came, the above had already explained the cause of the matter, but it seems that it is a step too late. The two just looked at each other like this, and then Gotidi's feet exploded, and a pressure halo formed behind them and quickly disappeared. Watching Gotdi leave, Sengoku didn't stop him. Brutilda. This is Bettina. The phone worm was connected, and a lazy voice came. Look at the life paper of Subic and Nero Dahl. Clouds run through and leave a passageway, and the surrounding scenery is rapidly regressing. Gotdi held the phone bug in his hand. He didn't believe the two were dead, so he planned to use life paper to check. Your Majesty, wait a moment. There were some inappropriate voices from the phone bug, and within a minute, the voice of the fourth helmsman battle princess Bettina came. The paper of life is not damaged and is moving towards the great route. I'll be right back. The phone worm hangs up. And with the huge explosion in the sky and the huge hole in the clouds, Gotidi's speed is still rising. X. Chapter 192 underscore this sound seems a bit miserable, for the cute master Linku plus 5. 20,210,106. Chapter 192 underscore this sound seems a bit miserable, for the cute master Linku plus 5. The sun is rising, and a new day is coming. 10,000 meters in the sky. The legendary empty island actually exists. At the moment above the White Sea, Betty looked at the huge island with a slightly exaggerated expression. Crocodile and Stuffy next to him showed contempt. This annoyed Betty. Boom. Under the control of chaos. The giant golden ship rose in a straight line and swept through clouds and mists, and finally smashed on the island of God, a payado. Ganfei waited with a group of divine guards, and Stuffy informed him before he arrived. Chaos didn't waste any time, he put down the giant golden ship, Sekiamuni, and the Asi father and daughter, and left again with Stuffy, Betty, Crocodile, and Akino. Go fishing for lantern fish. By the way, bring back all that sarcoma. With those gold reserves, the headquarters can be built in the future as long as the devil fruit awakens. When they came to the sea, Stuffy controlled by high, very low, only 50 meters above the sea surface, and the sea of clouds needed to support it when he cut off the sarcoid. Start. Chaos stood on the edge of the sea of clouds looking at the vast and boundless sea, holding the pure gold in the golden goose feather coat in his hand, and in an instant, it was like a small sun shining with dazzling golden light. Crocodile flew into the distance, and his right hand was deserted and raised high in the sky, forming a desert sword that towered into the clouds. He would need to cut the sarcoma off later. Chaos was intimidated by the overlord color on the front. Stuthy is still creating the scope and thickness of the White Sea. After all, a sarcoid the size of a small island is still full of gold, so the weight can be imagined. Betty has already held the golden flagpole and is using the fruit of encouragement to add buff to the crowd. It can be found that whether it is Stussy, Crocdal, or Chaos, there is a potential force that has been stimulated, and the breath is constantly rising. Akino didn't watch it either. He would punch the lantern fish when necessary, and everyone had a clear division of labor. Ten minutes passed. Twenty minutes passed. Boss, are you sure this thing can hook that guy? Betty had already stopped waving the flag, and looked at Chaos, who frowned, with a solitary look on his face. Shouldn't he be? Chaos also murmured a little. The original lantern fish was attracted by this pure gold, 
so it should have appeared. Come on. Said that the lantern fish lantern fish would arrive, and a large shadow poured into the sea in the distance, and its size could not be stewed in a pot. Whoa! A large amount of sea water was lifted to form a waterfall, and the lantern fish stuck out the huge head, and half of its body penetrated the white sea made by Stuthy. Chaos disappeared in an emergency, and when he appeared, he was already high in the sky, holding pure gold in front of him and staring at the lantern fish. Of course, in the eyes of the lantern fish, chaos is just a hair, and what attracts it is the pure gold that emits a thousand rays of light. Go. The four of them performed their respective duties. Chaos glared slightly, and the overlord color poured out without reservation, but the effect was not very big. There was no fear or shock in the giant eyes of the lantern fish, at most he noticed it. Chaos. For a large seeking like the lantern fish, Chaos's overlord color is still a lot worse. The only thing that can make it fear or obey orders may be the legendary ancient weapon Sea King. Super Large Desert Sword. Crocodile S right hand has become a desert sword, towering into the clouds with a length of nearly 10,000 meters. With the Tigger's buff, Crocodile feels a great power emerging from his body, and now it is time to let he broke into Marin Fando, and he also had the confidence to come and go freely. It slanted and swung down and went straight to the sarcoma branch of the lanternfish, but even the branch was as thick as a mountain billow and very hard. Oh! This time, the lanternfish felt huge pain, and the huge body began to twist, and the tsunami swept around it was almost like overturning the river. At this moment, in the lanternfish's body, the mantis king, the color-changing king, Ivankov, and the bear who had already been in a truce, suddenly changed their original frowning expressions. The sound of the lantern fish seems a bit miserable. Have you encountered a suplage seeking in the deep sea? Outside, chaos returned to life with steam floating all over his body. The golden halo behind him turned into a mace and was held in his hand. When he appeared, he was already in front of lantern fish's left face. A large amount of armed color was injected, and the mace began to burn golden red, like golden colored glass steaming with high temperature steam. On the right face of lanternfish, Akino also appeared out of thin air. Turned into a golden red sun, evaporated from the sea, grabbed a huge crimson ball with his right hand, and attacked at the same time as chaos. Golden molten fire and thunder gossip. Sun Apollo. One left and one right, the terrorist attack acted on the head of the lanternfish. You can see that the thick cheeks of the lanternfish sank for the first time, the blood vomited blood in the big mouth, and the eyes began to turn white. However, the strength on Chaos side is relatively large, so the huge fish head slammed towards Akino, so that Akino was hit and twisted his face, turning into a red streamer and disappearing. With this power, Crocodile roared and successfully cut off the stem of the sarcoid. Immediately, the entire small illan-sized sarcoma slammed into the white sea made by Stuthy in one fell swoop, almost unbearable. From the flushed face of Stussy, it can be seen that he has gone all out. Thanks to the buff blessed by Betty, this time Stutchy is stronger than ever. Boom! The lantern fish hit the sea heavily and the blood dyed the surroundings red in the blink of an eye. He didn't die, just fell into a short kuma. After all, the shape is there. Chaos appeared next to the sarcoid with a shave, and there was only a golden handle left in his hand. The golden melting fire was a bit of gold, and he needed to replenish it. The golden goose feather coat was transformed into a golden long sword in isolation and he directly cut through the flesh wall and walked in. Coming to the sarcoma, Chaos reached out and touched the nearest gold, and the medium reached it. After Chaos got out of the sarcoma, the golden halo had been erected again behind him, and there was also a sacred and solemn Sakya Muni. You to take this thing back first. Chaos looked at Stussy and Betty. Stussy nodded, and Betty pouted. Sure enough, 
it is still up to the old lady. Without her own buff, a stupid woman like Stuthy can't support this big sarcoma at all. The white sea began to rise slowly, but the speed was a little slow. Crocodile has already landed on the lanternfish, intending to enter the body to find Ivankor find the bear. Akino also flew back from the sky on the moon step, but he was a little embarrassed with the blood hanging from the corner of his mouth. Now the lanternfish is floating in the sea, it is a veritable island. At this time, Ivankov blinked his long eyelashes in the lanternfish. He didn't know what was going on just now, but now he suddenly calmed down, and his heart was a little sudden. Old bear, we won't be in another Neptune. Zin didn't speak, Fankiniandan didn't panic at all. The Mantis King and the Color Changing King in the distance are also discussing. The four of them have already fought, so they all look a little embarrassed. If the lanternfish suddenly sank to the bottom of the sea, and the mountain shook for some reason, they might still be fighting. It seems that you are still alive and well. A voice came from above, and all of them raised their heads. Ivankov breathed a sigh of relief when he saw the person coming. It's Crocodile. But the face of the Mantis King and the Color Changing King sank. Especially when Chaos and Akino also fell from the sky, their faces became even more ugly. X. Chapter 193 underscore this hit is a draw and a flat is dead for the cute master Linku plus 6. 20,210,106. Chapter 193 underscore this hit is a draw and a flat is dead for the cute master Linku plus 6. Golden Emperor. The Mantis King and the Color Changing King stood together, looking at Chaos, Crocodile, Akino, and Ivankov and the bear who fell on the open space, their eyelids kept twitching. With this faction alone, they were already at a disadvantage before they even started. Not easy to deal with. If it is a single person, the Mantis King has the confidence to kill it with overwhelming strength. This is not whimsical but has that kind of strength. After all, he is also the second helmsman of the explosive pirates, and the reward amount is as high as 1.236 billion. How can he get into this position and offer a reward without any ability? Golden Emperor, we. After thinking about it, the Mantis King does not like to do it directly. 2 to 5. He and the color changing king have a relatively small chance of winning. But before the words fell, a crimson sun appeared in front of him, holding the ball of light in his right hand and smashing at him overwhelmingly, a lot of steam rose around, and the air was already rippling. The surface also began to melt into a flowing liquid. It's a kino. People do NT talk much, just do it right. Where did all this crap come from? Boom. The powerful shock wave spread round, and the Mantis King covered the armed color with his right hand and hit Hakino head. With the crust of the surrounding explosion, he took a step back, and Akino went as fast as he came, with wind pressure on the spot. It flew out, causing a series of explosions. Hip hop. Ivankov's two regiments of 36 E swayed in the wind pressure, turned around and looked at the explosion behind them, and some did not react. The second helmsman of the explosion pirates, Mantis King Subic, has a bounty of 1.236 billion, which is quite a bit of skill. Crocodile was smoking a cigar, and his black fur coat was dancing wildly. Just blowing a kino up means nothing. The bear next to him was expressionless, and a huge transparent bear paw appeared on the head of his hands, which gradually became smaller as his hands were closed. This was preparing for a big move. No words needed, Crocodile and Ivankov also flew out and started. Chaos spit out a smoke ring, and grabbed Sakya Muni with his right hand in the air. A lump of gold turned into a mace and flew into his hand. With the injection of the armed forces, it began to splash with flames of gold and red. At the same time, the white mist also began to rise into the return of life staring at the Mantis King with all eyes on him. This made the Mantis King, who had already fought against Crocodile, 
horrified, as if being stared at by a wild beast, his hairs were blown up. The color-changing king wasn't much better, because the bear had his eye on him. So that the two could not fully devote themselves to the confrontation with Crocodile and Ivankov, but separated a lot of minds to be vigilant against Chaos and the bear. Boom! The Mantis King collided with Crocodile's desert sword, and his whole body began to change after the distance, his hands became huge sickle-shaped, and he entered a half-beast-shaped state. From the title of the Mantis King, we can see what kind of devil fruit ability he is. Fauna, insect species, praying mantis form. The color changing king in the distance is also maintained in a half beast shape, and it is perfectly integrated with the surrounding environment, and it is really impossible to find it for a while. Ivankov was on guard. Puchy Puchy. The high temperature rare waves continued to spread, and Akino climbed out of the magma clenched his right hand and leaned back, and a red circle appeared, which was a flick in the direction of Ivankov. In an instant, the surface separated to form a magma gully, and the green stomach acid lake was separated all the way, and Ivankov jumped out and cursed. Achino ignored Ivankov. After using the razor to flash one after another, the whole person was burning like a stove, and the surrounding vegetation and ruins all melted into liquid. This is forcing out the chameleon. Hiffop, found it. Death wink. Ivankov is also very good at grasping the timing. Although he is cursing, he understands what Akino means. Damn. Facing this shockwave of wink, the color-changing king was forced to show his body to dodge, but before he could breathe, a burning high temperature hit his face high temperature gun. Akino's eyes widened in anger, and he used the shave to appear on the side of the color changing king. The index finger and middle finger of his right hand were drawn together, and he pointed it out between the electric, light and flint, and two strands of red and white high temperature lasers were formed. The lethality is terrifying without thinking. The color changing king only felt a cold air rushing into the sky and even if he tried his best to dodge, he just split the key. The left shoulder was pierced like paper paste, and there was no blood splattering as expected, because the wound around the pierced wound was already fully cooked, and it was exuding the smell of meat. It also stifles resilience. The color-changing king endured the pain and swept his tail, and Akino raised his hand to stop it, but the force was a little strong and it turned into a cannonball and flew out on the spot. Explosion death wink. Ivankov was still very good at finding opportunities, and at the moment when the color changing king repelled Akino, his eyes widened and he wanted to break free from his sockets, and used the advanced version of the death wink. Boom. The shock wave this time was like a huge explosion of a bomb, and the color changing king shot out with smoke all over his body, and his image was a bit miserable. Bear's poor shock. But at this moment, a fatal crisis came. The bear teleport appeared, and there was a mini bear's paw in the palm of the hand, and it was so lightly pressed on the color changing king. What? The hysterical scream tore the eardrums, and the discoloration king was placed in the white bear's paw his face splattered with blood, and as the dazzling light lit up, a mushroom cloud began to rise. The lanternfish, who was already unconscious, suddenly opened his eyes and began to struggle violently. It feels like that whole stomach has exploded. On the other side, Chaos felt a violent shaking, and he knew that he couldn't drag it any longer. If you wait for the lanternfish to dive into the sea, you might end up at the bottom of the sea. Swish. The ground beneath his feet sank, and chaos disappeared in place. The Mantis King, who has been paying attention, sees chaos disappearing and the whole person is not good. Golden Molten Fire and Thunder Gossip. In the blink of an eye, chaos appeared in front of the Mantis King, and he didn't look like he was going to make a sneak attack. He held the burning golden red mace in both hands and swung it forward. The air was directly evacuated, and the mighty marched forward. 
Damn. The Mantis King's face was distorted, and the sickle-shaped hands covered all the armed colors, and there was no other way but to resist forcibly. At the moment of the collision, the Mantis King only felt a destructive force coming from the sky, but it was broken after a stalemate for a moment. Puff. The hands were bombarded on the chest, and with the sound of the depression, the Mantis King S7 orifices bleed and the whole body was carried by the golden ad explosion torrent and rushed towards the thick flesh wall of the lanternfish. Outside, the struggling lanternfish suddenly stopped, followed by a miserable roar. I saw a golden ad torrent rushing out from behind, running through the clouds for a long time, feeling that the whole body was torn apart. A large amount of blood water poured out like a waterfall, and the surrounding area was completely turned into a blood red ocean. The lantern fish no longer hesitated, and began to dive into the sea, and it would die if it continued like this. Just when the lantern fish was about to be submerged by the sea, Chaos and his party also escaped. As for the color changing king, it has disappeared with the lantern fish. Maybe not dead, maybe dead. Chaos looked up, and the Mantis King had already flown to a height of 10,000 meters, with a miserable image covered in blood. If he wasn't an animal capable person, and he had awakened, he might have been beaten to death by Chaos. The blade like hands were cracked, and the chest was sunken, but it was all recovering quickly. This is the hegemony of the animal awakened. Not only the vitality, but also the resilience. X. Chapter 194 underscore two or three tricks were forced to die, for the cute master Linku plus seven. Twenty million two hundred and ten thousand one hundred and six. Chapter 194 underscore two or three tricks were forced to die, for the cute master Linku plus seven. Boom. The air under Chaos's feet roared, and the whole person flew into the sky like a spiral arrow and a mace appeared in his hand again, bursting with fire and rising high temperature steam. Above the clouds, the Mantis King felt the extremely fast approaching chaos, and his pupils shrank with fear. The previous stick of the Golden Emperor gave him a lot of shadows. If it was empty for the recovery of the animal system, he would have died under that stick. Looking at the situation of the Golden Emperor now, I plan to give him a blow. Without the slightest hesitation, the Mantis King entered full beast form and turned into a streamlined mantis with a large knife in green and brown. It stretched out the thin wings behind it, and fled towards the sky with one fan. Want to run away? Chaos didn't expect the Mantis King to be so straightforward. The news that pure gold was in his hands could not be spread out. After all, his current strength was not enough to deal with it. Originally, because he has a lot of wealth, he has become an enemy all over the world. If the news of, pure gold, spreads, I am afraid that many forces will really seize him at all costs. At that time, the situation will be hell level. Now it is at most difficult level, and with one's own strength, he can still deal with it. If he rises to the level of hell, he will definitely be a calf. Although Chaos is arrogant and arrogant, he is not a brainless fool. The first condition is to save your life, and only under this premise will you go out and make waves, otherwise everything will be empty talk. Just give him a few years, and even if the news of pure gold spreads, he will have the confidence to face the difficulty of hell level, but it is not enough now. At present, the only people who know that pure gold is in his hands are the color changing king and the mantis king. As long as these two people die, neither the explosive pirates nor the world government will be sure, at most they are only suspicious. In this way, you will have some reservations, and you will have a lot of time to make yourself stronger. Therefore, if the mantis king wanted to leave, chaos would never allow it. Clang clang. The light wheel behind Chaos turned into a small flying knife, strangling out towards the Mantis King at the fastest speed with a sonic boom, the purpose was just to slow the pace of the Mantis King. 
and Chaos carried the golden molten fire mace and used the shave to flash one after another, so that the after images of Chaos left by the high speed were all over the sky, which looked a bit like a space jump. 100 meters in an instant, 100 meters in an instant. Golden Emperor, you deceive people too much. Several streaks of golden light surrounded the Mantis King to attack, those flying knives. This more or less affected the speed of the Mantis King, and the previous stick hadn't completely slowed down, so when Chaos caught up, the Mantis King's face was distorted. Stay. Golden Molten Fire and Thunder Gossip. Chaos appeared above the Mantis King, and clenched the mace in both hands and blasted it out in one fell swoop. In an instant, a golden torrent was formed and washed out towards the Mantis King. When it touched the first time, it was like a missile explosion, followed by a crimson mushroom cloud. Standing up, forming a halo and pushing away the surrounding clouds, the mighty is very horrified. In the billowing black smoke, the Mantis King fell to the sea covered in blood, his left hand disappeared, his face was damaged in large areas, and his breath plummeted. But not dead yet. On the contrary, the injury is still recovering but the speed is much slower than the first time. Just give him an hour, and he might be able to come alive. But chaos would not give him a chance. See types of profound truth, Emperor Spear. A large amount of steam spread all over his body, and chaos appeared in the sky with a contemptuous face, his hands were calyx shaped and aimed at the chest of the Mantis King, and the powerful force was constantly gushing and compressing. At this moment, the eyes of the Mantis King were full of fear. The whole soul is like falling into the ice cellar. Boom! A spiral shock wave collapsed on his chest, the Mantis King's face was hideous. His eyes were white and he couldn't stop vomiting blood. The entire chest had disappeared, and the spiral shock wave trend continued, falling straight into the sea below causing an explosion of landslides and fissures, and eventually form a bottomless vortex, reaching the bottom of the sea. Wootilda. A large amount of steam surrounded his body, and Chaos's chest kept heaving and he looked down at the collapsed sea below, and gradually withdrew from his life and returned. Whether it is physical strength or armed color, it is almost exhausted. Boss. Several people from Crocodile caught up and looked at the big hole under their feet that was constantly engulfing the sea water, and their minds were a little different. If this kind of attack hits them, can they withstand it? With a reward of 1.236 million, he was still an animal type awakening ability, so he was killed by two or three tricks. The consumption is a bit big, go back to the empty island. At the same time, Somewhere in the sea area, a thousand meters high in the sky, a bank came to an abrupt end. Gottlieb looked at the burning life paper in his hand, and the blood cut vertical pupils were full of coldness. Subic is dead. Looking at the direction of the last movement of the life paper, a huge explosion occurred under Gottlieb's feet, a halo of pressure appeared behind him, and then disappeared into the clouds at a speed exceeding the speed of sound but Gottli was destined to come back in vain. Holy land, Mary Yo! It's the Golden Emperor again. In the office, the birthmark Wu Loxing had a sullen face, and slapped him on the desk very angry. This time, it can be said that the loss is heavy. The broken CP0 alone is as high as side digits, especially the tenth. In the end nothing was found. The information obtained is only guesswork. Lanternfish appeared. The Golden Emperor and the Mantis King and the color changing King of the Exploding Pirates entered the body of the Lanternfish. It is uncertain whether, pure gold, really exists, or whether it was obtained by the Golden Emperor and the Mantis King. Keep an eye on the Golden Emperor and the Exploding Monarch. Wu Lok Sing with long straight hair frowned. Compared with the news of pure gold, the CP0 loss this time is the biggest loss. Panglins, macaques, squirrels, saber-toothed tigers, and pterodactyls all took a lot of resources and time to cultivate, 
especially no. 10. Dawn breaks, and a new day comes. Empty Island. The Island of the Gods, a Payado. Golden Palace. Chaos walked out of the steaming hot tub, and a pair of gold pants flew from the reclining chair in the distance. Chaos walked on the golden floor with bare feet. The golden gates carved with various exquisite patterns opened automatically, and Betty's swearing and the noise of others came, making the vast and luxurious golden hall not seem deserted. Boss, morning. Hearing the sound, Stuthy chewed the food out of his mouth gracefully, then turned to look at Chaos and greeted him. So are others. Yeah? Chaos sat at the head of the golden long table and started to enjoy breakfast with a knife and fork. Betty, who had stopped fighting, started fighting with Ivan Korf again. Cough cough cough. When Chaos was about to eat, he drank a glass of red wine to moisten his throat, tapped the table with one hand and coughed. Seeing all the eyes looking over, Chaos waved at the wall in the distance, and then the wall wriggled and stretched out a branch. There was a tray on it, and there was a pure gold blooming with dazzling golden light. Peanut size. When I came back to the empty island last night, Chaos asked us to be divided. Crack. Chaos snapped his fingers again, and the tray wriggled into sirings. He began to cover the pure gold with only a small gap in the inner wall, and then flew to the sea people one after another. The same wealth. Chaos set down a cigar, leaned back against the golden seat, blew smoke rings, and glanced at the sip people. Boss, are you really sure that this thing can prolong life and preserve youth forever? Betty was not as excited as she had imagined, and was still very suspicious. Love or not? Chaos couldn't help rolling his eyes. Yes, why not? Betty quickly put the ring on, looked back and forth very satisfied. The others didn't say anything, and they all put on rings one after another. Who doesn't want to live longer? X. Chapter 195 underscore He is still a child, for the cute master Linku plus 8. 20,210,106. Chapter 195 underscore He is still a child, for the cute master Linku plus 8. Comfortable. The sun was pouring down in the afternoon, Betty was sitting on the reclining chair in the golden plaza, looking at the sea of clouds and islands below, sipping coffee with her snow white legs crossed, feeling very comfortable. After breakfast in the morning, everyone dispersed. Crocodile, Archino, and Bear seemed to have gone to the depths of the island to practice. She and Ivankov sat here enjoying a pleasant time, drinking coffee while looking at the sea of clouds and islands below. The legendary empty island turned out to be their base camp. I have to say she loves this place. Later, she plans to go shopping on Angel Island below. The people in the sky here actually have wings and have many novel cultures. Hip Hop. Ivan Korf still wears so revealing hot eyes. What did the boss do with that stupid woman? Betty yawned, and after having breakfast this morning, Chaos left with Stutchy, and has not come back yet. She was a little curious. The screen shifts, a certain 10 meter high altitude. On a white cloud, Chaos was smoking a cigar, with Stutchy by his side. Boss, are you sure there are other empty islands? Stuthy tilted his head to look at Chaos. They had been out for several hours and had not found any other empty islands. But Chaos was convinced that there were other empty islands, and even knew what they were called. Beaker. It was also said that there was a person with the ability of the natural type, Thundering Fruit, a very arrogant and arrogant young man. Know the name too. Ernie Road. Pretty sure. Chaos subconsciously moved the gold earrings and every time he returned to the empty island, he would inspect it, but he had not found any trace of Beaker in the previous few times, so let alone Anilu. Could it be that Beaker has been moving? Otherwise it can't be explained. 
Stuffy brushed the hair from his forehead to his ears, still a little dubious about what Chaos said. She has never forgotten what Chaos said when he said that he would predict the future. Moreover, he also learned from Ivankov about the matter of looking for pure gold. Along the way, Chaos was familiar with the road, as if he knew where the pure gold was. If this time he really finds the Sky Island named Bika, and there is a boy named Inalu, who is also an Atura type Thunder Fruit person, then Stuthy's dubious belief will definitely become a firm belief. After all, this kind of thing cannot be explained other than predicting the future. Chaos has already extended his knowledge to the limit, and that range is huge. After all, from the awakening to the present, it has been developing in the direction of scope around the clock. I don't know if I was lucky this time. After searching for a few hours, Chaos's knowledge finally found a sign. Taking a moment to pass through cloud after cloud, as the line of sight widened, what appeared in the eyes of Chaos and Stuthy was an island floating in the White Sea. Really has. Stuthy looked at this green and vibrant island, which was similar to the Island of the Gods, and there were many Sky Islanders living on it. Some have wings and some have no wings. Looks like I'm lucky this time. Chaos looked into the depths of Beaker Island, where there was a breath, and there was a flash of lightning just now. It seems that the man who claimed to be a god in the future and was killed by the plot has already eaten the fruit of the thunderbolt. In the depths of the island at this moment, ancient trees towering into the sky and beasts roaring again and again, a thirteen or fourteen year old boy was sitting cross-legged in the middle of a mountain stream, with his upper body naked and emitting electric light. With clear eyebrows and handsome eyes, a proper wild and beautiful boy. It's just that there is always a trace of ill will in the depths of his eyes, and his personality may not be as harmless to humans and animals as his face shows. On the contrary, it can be very rebellious, or a bad boy. However, thinking of the miserable life of childhood, and even destroying Beaker in the future, is not enough. Zizi. Anila looked at his palm, the arc flashing full of violent energy, since he ate the strange fruit. He had this power, and as he continued to use it, he found that this power was getting stronger and stronger. Today, as usual, he will come here to master this power. Those who bully him will definitely pay the price. The hatred and revenge in my heart are increasing every day. Young man, what are you confused about? A voice sounded without warning, and suddenly Anilu shivered. Looking at the voice, Enel's expression was slightly stunned. I saw a holy and handsome man and an immortal woman slowly falling from the sky and looking at him with a smile. The costumes of these two people are very impactful, sacred and extraordinary, overflowing with immortal energy. Stuthy's face was cold, but she could see clearly just now that there was an arc flashing in the boy's hand, which was really predicted by the boss. Young man, do you want to hang out with me? With a cigar in his mouth, Chaos looked at the thirteen or fourteen year old Anilu, trying to kidnap him like a bad uncle. Such a potential player, with a little training, is a strong man who can reach the top of the pyramid. In the whole pirate chapter, the opponents that Wang Luffy defeated were Inalu and Crocodile. It was arranged. Chaos has a bad taste. He would like to see if Crocodile and Anilu, who were trained by him, can be killed when they meet Wang Luffy in the future. Who are you? Anilu came back to his senses and was very vigilant. So much so that blue arcs began to appear on his body, and the crackling had a strong deterrent effect. At least for ordinary people and animals. The noble person who guides you to the peak of life. Chaos carried one hand on his back and a gust of breeze made the golden goose feather coat and vertical hair flutter. The golden light wheel behind him turned, giving him a sense of dignity and handsomeness. HMPH, I don't know you guys. Anilo stepped back gradually, very vigilant. These two look so weird. ULL no right away. Clap. As soon as Chaos's words fell, 
a large number of arcs burst out of Anilu's body, and he shot directly at Chaos. That little tyrant is also very fierce. Anilu is very confident, he once used this move to defeat the giant beast in the mountains, Kodora. Watching the thunder with thick arms rushing, Chaos just waved his hand and flew away. The thunder came and went quickly, and it passed directly by Anilu, causing a small explosion in the jungle behind him. Anilu still didn't react. That guy just slapped his attack away just now? How is this possible? That is divine thunder. Crackling. More and more ux flashed on Anilu, wanting to continue attacking. However, Chaos did not give Anilu another chance. His eyes narrowed slightly, and the overlord rushed towards Anilu with a strong and domineering look, and the entire venue could be heard dropping a needle at once. Anilu's eyes widened, and the arc that flashed on his body disappeared. As he turned up, he fell to the ground neatly. He is still a child. Do your research and see if you can bring this island closer to the empty island. Stunning Anilu at a glance, Chaos looked at Stuthy and wanted to integrate Beaker into the Sky Island. It shouldn't be enough with my current ability, but I can guide you. Stuthy felt it, and was not too sure. Maybe give her a few more years, not to mention moving Beaker, even moving the entire Sky Island. Don't worry about it, go back first. The knowledge and color have already scanned the entire Beaker and there are no other problems. According to the direction of Beaker's current movement, sooner or later, it will border the Sky Island. Even if they don't have borders, Stuthy can guide them in the future. Anyway, the main goal has been grasped. X. Chapter 196 underscore it's just a small operation, for the cute Master Linku plus 9. 20,210,106. Chapter 196 underscore it's just a small operation, for the cute master Linku plus 9. Boss, where did you to kidnap the kid? In the golden plaza of the Island of God, Betty sat up from the reclining chair, pulled down her sunglasses and looked at Chaos and Stuffy who were on the ground. How come two people go out once and come back with three? The key is still a young man. Although Ivankov did not speak, his eyes were also full of questions. Could it be that this teenager is going to be one of them? Otherwise, the boss will not bring back a child for no reason. Don't underestimate it, this child yet the natural type Thunderfruit. Stuthy said, although Anilu is a child now, he only needs to give him four or five years and he can become a small powerhouse just by relying on the thunder fruit. If it is said that the strongest in the superhuman system is the Jensen fruit, then in the natural department, the thunder fruit is the most respected. But it is just a rumor. What? The legendary natural element? Ivankov was really startled. On the other hand, Betty didn't feel anything, and maybe she didn't know the value of the thunder fruit. Where did you abduct you from? Another empty island. Are there really other empty islands? Why not? Make a fuss. Stupid woman. What are you proud of? Am I proud? Looking at the two women who were arguing again, Cosley ignored Anilu and flew to the Golden Palace? Anilu had a dream. He dreamed that he ate a very strange fruit, and then he had the power to control lightning, just like a god. When he was about to kill those who bullied him, and even destroy Beaker, a man and a woman suddenly descended from the sky. The man is handsome and gorgeous, and doesn't look like a serious person. It was the woman next to her, with a towering murder weapon, snow white slender thighs, high heels and a short dress, with a white cloud belt in her hands, and a very delicate face. But no matter how beautiful a woman is, she is also an enemy because this man and woman are here to stop him from taking revenge. So he wants to kill both of them. But who would have thought that the man was so strong that he would resolve his attack with a single slap, and then released an invisible attack, and then he woke up. 
I heard the banging of the plate and the noisy sound, accompanied by scolding. When he turned his head, there was a long golden table covered with delicious food. So people were enjoying it, and two of them were making noise. Yo! Wake up! You can really sleep, it's getting dark. So pairs of eyes swept over, and Anilo jumped up subconsciously, flashing arcs all over his body, watching everyone vigilantly. He recognized it. The man who was eating in the first place was the guy who couldn't wake up when he stared at him during the day. And that woman. It's really the fruit of thunder. In this way, there are three natural ability people in our group. It's a pity it's just a child. Too weak. Are you really going to be a member? What do you say? Although it is very weak now, you may not be able to do it in the future. What did you say, do you want to fight? Just hit. Before saying a few words, some people started to blush and thicken their necks again. Who the hell are you? Anilu was a little nervous, because he felt that these people were dangerous, it was an instinct. Especially that man, who made himself faint with just one look. Come here to eat something, you will be your own from now on. Betty patted the golden chair that was wriggling on the ground next to her, like a prostitute trying to lure the ignorant beautiful boy. Smiling is a little sinister no matter how you look at it. Anyway, that's how it was in Anilu's eyes. So Anilu was unmoved, and could only look at the group of people coldly. On the surface, the arrogant group was actually a little flustered and he was constantly scanning the surrounding environment with his peripheral vision, trying to find a way to leave. However, this observation found that everything in the entire hall was actually made of gold. Hip hop, I don't think boys are cute at all. Ivan Korf glanced up and down Anilu, and then his eyes were full of light. The entire richest group, except for chaos, has been murdered by him. Although the price paid is to see hell several times, as the purpose culture says, only by being infinitely close to death can we understand the true meaning of life. Swish. Ivan Korf did what he thought of, stood up from the chair, the nails of his right hand suddenly became longer and flashed with a cold light, and Yankiki stepped on the sky high and walked towards Aini Road. Others, including Chaos, did not stop. After all, now I need to help Anilu recognize the reality. What do you want to do? Anilu's body crackled and arcs flashed, and there was a chill in his heart. Because he could see Ivan Korf's whole body clearly, the upper body was an angel, and the lower body was a pervert. It won't hurt, it's just a minor operation, and it's over in no time. Ivan Korf spoke softly, no matter how he looked at it. He was not a normal person. The rice wife. Anilu's eyes widened in anger. His entire right arm turned into a blue thunder, and he punched Ivankov, then formed a huge arc and rushed towards Ivankov. The entire hall suddenly lit up with dazzling light. If up, missed. Ivankov stood on one foot and turned in a circle. Clap. Enel's eyes were full of anger. Ivan Korf's provocative behavior with hot eyes is too much. One arc after another rushed towards Ivan Korf, but was easily dodged each time. He also spins, jumps and dances ballet, and he can smell the coquettish smell even from a distance. Damn. Anila had never been so angry before, the other party didn't take him seriously, the anger rose up layer after layer so much that the lightning volts went up. Discharge. Anilu roared, and shot a large number of arcs without dead ends, completely blocking the entire space. This time Ivan Korf could not escape. Artilda. A groan that didn't know whether it was comfortable or painful sounded, I saw Ivan Korf in the electric light, and the skeleton frame was exposed. As the crackling arc disappeared, Wisps of black smoke rose from Ivan Korf's body, and the deep purple smooth waves also turned into explosive heads, returning to a Shemel hairstyle. Anilu stared at Ivan Korf tightly, a hint of pride flashing on his face. 
the mere metamorphosis is not his opponent at all. It's a pity that Anilu was not happy yet. Ivankov, who had been standing still with his head lowered, suddenly put his hands on his face and made a face, Hiffop, it's useless at all, am I surprised or surprised? As far as Anilu's current lightning volt is concerned, it is no different from scratching a tickling. In the face of Ivankov's insulting provocation, Anilu's forehead bulged with blue veins, and the arc on his body rose like a blazing sun, and at the same time, there was Anilu's hysterical anger. I'm going to kill you. But as soon as the words fell, Anilu turned into a shrimp, and the whole angry face turned hideous, and the mouth retched for a while. Ivankov appeared in front of him at an unknown time, punching his abdomen and Anilu felt that his whole internal organs were twisted together. The most important thing is that he did not see Ivankov's movements clearly. Ambryo Estrogen. Four sharp claws pierced into Enel's waist in one fell swoop. With the injection of female hormones, Enel's slender body began to change. Especially the flat chest, which began to bulge into his long bow, and then turned into a small steamed bun. The delicate face also began to be more refined. At the same time, the thing began to sag and gradually transformed into a gap. In just a few breaths, a delicate and lovely girl stood in the hall with her clothes slipping off. X. Chapter 197 Underscore Raised as a Girl, for the Cute Master Linku Plus 10. 20,210,106. Chapter 197 Underscore Raised as a Girl, for the Cute Master Linku Plus 10. PFFT Tilda. Chaos almost spit out the red wine in his mouth, looking at Anila who had completely changed. His pupils dilated slightly. The original light golden short hair has reached the waist, and the shawl is soft and lush, like the hairstyle of a beautiful girl in the second dimension. The delicate face is also more delicate, the eyebrows and the corners of the eyes have become slender, the nose is high and the pink lips, the snow white neck down, the unobstructed small steamed buns, the flat and slender waist of the water snake, and the original clothes are half covered and half exposed. Absolute realm. Overall it is super kawaii. A proper todimensional beautiful girl. The wild kind. At a glance, you can see that the body is delicate and soft and easy to be pushed down. This kind of kawaii girl paper only exists in imagination. But now it is alive. The rest of the people were also in shock, but they were all just admiring or watching a play, and there was no so called desire. Although everyone was young, this kind of thing happened a lot. After all, it is not without set change. The body structure of men and women is the same, no fuss. What have you done to me? Anila looked down at his bulging chest, subconsciously touched the absolute realm, the whole kawaii face turned white all of a sudden, and immediately covered his mouth and stared at his beautiful big eyes. His voice became thin. Obviously a female voice. Hiffop, the surgery was a success, and the hormone injection was just right. Ivankov turned around in place, looking at Anilu very satisfied. He thinks that girl paper is more suitable for Anilu, after all, this picture is so cute now. What have you done to me? Anilu's sound was gradually raised, the pale and tender face became angry, and a large number of arcs appeared on his body again. Even if he is angry, he is so kawaii. I'm going to kill you. Discharge. Anilu even had the heart to die, and she didn't know if it was an illusion. After she became a girl, she actually felt ashamed. She put her left hand in front of Zamantu and knew how to cover it up. Can't hit. Can't hit. Ivankov danced the ballet and danced back and forth, easily dodging the attack of Anilu. Anilu's eyes were red, and the more he fought, the more angry he became. Hip hop. Ivankov jumped into the air and made a difficult flying posture. 
two lumps of 36 e were almost thrown on his face. After landing, he stood on one foot and turned in circles. Skyrim. An isle behind him is like an angry thunder beast, constantly releasing thunder and lightning. But even hitting Ivankov is useless, because this Volt can't do damage to Ivankov at all. Any road now. Truly a scumbag. It's very interesting. Stuthy covered his mouth and chuckled, looking at the two who were chasing and felt very interesting. Otherwise, be a girl and raise it? Betty was even more astonishing. Crocodile, Aquino, including the bear or looked at Betty like the devil. Is this what people say? Why are you looking at me like that? Our group has only two and a half women and four and a half men. Shouldn't it be balanced? Betty was very displeased with the eyes of the three of Crocodile, and slapped the table with brows, very pungent. Bear and Aquino continued to eat, not wanting to argue with Betty. It's useless even if you win, because this stupid woman will definitely do it in the end. Crocodile pouted and said nothing. Boss, what do you say? Seeing that the three of Crocodile were silent, neither opposed nor supported, Betty directly set her eyes on Chaos. Wootilda. Chaos set fire to a cigar, and habitually flipped the gold earrings, looking at Anila who was chasing Ivankov in shame and anger in the wide hall, he had the slightest impulse to agree with Betty. It has nothing to do with anything else, just because the beautiful girl Anila is more pleasing to the eye and has a more contrasting cuteness. Chaos felt that he was also a little psychopathic. It may be that those who are close to Juarred and those who are close to Inkar Black and have been with these people for a long time. If you are raised as a girl, are you sure you won't be beaten to death in the future? It's not that Chaos looks down on the combat effectiveness of Betty and Ivankov, but that Anilu's potential is too high. The Thunder Fruit is no joke. It may not be four or five years before the combat power will reach the level of the top three in the group. Especially in such a shameful situation, a man would try to force himself to practice cultivation to death, and then take revenge. The current Enelu is only thirteen or fourteen years old at most. If he is as wild as the original book, he may not be able to do Betty and Ivankov in four or five years. Different. Boss. I'm sexy. Betty sneered, and didn't take Chaos's words to heart at all. She fluttered the purple hair in front of her forehead, the very round and snow white murder weapon, showing her fascinated confidence. She is also a fighting queen. I have repeatedly emphasized that the group is not one word, and in that case, the minority should obey the majority. Pinch those who agree, and don't pinch those who disagree. The golden long table wriggled out fist-sized pieces of gold, and a golden boss stood in the center. Betty was the first to pick up the gold and pinched a fingerprint and threw it in. Then the same goes for Crocodile et al. After everyone voted, Chaos looked a little weird. He swears that he has absolutely no covert operation. As all the gold flew out, there were fingerprints all over it. That is to say, Crocodile. Bear, Archino, Stuffy, and Betty all agreed to raise Anilu as a girl. Cough. Chaos coughed, because Betty was looking at him with contempt. He also agreed. Passed unanimously. Enel's future was decided so happily. If you want to change, maybe you have to wait until Ivankov can do it in the future. Have to speak up. Whoever said that there is no normal person in this group? Just like that, two days passed. In the past two days, the entire island of God has been thundering and thundering without stopping, and Anilu was devastated. In addition to resting, he attacked Ivankov for Betty. Needless to say, Ivankov turned him into the culprit of the beautiful girl. Needless to say, Betty was the culprit who decided to raise him as a beautiful girl. The two were in the same league and were the enemies of Anila for life. The rest are also accomplices. In the afternoon, the sun is shining softly and the wind is sunny. It's a very nice weather. Angel Island, 
the most prosperous street, lovely street, and open-air coffee shops on the street, a landscape that frequently attracts attention, especially the rate of return of some men, 100%. Stuthy and Betty sat together and rarely did not quarrel. Instead, enjoy afternoon tea and coffee in harmony. Whether it's Stussy or Betty, they're both beautiful today. Dressed sexy and mature, and wearing high heels, black stockings, hip skirt and so on. Next to the two women, there was a calm but still kawaii beautiful girl who was forced to wear a princess dress and delicate makeup, exuding cuteness and youth. Echoing with Betty's sexy and Stuthy's maturity, it is completely for all ages. It's just that Danilo is in a bad mood. Since he became a girl, he doesn't know if the female hormones have played a role, so that his psychology has begun to change. At first, Danilo hadn't found it, but after finding it, he thought deeply. In addition to this, there is the bracelet on his wrist. I don't know what it is, but it actually made him lose the power of lightning and made him weak. Instead of sitting on a chair now, it is better to say that he is paralyzed on the chair. It's a little difficult to even move a finger. Dash give me a few more days, and then I'll feel like I'm okay again. Starting point, deep buckle, bright unknown starry sky, 500 starting coins, book friends, 392 starting coins, J.H. Song, 200 starting coins, whistling, 123 starting coins, book friends 2020816223003 to 9, trust and freedom, I want to be one bastard, 100 starting coins. X. Chapter 198 underscore he's a weakling. 20,210,107. Chapter 198 underscore he's a weakling. What the hell is this? Forced to go shopping with Stuthy and Betty, Anilu's delicate and tender face had the characters, someone beside me, written all over it, and it could be seen from a distance that he was in a bad mood. He was curious about this thing on his wrist. He had always thought that his lightning power was bestowed by God, and he was the only one in the world. But after joining this perverted group, he realized that he was a little bit watching the sky. Those guys are as strong as monsters, and he can't beat any of them. Especially wearing this thing, it feels like I'm going to die. Hail she, something that specializes in containing devil fruits. Stixie picked up the afternoon coffee, and his demeanor was full of pleasing to the eye. The queen fan had disappeared, and now the temperament displayed was that of a royal sister a mature, a white and rich, and a young woman. For men it is the poppy. Your power to control thunder and lightning is not given by the gods, but because of the devil fruit, which is something that looks like a fruit but has strange patterns on it. It's hard to eat. Through these two days of contact, Stuchy probably got to know Annie Lou. Common sense is a blank slate. The reason why I brought Anilu out today is to talk about some common sense. The devil fruit you at is called the thunder fruit, which belongs to the nature department. There are three types of devil fruits. Correspondingly, there are three colors of domineering, armed color, knowledge color, and overlord color. This is the armed color, and it is also the reason why Ivan Korf can attack you. The elementalization of the natural ability person is in addition to the sea tower and the sea, and the armed color is also restrained. The other thing is seeing and hearing, you can check it. There are also millions of middle-aged people who have the aptitude of a king that can be awakened by one person. It is called the overlord color. Our vanity boss has the overlord color, which is the kind of courage and will that instantly kills you with a glance when you meet for the first time. On the vast and boundless sea below, there are many devil fruits with strange abilities, as well as swordsmanship, physical skills and other cultivation methods, and there are also many races. Are we very powerful in your eyes? But I can tell you that there are people below us who are stronger than us, but according to the boss's temper, 
those people will eventually become our stepping stones. Anyway, he it is impossible to keep a low profile. Stuthy was slow, and explained to Anilu in a soft voice. In the process, he also showed Unyun fruits and armed colors. Although Anilu was in a very uncomfortable mood, she still listened carefully. Whether he admits it or not, he is a weak scum at the moment. There is no ability to resist anyone. The only thing he can do is try his hardest. Next, Anilu walked with Stuchy and Betty for another hour, and then the three returned to the Island of Gods. It's time for Enel to practice. When you come to the mountain behind the Island of God, that is, behind the Golden Palace, there is a huge mountain of gold floating on the White Sea, and there are all kinds of training equipment made of gold. There are big and small. It is a golden training ground specially built by Goes. There are already people practicing. From Enel's point of view, these two people are a little more normal. Called Archino and the Bear. But this man named Akino is a little crazy. No matter when, apart from eating and sleeping, he seems to be cultivating all the time. For example, right now, with a huge golden cube on his back, he is doing push ups sweating profusely, and the bear is quietly reading a book not far away, not sure what type it is. Wearing this seafloor stone bracelet on the wrist. He'll give it to you to be for dinner. Betty left Anilu and left. The current teaching about Anilu is one person per day. The bear kept staring at the book without lifting it. Tomorrow is his turn, today is a chemo teaching. Boom. The huge golden square smashed to the ground, and the whole ground seemed to vibrate. Akino stood up gasping for breath, glanced at Anilu who had put on a three-point training uniform, walked to a pile of gold equipment, and picked out a golden chain stone pier, which was about ten square meters. With one hand, he pulled it in front of Anilu with ease. No matter what ability, the physical foundation is the most important. You pull it back and forth twice. The entire cultivation square is a huge square, with a length of 10,000 meters from left to right, and 20,000 meters into rounds. Anila looked at the huge golden chain stone pier, Kawaii's face was calm. In order to take revenge for Xuin to become a man, he could not ask for anything in the mere practice. Taking the chain from Makino's hand, Anilu started to work hard with high fighting spirit, but... Don't move. Although Anilu blushed, the golden stone pier did not move. Now Anilu is wearing a seafloor stone bracelet, but he can only stand, even when walking. His legs are shaking slightly, and his body is completely hollowed out. Change this. Akino was expressionless and found a small one again. This time, Anila took out the strength to suckle and began to slowly pull. I was out of breath after only two steps, and I lost all the energy in my body. But Anila insisted. Take a breather and continue to practice. He will definitely become a man again, and beat that dead pervert and exhibitionist to the point where he can't take care of himself. In the blink of an eye, the sun went down and it got dark. Anilu walked out of the bathroom and came to the main hall wearing cool clothes. The long golden table was already filled with delicious food, and many people had already arrived. The man in the first place is also there. He sat silently in his own seat and started directly. Consumed a bit more today. Da -da 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 -da. With the crisp and loud sound of high heeled shoes, Stuthy walked in from the outside with a stack of documents, and a strong woman's breath came over her face. If you match it with black stockings, white rimmed glasses, a hip packed skirt and a white shirt, and then twist your hair up, it will be a completely cold and ghoul female president. Boss, I have already sorted out the information you want. Walking on the catwalk to his place, Stuthy handed the information in his arms to Chaos, as well as others, including Anilu. Crocodile stopped a few times to eat, took the information and read it. Tobacco Man Thatchter. King of Enslavement, Karidastlo. 
Woman, Medusa. See King Amit. Big News Morgans. The King of Usury, Defeld. Warehouse Sona, Hyder, Kibson. Funeral Home Magnet Drago Pikello. Underworld Boss? Looking at each piece of information, the forces involved are really not small. In particular, Tobacco Man Saki T, who controls 60% of the world's tobacco business, and has cooperated with Tianlong people, Beast Pirates and many kingdoms. The relationship network can be described as complicated. Every year, the Tianlong and the Hundred Beasts Pirates each provide three layers of profits. With these two layers, the Four Seas, the Great Root, and the New World are almost all black and white. The Tobacco Man is very clever and uses a lot of money to tie the Dragon and Beast Pirates to his chariot, so that they can travel unimpeded on the sea. There is also the enslavement King Kalida Storo, the world's largest slave hunting group, behind which is also the Tianlong people who monopolize 60% of the world's market share and are even more rampant than the tobacco people. The profits of slaves can be greater than that of the tobacco business. Then there is the charming woman Medusa, who is in the business of drugs and medicines, and has a relationship with the Big Mom pirates and the Tianlong people, just like the tobacco people. Use huge amounts of money to expand, black and white take all. At present, the power of these three people is the largest in the underground world. Future underground kings like Big News Morgans and the King of Usury are still unable to compete with these three. X. Chapter 199 Underscore Who Do We Kill First? 20,210,107. Chapter 199 Underscore Who Do We Kill First? Boss. Are you ready to attack these people? Crocodile lit a cigar, blew a smoke ring after a sip, and leaned back on the golden chair to show the temperament of a big man, and he held it tightly. As for the forces behind these, it involves the Tianlong people, the Beast Pirates, the Big Mom Pirates, etc. He didn't pay attention to it at all. I haven't felt a heartbeat and excitement for a long time. Who do we kill first? Betty was just around the corner, and also did not take these forces into consideration. Chaos tapped the table with one hand, looked away from the information, and considered it. The King of Lone Sharks and the Big News are not in their early years. The Tobacco Man, the Slave King, and the Charming Woman are the big ones. Chaos doesn't think it is too difficult to kill these three people. What he thought was not just to kill the three, but to swallow the power of the three, which was the most difficult. Especially digestion. The main backers behind the tobacco man are the heavenly dragons and the beast pirates. As for the other kingdoms of chaos, they ignore him directly and cannot threaten him. The enslaved king was even raptured, and behind it was the world government. As for the immorous woman, I found the old woman Big Mom and the world government. They are all smart people. If you want to eliminate these three people, you must be prepared to fight against the world government, the beast pirates, and the big mom pirates. Even if these three people fall, they may not be able to fully digest the remaining business and power, and it will still take a lot of time. Tell me your opinion. Chaos looked at the crowd, and he already had a plan in his heart. Isn't it enough to solve all of them? Crocodile flicked the ashes without thinking too much. Boss means swallowing up the opponent's power, not just killing. Stoozy picked up the hot coffee and gave Crocodile a blank look. Wanting to kill is actually very simple. But what Chaos wanted was obviously not to enslave the heads of the kings, but the business is under his banner and the right to speak in the underground world. Although the world's personal force is beyond the table, it is no problem for one person to destroy a country, but after all, it is more convenient to have power. For example, the world government can completely set rules in order, and every move can affect the life and death of countless people. Even if the individual's force is on the table, it is easy to clean up you. 
one person can never fight against a group of people. Are we capable of digesting one of these forces now? Chaos looked at Stuchy and said that it was one of the Tobacco Man, the Slave King and the Charming Woman. In the future, the business related to the underground world must be in charge of Stuxy, who is the spokesperson of Chaos. Moreover, Stuthy has the talent of a female president. Now Chaos is worried about whether the Red Light District has the ability to swallow a force, not all of it, at least half of it. It's going to be a complicated thing. Stuthy was lost in thought, thinking about the energies she currently possesses. Boss, you are treated differently, why should you leave everything to this stupid woman? I can also be a queen, or a sexy queen. Betty was upset. Looking at the meaning of the boss, in the future, the power of the richest group in the underground world will be handed over to Stuxy to take care of it. Is this worth it? Looking down on her dancing queen? She can do anything that stupid woman can do. Chaos looked up at Betty and glanced up and down. Betty is definitely capable, there is no doubt about this. After all, the future is the commander of the Eastern Army of the Revolutionary Army. If he can become the commander of an army, it means that Betty also has a talent for management. Maybe not so much worse than Stutzy. Facing Chaos's gaze. Betty was quite a snow white hemisphere, and snorted very proudly. If that's the case, then let you try. Chaos did what he thought and decided to tap Betty's talent in this area. Regarding the underground world, two people are better. Avoid Stussy's favor. Then get ready and leave the day after tomorrow. Chaos threw out a piece of information, and the photo on it was a charming woman, Medusa. This will be the first target of the richest group. Persimmons still have to be bullied by the soft ones. Aside from the world government, Big Mom is either pregnant or on the way to pregnancy, so it is easier to deal with. It is the best way to kill chickens and warn monkeys. The business of the amorous woman is to deal in various drugs and medicines, and everything related to medicine is involved, from cultivating herbal medicines, manufacturing medicines, and selling medicines, it is all one s-stop. No matter what world it is in, the pharmaceutical industry is profiteering. In particular, there are thousands of countries in the pirate world, and some war-torn countries are just in need. The market share occupies 40% of the world. Chaos does not seek to swallow all the market share, but he must have 10%. It is completely predictable that if you take away the amorous woman, or even Anit, the world government, the big mom pirates, and other powerful kingdom forces will never sit idly by. The amorous woman will give the big mom pirates two layers of pure profits and three layers of the world government every year. No one will give up such huge interests. So you need to be prepared to have a bad relationship with the big mom pirates. As for the world government, they are already old friends. There are other forces, or ghosts and snakes who want to come out and get a piece of the pie. These are all troubles. Then I'll go get ready. Stu's eye has a serious face, she needs to inform the red light district, and when the power of the immorous woman disintegrates, it will quickly annie drug stores, medicine fields and so on all over the world. New world kilometer high. The floating island group, the base camp of the flying sky pirates. Admiral, I have bad news for you. The crisp sound of high heels hitting the ground, Black Widow Eliza painted delicate makeup, wore framed glasses and professional black silk clothing, her tea swayed back and forth as she walked, and her long green and red wavy hair was also fluttering. Standing by the swimming pool at the moment, looking at the man smoking a cigar on the lounger. Jai ha ha ha. What unfortunate thing. The golden lion was blowing smoke rings. The taste of this cigar was not very pure, and it was a little difficult to smoke. Belloa, Ugg, and Stricker failed to recruit the Roger pirates, and there was a conflict, so unfortunately they died. Eliza pushed up her glasses, showing no emotion at all about the deaths of the three of them. 
the three were the 18th Fleet Captain Alligator Belloa, the 16th Fleet Captain Sewing Manug, and the 16th Fleet Captain Wheeler Tricker. The bounties are all over 400 million baileys, and they are all Devil Fruit abilities. Fauna Crocodile Fruit, Superman Type Sewed Fruit, Superman, Wheel Fruit. But now they are all buried under the sea. Jai ha ha ha. The golden lion laughed wildly, unable to tell whether it was joy or anger, and changed the subject inexplicably. Is there any news from the golden emperor? No, but I've investigated something, and it's also related to the explosive pirates and the world government. Eliza's face was a little dignified. As the intelligence leader of the Flying Sky Pirates, she has been following the whereabouts of the Golden Emperor. What happened on Momigat Island two days ago caught her attention. Tell me. The Explosion Pirates, the Golden Emperor, and the World Government all seem to be looking for something. Among them, the World Government lost several Kpos, and the Mantis King Subic and the Color Changing King Nero Dal under the Explosion Monarch also lost. Did you find anything? The Golden Lion also became interested. After all, no matter how you look at it, what these three parties are looking for is definitely not ordinary. What is it, I'm still investigating. You continue to pay attention. Yes. Starting point, deep deduction O. You is 1500 starting coins, deep book shortage patience, Zeus ponytail. 500 starting coins, Das Han Das Han is so stupid, 300 starting coins, Jay Chisong, 200 starting coins, Wang Big Eye Bags, 100 starting coins. X. Chapter 200 underscore Why does this posture and soundtrack look familiar? 20,210,108. Chapter 200 underscore Why does this posture and soundtrack look familiar? Poppy Island, located in the New World. It is a palm shaped island with small islands representing five fingers and a medium sized island in the middle. On the Five Fingers Island, almost seven tenths of the area is planted with poppies, medicinal herbs, etc. 40% of the world's drugs and medicines come from here. It is also the home base of the charming woman, Medusa. You can see a large number of merchant ships or other ships leaning against the dock, many staff are moving supplies, etc. and there are many pirate ships and even warships. These are all for buying or trading. Therefore, the central island is very prosperous. There are countless entertainment measures such as pubs and casinos. It can be said that it is a paradise for pirates, thugs and rich people. Especially at night, that's the real drunken fan. But under this prosperous and luxurious paradise, all kinds of darkness have accumulated. In some rubbish heaps or dark alleys, a large number of scrawny people can be seen everywhere, some of whom have been dead for a long time, and their bodies are being eaten by rats and wild dogs. It's all about the coexistence of heaven and hell. And the woman who controls this island is the charming woman Medusa. Through drugs and drugs, she can earn wealth that is beyond the borders of the country, and she can also use drugs and drugs to manipulate others to work for her. For example, borrowing the hands of the Tianlong people to dispatch the navy. As long as the benefits are large enough, nothing is uncontrollable. In Poppy Island, or in the entire underground world, the amorous woman is the absolute queen. Both black and whites need to be given face. The town is guarded, and there is a sea of poppies halfway up the mountain, and there is no root in the eyes. From the appearance, poppy is a very beautiful flower. The leaves are green, the flowers are colorful, the stems are graceful, and the capsules are high. But the juice extracted from the capsules can be processed into various dangerous drugs. There are also two names for poppy, that is, the flower of God and the flower of evil. For those high class people who are intoxicated with money, this is the flower of the soul, but for those who are addicted but have no power or power, it is the flower of evil. 
In this sea of flowers, there is a huge mansion manor, surrounded by a large number of guards equipped with weapons, which can be said to be heavily guarded. Looking through the corridor of the manor, I came to a garden where all kinds of flowers can be seen everywhere, and the bright and colorful are poisonous. Wearing a silk red dress, a sturdy woman with a flat nose, a small cherry mouth, and long green hair wearing a poppy. Yes, this woman is very strong. And not pretty. And she is the charming woman, Medusa. A woman who stomps her feet in the underworld will cause an uproar. It looks ordinary, like the sense of sight of a fat old lady in the country. Doc no. One, a pirate ship shaped like a candy, with a pirate flag hanging high, the pattern is a top hat and pink curly hair, a beckoning skull with lipstick. This flag has a considerable deterrent effect in the new world. Because it is the pirate flag of the big mom pirates. There are now many staff members who are transporting a lot of medicine and money to the pirate ship. On the bow stood a large, thick man with a dark beard and dark hair, wearing a dark vest and pants, a studded belt and bracelets. Charlotte Ga. Nine sons of Big Mom. In another dock, there is also a large ship loading and delivering supplies. There are many well-trained guards on the deck. At a glance, you can tell that it is a certain organization. Inside the ship is a masked, bizarrely shaped CP0. This is the ship of the world government. There are also ships of many other forces or countries, and whether it is day or night, Poppy Island is full of people. Boom! On the endless sea level, the cloudless sky began to darken, and the blue thunder with the thickness of buckets continued to spread and fall. The entire Poppy Island was suddenly darkened. Accompanied by a burst of high BGM, the dark cloud layer with lightning and thunder began to rotate in a large area, forming a huge vort black hole, from which an endless palm slowly protruded, surrounding the thunder and affecting the entire sky, moving towards the poppy in one fell swoop. Island breast. Then what is that? Death. The poppy island, which was full of people, suddenly felt a needle drop and quickly panicked. That visual scene was more terrifying than the sky falling. Damn it. What's the situation? No, hurry up. Because the palm of the cloud cover is too large, it seems to fall slowly, but it is actually very fast. Covers almost half of Poppy Island. Who is it? The amorous woman who was resting had woken up and stood in the garden, looking up at the giant palm of the black cloud that was pressing down, with a thunderous thunder of lightning. This can't be natural weather, someone is obviously looking for trouble for her. She didn't pay attention at all. Who doesn't know that Poppy Island is the home base of her amorous women, and now it is completely hit the door. Looking at this posture, it is not an ordinary person. Now Poppy Island is in chaos, and many rich and noble people in taverns and entertainment venues, or pirate thugs are panicked. Why does this posture and soundtrack look familiar? Slippery Doris is still in the same outfit she had in Post Island, with a three-point rose pattern, long orange and wavy hair, and high-heeled sandals. At this time, he looked up at the giant palm that fell from the sky, and probably guessed who it was. Since the Post Island incident, she has been paying attention to that man, and every time she appears, it will be known to everyone, bells and whistles. In this situation, Apart from that man, no one in the ocean is so arrogant and high profile. The acquaintances on the island are not only the slippery people, but also the man with a big black back and half of his lips, who is looking at the machete. Also keep an eye on the Golden Emperor. Trying to get back the face lost on Post Island. The people who know you best are often the enemies. Slippery and Burst Bear are just one of them and there are others who have been paying attention, all of whom have festivals. Boom! The giant palm of the black cloud flashing with thunder and lightning suddenly stopped when it was thirty meters above the ground. At that moment, the frantic current and wind pressure swept away, and it was mighty and thrilling. Many frightened expressions were frozen. 
What's the matter? Not only did the black cloud giant palm not fall, but it began to be recovered. But the entire apocalyptic sky did not recover, and the thunder and lightning still swirled into a vortex. With the separation of the vort in the center, a golden beam of sunlight shot out from it, illuminating the dim and deep world, filled with the divine and extraordinary. Immediately after, in countless eyes, four figures fell in the golden beam of light. One man, two women, one little. The man at the head is domineering like an emperor, with black vertical hair and a golden goose feather coat flying, and the light wheel behind him turns, looking down at the common people. Behind the two women, one is mature and charming, the other is sexy and attractive. And that little one is full of kawaii. But very arrogant. Golden Emperor Gaia Chaos. The beauty is the queen of joy, Stussy. Sexy is the queen of dancing Bello Beatty. Who is this girl? It really is the Golden Emperor. This guy is still so arrogant and high profile, he wants to kill him even more. The appearance of Chaos, Stutchy, Betty, and Anilu caused many pirate thugs to talk a lot, 